ink pour to the colours of your decor and then pour that over the That's, top. Yes. All right, when you're doing that one, uh, make sure that you have it suspended. So what right. I did is I put some string through the top yep. and then I had that taped onto two boxes. Oh, and I see. then it dripped into like a, um, another container that I then used. That's a great okay. idea. So yeah, so make sure that you do that just so that you don't get the rim around like the bottom. Yeah. But you will it will drain off quite a lot, but I love that effect because then you've got the lights are able then to oh, shine through. If yeah. it's too thick, you wouldn't be able to do that. No, of course. Of course. And you've also got then uh, space of <coughs> course the bottom there as well, so you can cover over that and use all your different mediums as well if you wanted to work on those. But you're going to get the three of this in the bundle. And again, if you're liking that sort of snow dome. You know, Absolutely. you've got a perfect one yeah. here to work with, haven't you? Certainly yeah. with that festive time coming through. It's beautiful, through. isn't it? Absolutely. Really And beautiful. I was wondering, that one is um, glass, mm. and I was wondering whether um, you could put one of um, Blanche's wraps around that. Oh, yeah. I, I really don't could. know. I bet you could. I've not tried it, well, but it's I've, possible. Uh, I've seen Blanche do presenters in that, what she wraps uh, those around <laughs> in, um, and some of them haven't been seen since. So I reckon if we could do that, yeah. I think we could do anything with it. Yeah. But yeah, I would say so with that, Maybe, if you wanted yeah. to work. Um, but these are, oh, I'll tell you what, it is busy. A, over a quarter of the stock has already gone of these. And again, first time we're seeing them. But I love them. That you Maybe if you're working them together as a group, keeping them to group and keeping them themed in, there, in the way that you decorate, which would be beautiful, or three completely separate projects to work with. But you've got your small, medium, and you've got your larger, which is your lovely dome. 212851, only 13.99. Love it. And if you love that, then you'll love the one I've got here. This is your extra large. Now... I'm um, straight away, you can see what's happened here, that Tina, Tina's done this. Uh, I love this, Tina. You do. But you, yeah, I mean, you see, I'm a big fan of all the Disneys and all yeah. of those kind of things. And a certain yeah. one here, you know the story, when the, if uh, someone has to find true love <laughs> before the last petal falls. Spoiler alert, she d he does, by the way, he does, he does. <laughs> it's all right, and he turns away from being a beast. I know. I, I, don't, I don't think I've given anything away in the story there. No. It wouldn't be a lovely romantic Disney if I he ended up being a beast. I thought you were going to tell my story then, but don't. No, no, I won't tell your story. <laughs> no, it's okay. She'll just like, stick it all back on again. Um, but yes, you see here, you've got your chance to create your very own fantastic, whether you do want to recreate that, of course, the whole Beauty and the Beast feel, or this is a really grand project to work with. All the ideas we talked about before, imagine all your lovely pouring paints over this yeah, as well. And all your mixes yeah, of as colors. soon as my brother saw that one, he said to me, oh, you've got to do the Beauty and the Oh, definitely. Beauty. Beauty. Ish. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty, definitely. Beauty, definitely. But uh, the other great thing on here, if I just open this one, there's lots of lovely ideas, uh, again, that you can have as sort of uh, some suggestions to sort of look through. So, again, this could be for anything you want to work with. And we've actually got all these like, lovely interiors that you can put in there. We've also got them on the show as well. So, if you wanted to go with the, uh, the sort of the, the, the scene that you've got with the, with the windows, the Christmas tree, for example, we've also got candles. We've got all sorts. We'll show you those a bit later on. But if you wanted to add those on the inside for you to also decorate to work with, lovely projects of that. 749258. 11 only. Brilliant price point for you to have a go at and again works really nicely with your pouring paint idea as well if you'd like to have a go with that which is lovely um, so much on there of course do have a look at the website for all the other bits and pieces you might want to add into your basket for these but I want to go now to some more paint pouring excellent uh, I think that's what I want to do how are you are you, are you feeling good about this team I am loving this? Oh, I'm just I just can't stand still I want to <laughs> <laughs> I want to do this is just for me it's I love mixed media so yep. You know, it, I was able to sort of try all different things and pour it over different things yeah. as well. Why not? Yeah. Right. You know, no, just, of course. just give Absol it a go. Absolutely. So what's the, what's our first one? When we get our kits, when we okay. get there, we've got the pouring medium, we've got the lovely paint, yep. we've got our stirring spatulas, etc. We've uh -huh. got some instructions. We've got our canvas. What's the first thing that you found that you uh, that you, you had to do when you when you get the kit? Well, when you get the kit, um, you read the instructions. Yep. Okay, but don't worry too much about them because what I found is. Um, you, they're saying to use like one of the tubes of paint, um, so one part paint, two to three parts of your pouring medium. Right. But if you put more than that in, that's fine. Right, okay. It really okay. doesn't matter. This has got to be the most easiest kit. 
right. for paint pouring that I've ever worked with. You did mention that first thing this yeah, morning. Yeah, you, really I, it, did, you know, and it's brilliant. So, and if you've got some silicon at home oh, as I well. I just wanted to let you know, sorry. Yeah. We've gone limited stock. I mean, we've just got limited stock on the paint pouring. No way. <laughs> oh my God, well, please, can I stop talking to <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry. You go, go for it. Show us, show us, show us. If you are <laughs> interested, please, 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 please uh, make sure you get this into your basket and checked out as quick as you possibly can for this one. Um, everyone's okay. up for a bit of paint pouring first thing on a Saturday morning. <laughs> so I've, I've got some bigger pots, so don't worry about that. That's fine. So if you can see how much paint I've got in there, okay, then my medium goes in. Now you get a lovely glossy medium. So I'm going to start off with putting, excuse me. That's all right. You know what? When, <laughs> that's more like a ketchup bottle, isn't it? When you put your ketchup and you get into the end. I'm going to start off with putting um, double the amount and then give that a nice stir. Now, you've got your gloves on, and, and I, I, have, I suppose yes. it's more for the mess more than anything that it we is. talk about. Yeah, I mean, always good to be safer than sorry. That's right. If you've got um, skin that can be irritable, then pop your gloves on yeah. just in case. But there's nothing in there that will harm. No, that's good, good advice. And there's plenty of gloves around on the market right now. <laughs> and this is it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So give that a nice stir. Now, as you can see, that's still quite thick. Yeah. So... What you need is you need to have some water by you, and if like you've a got a pipette, <laughs> if you've got a pipette, then just pop some water in, okay? Because we're looking for a consistency that's just a little bit thicker than single cream. Oh right, okay. Okay. Well, it's been a while since I've had any single cream. Yeah, I know. Mm. You and me both. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking hot dog for a second ago with that mustard colour that's going on. Now I'm now I'm onto cream teas. That's right. Okay. So a nice even consistency, like you say, yeah. throughout. Yeah. Give it a nice stir. And if you have walked away, if someone if the telephone's gone or or something like that, you've answered the door. Just make sure that when you go back, it's still a nice consistency like that. So that's right. the consistent we're looking for. Lovely. Now that's a good point because I do think. We may have just technically sold out on that. We have now technically sold out, but we have still got the acrylic paint to be working with as well. Yeah. So that is there for us to get, but it has technically sold out as the kit itself. I uh, do apologise for that one as well. But now if you want to go for the paints that you can do, that you can work with to sort of still carry on creating. Sorry about that. Uh, that's well done right. if you got it, by the way. Well done. Oh, you're going to love it. So I will then put one, two, three drops of silicon in. Now you don't want to over stir that. Okay, so if you've got some silicon, you don't have to use the silicon, but I quite like it. Yeah. Okay, so then we get our separate cup, and then this is where we pop all of our paints in. So I love using white. White is fantastic. Well, yeah, the white really comes through, and that one that we got to, that you've done earlier. That's it's right. Really like that. So you pour up. So you've got yellow yep, on top so now. Yeah. So yellow. And we got Some our red. red. Oh, this is the, look at this. Bit of black. Is that the black? Yep. And some blue. So I probably got way the... too much here, but I'd rather that oh, to cover yeah. my canvas. And then I'm going to end up with a little bit of white as well. So again, just the way that just the in the um, the order that you add your paints as well is going to have an effect, obviously, on the final Absolutely. outcome. Absolutely. And you don't have to use that many colours. You could use two or three colours if you wanted yeah. to. You know, you don't have to. Black and white, even. No, Go that's for true. It, that's you true. Know? I'm just looking at the side of the cup. Even the side of the cup. I know you can't get it on the overhead, but even the side of the cup looks great with all the <laughs> lovely colours that are dripping through, which so is fantastic. There we go. Just going to bring in my canvas. Okay. Now, I caught my canvas when I was opening it, but that's not. doesn't matter. That's going to cover up. Oh, okay. now there we go, the, fun, the now, fun bit. you could put your canvas on and then flip it over, but I prefer to just pour it and do like a little twisty motion. Oh, look, look at, at that. It's like in fire, there. isn't it? I love that. Okay, so let that just pour and let it oh. settle just for a moment. Don't throw the cup, keep the cup. The cup looks oh, cool yeah. as well. Yeah. Yes, the cup looks great. So then... Just now, gently. Ah. Uh, keep moving it around. Look at this. I just, I, oh, I love those at uh, the top there. The yellow, the black, the red, and the, those yeah. almost like Saturn kind of yeah. planetary again, isn't it? What That's you're getting. Right. So you just 
Yeah. I'm keeping that too, you're good. I've gone, I've gone straight back to 1967, I wasn't alive then, but I have gone back there <laughs> to, from film footage I've seen, Austin Powers style um, <laughs> very psychedelic with the colours. You make a good Austin Powers. I don't think there's anything <laughs> positive in that comment at all. You see his teeth. <laughs> Even Adam's walked past shocked and stunned at that comment. No, Adam's laughing. Yeah, well, that's his shocked and stunned look. <laughs> oh, wow. Tell you what, I didn't take long this morning for the first insult to come my way. The other day I looked like one of the stamps, apparently, and that wasn't a oh, compliment. Oh, I saw that. That was funny. <laughs> Bloodshot eyes, was that's there? That's the one. And bald. Nothing Look. wrong with being bald. There, so I just would need a little bit more time to go onto that edge. But what I want to do is I want to show you. Let's just get rid of the paint on my hands. Groove you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So now I'm going to grab my heat gun. If you don't have your heat gun, that doesn't matter because you will still get some pop in. But as soon as this hits... Yeah and it starts to heat. You see how you're, these, you're getting these little pops come in? Look at this here. With, um, I, I suppose it depends a little bit on what medium you're going on to. So it maybe if it's going onto wood or going yeah, to tile, careful, tile as well. With, yeah, with your heat gun as well. Um, would you seal it in any way? Would, could you put a seal well, on the top? The one that you're, you're getting in the kit is a gloss. Right. So the medium is a gloss finish, but if you want it even more glossy, then use, um, a uh, acrylic gloss right. varnish. Right, okay, okay. See, look at this. No, I just love it. And it's completely different again to the first one we started the show with. This also, again, the other one you've done with your other yeah. threads and all the other sort of mediums um, mixed in. To be honest, I quite like how that edge of the canvas yeah. is showing. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. And there is that sort of, that. there's a natural feel about that. That's where right. Just one of the edges where summer's dripped off, and I think it's that that style like you say that has a very natural yeah. feel about that and a bit of canvas that's not been caught is nice isn't it to see where it was yeah i love it now if you were to try and uh, this, i think what's so lovely about this and, I, and and again you demonstrated that brilliantly at the very beginning of the show is if you were to try and recreate that if you were to try and paint that from scratch mm. you know oh, with all gosh. those different shapes because what it does naturally is it brings you those different uh, shapes those blending that's taking place those mixes of colors so easily but if you yeah. try and draw that from scratch you know oh no <laughs> it, absolutely that, no you? chance so you can keep going and w or when you're happy you just you know just stop and then let it go now i've popped um a little box underneath so that it's level so if you can get your area level that's yep. that's always good and right. it's always good to have it raised yeah so that when it goes over the edges you're not going to get that back up on it. form got you sort of like around the edge but that does peel off you can peel that off if you right. want oh, to right okay yep. so if you yep. don't have anything to lift it up don't worry just go for it and then just try it on anything just literally try it on anything so it's yeah i suppose tile stunning. woods we yeah. can go on to yeah. if you wanted as well frame yeah. them up again get more canvases uh, i'm sure we've got some on the website you know to have a look and getting your getting your canvas and uh, yeah. and anything else of course just to go with but in i would say just play i mean oh absolutely i mean you can imagine you know what i'm like i was just like oh i just got to <laughs> and it's like i said to my mum i've I've finished now and then i went and poured another one oh, and then you, like, you know and it's like oh my gosh but the best thing is when you've got it up in a frame and you got it up yes. on the wall and someone comes around and you go look at that yeah See? I did no that. i know and, and that, that's that, yeah. that's gonna be lovely isn't it i mean Love the, that. the colors are just so bright and yeah, vibrant and they aren't are. they and I think that's the lovely thing about the acrylic paints you're getting. They really are very vibrant. Uh, thank you so much for, for, for demonstrating that. I know we've got more demonstrations come, but how fantastic. Now, the actual bundle has sold out, as we know, and it had gone very, very quickly indeed. But if you're looking to add more or you want to start with your paints and go with it, then you've actually got the super pack here of the paints that are available for you. Now, just think about the lovely pieces that you can create with these. This will give you 24. Each one of those pots, by the way, a 22 mil, and these are your perfect acrylic acrylic paints that you're looking at. All your colours of the rainbow here, blues, violets, pinks, purples, you've got all your greens in there. You've also got some of more your natural colours coming through as well. You've got your white, uh, you've got the um, really fantastic spectrum to work with, over 24 of those 22 mil pots on each one of those. 167399, imagine how this is going to translate into your art. And just as Tina was saying, you know, in some of your projects you won't need to have uh, all of the mixed 
mixed in together. You know, there was four or five in that one. Maybe you want to go down the sort of pinks and reds. Maybe it's going to do blues to fit in with a project or a colour scheme you've already got somewhere or a favourite colour. But again, it's there for you to work with. 32, 49 uh, for you to take advantage of, of course, with Rico uh, Design. Absolutely brilliant. Real wow factor craft in there, which is gorgeous. Um, We've also got another size available for you if you wanted to go for again, uh, if you want to just add to as well. Now this will give you those six that we looked at here of the um, 82 mil on each. So the other ones were 24 and they were 22 mil each. These are your six and these are your big premium colours of course there. And these one of them are much bigger again. These are 82 mil in each of those. Only 19.99, 518, 136. But you've got your primary colours in there as you saw uh, in the original bumper pack that was available for you including that that canvas in there what a lovely star I hope I, I bet you can't wait to get it home and to get playing if you were lucky enough to get it but if not make sure you watch it again when you see Rico's name come up uh, on the show make sure you watch it again to see if we can bring those back for you uh, now Love these, uh, which is fabulous. And again, if you're looking a way of housing projects, to build your projects, we've got for you here the perfect different opportunity for you here for the wooden house design uh, set that you've got for you. So three different options for you to have a little look at. Um, this one I'm thinking will lend itself perfect if you want to do a, a sort of a festive nativity kind of little uh, design in here, couldn't it? You could also go down that side of it, sort of create it rather more of a home into a sort of a stable kind of feel. Um, but again, brilliant price points on this one. Just Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence of these. And Tina, you've got something here you've already decorated. But mm -hmm. how are these to sort of take different mediums to work with and uh, as projects? Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, they're really good. Um, it's a, it's a wood, so it's not an MDF. It's a wood, right? Which is really lovely. Um, do you need to prime that any differently? You can if you want to, but I haven't those ones because I love the natural colour. Yeah, yeah. And I know I, I know quite a few people that when they do Christmas, they have the natural colours rather than That's the bright colours as well. That's so true. it's absolutely perfect. But no, it's taken um, it's taken paints, it's taken inks. Right. Yeah. Nice, it, nice, yeah, easy to work with. Yeah, texture paste I've done as well. well okay. On the tree, so yeah. And we've also got you've got the little hook at the top as well. So if you are going to be actually putting this directly onto uh, the wall, you can. You Absolutely, can do as well. you can so do that, or you can just bend top. it back down and not have it. Yeah, perfect. But lovely idea. Um, we're, we're definitely thinking of the nativity scene on here yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, anything that's got a little cow in it. A little bit of straw and a cow sat there nailed down as well. We got ours, we bring it every year as well, but I, I think we should make our own. Uh, love that. 235272 if you'd like to go for those. And uh, you are getting two. You're getting the larger and you're getting the medium size as part of that for your project. We love that. It's gorgeous. Now, we've also got, if you're looking for a slightly different feel, different shape in your projects as well, uh, not so much of the house kind of style, then you've got the hexagons available. Uh, I, th I see that someone's been excited with uh, some of the um, <laughs> some of the pouring paint again. Yeah, what yeah. I, I'll just warn you, I didn't stick those trees that are inside down, so don't worry if they fall. Oh, OK, right, no, that's OK. <laughs> yeah, that's no, okay. I mean, I just had to. Look at that. But that is brilliant, isn't it, again, yeah. with those. Um, but yeah. again, it shows you how they will take... The medium from both Absolutely. points of view. Absolutely, really. yeah, um, yeah. But I love that. So we've got the little, a little mini, a little mini yeah. forest in there, and the paint pours over the trees as well. Uh, so yes. what I did is when I had the cup full with the paint, yeah. I just got the trees and dipped them in, oh, right. flipped That's them nice over idea. and then let it just drain down. Oh, great mm. idea. Yeah, lovely, lovely. And we have got all those little extras if you wanted to as well, you can do with that. But lovely idea, blank canvas to work with on your projects here, your hexagonal boxes, you get again the large and the medium size, 375984, just £12.99. and pence. Lovely, absolutely, whatever you're feeling for those projects, go for those. Uh, if you want to go for your square option then you can go for these oh I love that uh, I love these colorings we've got I'm not gonna tip anything yeah. over here so wow the paint pour was done inside this time so it really Ooh. looked like wow yeah very um, I don't know mercury yeah like looking yeah, geez, isn't, it? isn't it you know and then you can stand anything at the front or you can just have it as it is. That's a really dramatic way of yeah, getting that. Yeah, so isn't just it? picked out a couple of the colours to put, um, you know, around the edge. But that one is quite dark. And yeah, that, it but is. I love it. And then in contrast, look at look at on the outside. I love it all this as well that we've got. Really, really funky. Absolutely brilliant. Love that. 
and jet black on the back. Again, you've actually got two of your hanging uh, clips on the back of this as well. So if this is for a wall project to work with, uh, great opportunity. 290792 and 1299. Well, again, we'll get you the large and also the medium size you're looking at here. Don't forget, this is wood. It's not an MDF. It is wood. So if you really do love that, that feel of your natural texture, just as uh, Celine was talking about, absolutely perfect for you to go with again. But already uh, there for you to start with 2907 something something. <laughs> 792. I only have one job to do, Tina. <laughs> well, I, to I, be fair, it that. wasn't on the screen, was it? I wasn't going <laughs> to I wasn't I wasn't going to say that, Tina. I was never going to, you know, I, I wasn't going to shop a producer like that, but you're I've absolutely you right. It I've wasn't on there long enough. With my eyes, I need it on there for about 3 weeks. Um, by the way, she's upset with you now, not me. Oh, so that's all right. That's Sorry, okay. Meg. Uh, I wouldn't I won't name and shame, but it was Meg. Right, so moving on. <laughs> Uh, moving on, we've also got for you the um, beautiful fir tree, the wooden box design. Now, this is lovely. Or, if you wanted to go for three separate projects, you've got, now I'll name the first one, triangle shape, <laughs> trapezium, and the other, the other, trapezium. There we go. So, <laughs> you can either use this as three <laughs> mini projects to put, to, uh, or you can actually obviously put them together and then you're going to get your lovely fir tree that you're going to work with. This, this is a lovely idea of a project, this, oh, isn't it? I love this. I, I know, oh, I can't pick favourites because I, I love all of them, but this, I mean, as you can see, we've used the elements inside there as well. I have to say, because I'm quite proud of this, but the snow that's in there, yeah. I think on your upsails you've got lots of this beautiful twine, different oh, colour twine. I yes, I noticed so it So what now. I did is I took the white twine, I knitted like a rectangle with it, and then I cut it up as my snow. That's a lovely idea. Really lovely. And again, for the texture of it and the look yeah. and the feel of it. So it makes that. it more bulky. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah. That is really lovely. Um, and obviously on the inside as well, we're, we're going to come to and give you the details of these, by the way. But I love the fact that you have got all these other different options. You've got mm -hmm. the little pine cones, we've got our reindeer in here. You've got those lovely little windows as well, which again, yeah. you can really go to town with, couldn't you? you Absolutely. Know. You can, you know, you can just do so much with them. You have things looking through the little windows. Yeah. You know, you can, as you say, you can pop it onto the wall and just leave little gaps to it. I mean, I've stuck mine together just so that I could bring them, like, here. But, um, yeah, so that's got texture paste I love that. over it. Yeah, I wanted to show the back as well, yeah. it's all beautiful. Oh. Uh, really, really lovely, uh, lovely feel about all of this. So you can, and it, you know, if you're working on a project, so it's mm. 15 but you get a really lovely, that's tall project to work with. Price, that's an amazing actually. price, isn't it? It really is, because if you think about buying three separate boxes, that's what you're getting, really. Yeah, yeah. So you that's know, fantastic. Like I say, three projects, or if you want to put them together like that's this lovely. as well, which is fabulous. And, uh, and in fact, um, you know, I, I sort of take away one hand, but I give it back with the other hand. Mega producer said, like the idea of making it into almost like an advent calendar style, if you wanted to work with as well. Really? Quite possibly. Yeah. Have a little go at that, you know, to work with. Or she is the best producer, isn't she? She is. Yeah. She is. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> No one likes a SWAT team, they remember this. Um, I've got we're to try and redeem myself. <laughs> no, apparently you're dead to her. So, um, <laughs> there goes your coffee in the break as well. Sorry about that. Um, but I, and I love the now completely different feel with this one as well. I completely know. Different well, feel. you know, I am my Graphic 45. My, yes. I love Graphic 45. And, and there are your papers in there. They're coming tomorrow. Oh, shh. Sh sh what time are you on? What time are you on? What time are you on with that? Um, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. But don't tell don't anybody. Don't tell anyone. Don't. You didn't hear but that from us. You really okay? need to get in quick. <laughs> you get. You need to get in very, very quick. Get in very <laughs> three o'clock tomorrow. But the papers here. But do you know what they do? They do with a project mm -hmm. like this that you've got with the wooden boxes. With that behind it, it completely changes the feel of this to so a much yep. more vintage kind of feel of a of a, of a almost like a decoration that could have been yeah. around for many many years yeah. as well. With that, absolutely. So you just add all your little trinkets. You know, I mean, it, you might be a person that that um, when you go abroad, you always sort of like buy something from a different country to hang on your tree oh, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so yeah. you display all your trinkets as well. Lovely. And the other thing, you know, you mentioned about the wood feel with this as well. I just want to mm. just show you around the back. So you've, you've got some of your stenciling that I you've have, done on the yeah. edge, but you have gone with a very natural feel, still left I it have, in, that kind of, in those I tones, have, haven't you? Yeah, I just, I mean, it's not very often that I leave something the colour that it's supposed to be, but I really love the tone of this. Well, it, but it really adds to this, it, it really does. does, with the colours as well that you're picking feel. out of the paper, yeah, yeah. yeah. love that. Um, where, where are we off for quantity, what are we, how are we doing? 
Right, almost a quarter of the stock now already uh, been allocated. We had a very big stock for this as well. Um, so uh, let me. I just thought I thought I'd put me in the wrong order. <laughs> I was just checking. It should be R with three pieces, but I could get that wrong, everybody, and probably will do as well. Um, could be there for hours. There we go. That'll be fun. Um, <laughs> It is there for you, uh, 532, uh, 177, just left them on for long enough, 1599, uh, if you'd like to go for that brand new on the show for you today, lots of fun for you to work with. Now, you would have noticed some other elements on the inside there, and you would have noticed them as well when we had them in those sort of, um, uh, the containers as well, for those, and they're all at the back of the set here, so you're going to see my, the, the, my best side, everybody. There's a pick and mix on this, you could go for any three, now you've actually got the 3D house that you can see that's on the side as well, we've also got the historical historical house that's on there which is absolutely beautiful again different sort of doming and shaping that you're finding on the edge as well almost got that sort of new york kind of feel as well the old time you know very much beautiful uh, for those ones we've also got our lovely reindeer i won't pick it all up there's his antlers uh, that way round uh, or is it that way round it's that way round um so they've got the antlers as well and everything you want for our lovely reindeer We've got our gorgeous candles that are over here as well, so you can see the sample there. But uh, again, they all just fit together nice and simple and, and slot through, so easy construction for you. And we've got our beautiful angels as well, and again, exactly the same, just slotting together to give you that look. Now, some of those you can see uh, were used uh, in some of the projects already, some of them inside the Christmas or the fir tree. Uh, you've got a pick and mix option here. Any three that you want to get, great offer actually, only $9.99, and you can go for any three. Now, you can go for three of the same, three of the angels, three of the candles. You might want to go uh, the uh, classic house with the reindeer and your candles, whatever you want to do. You understand how a pick and mix works. Uh, 426525, and it's only 999. Lovely projects to work with them. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, now then, we are very busy uh, for these as well, actually, for the cloche um, we've got for you. Now, this is the extra large one we've gone for here. This is 11 99 Now, Sylvia's been in touch. Ah, good morning, Sylvia. Uh, good question has asked, how tall are they? Well, you couldn't fit a whole Derek Marks in, uh, let's be honest. <laughs> um, but you yeah, almost, you almost could. Uh, so let's, uh, well, let's give you a little idea from base to bottom. Hang on, it's goggles up, everybody. I make that for about, is that 25 centimetres, would we say? I think, roughly. Is, that, is everyone happy with that? Just, just scraping at 20, it's on his tiptoes, mm. it's on its tiptoes at 25 <laughs> centimetres, um, you know, but uh, put a bit of card underneath it, it'll make it. It's a, it would be allowed to go on the rides, put it that way, um, it's fine. <laughs> now, if I just talk about the actual, in fact, if I take, that's from floor to bottom, if I take it from the base, uh, so you can see uh, actually how large a project could go in, that makes it 20, 22, almost 23 centimetres, I think, if we take that from base to bottom. What I could have done is just measure the base, but that's so much not as much fun, is it? Um, <laughs> probably more accurate. Yeah, I have one job again to do, uh, Tina. Uh, 749, left me in charge with a ruler. Um, is it shatterproof? They're always shatterproof. I don't know why they either were. How was that school? 749, 258, 1190. Ow, 1199. Uh, right, I've got to measure the small ones now. The, honestly, it's the gift that just keeps on giving everybody. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Uh, right, so let's just measure up here. Um, and again, from base to bottom. I'm going to do it on there. I'm going to take it off as well. Oh, this is a bit trickier. <sighs> they, they, five they've inches. Got, they've got the worst my... eyesight presenter in. Five inches. From, five inches. From the bottom to there. How did, you, how did you do that so quickly? On a map. On a map. Right, there we go. So, <laughs> five, right. <laughs> I've won. You've ruined it. You've ruined it for me, Tina. <laughs> I was interacting then. Five inches from base to bottom. Five inches. Have you done the other one as well, Tina? <laughs> no, I knew you, well, you, you need know, to do you might, something, in, in, Scott. In, no, forget it. In for a penny, in for a pound. I want to see how your measuring mat works out this time. You haven't got one over there, have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, uh, oh, hang on. I'll just realise I'm measuring oh, you that at the bottom. This has got a little extra bit at the bottom of a ruler. It's not even a. That's all those measurements I've given you are out, everybody. Look, look. Five inches. Why would you do that to me? Why would you give me a defect ruler? Five inches. Five inches. 
They were a little bit smaller than we said, so it wasn't on his tiptoes. It wasn't going to make quite 23. Will it be large? Oh, it'll be larger. Oh, honestly, this is a disaster, this project, isn't it? I'm so... Everybody, I'm so sorry. Four All complaints inches. to me, Adam Humphreys. Um, just, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Four inches. Four inches, thank you. Four inches, everybody, four inches. I've never said that measurement with such happiness. <laughs> Believe it or not, everyone, three quarters of the stock, I don't know who's buying them. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> maybe it's Derek. Maybe he's just buying loads of little houses for himself to put around the country. Oh, uh, in fact, if I look like that, it's not that far off of looking like one, am I? <laughs> 212851, £13.99 pence. You get all three, measure your own. And, uh, and get your own ruler as well. One that's not defect. Um, right, that, that really are so it's going very, very well. So, did you want to do another measurement of the larger one, just, okay. to, just to confirm? This is how it stands, yeah, so the won't. dome will be slightly if, smaller. We're professional, everybody, if for <laughs> nothing else. Ten inches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why that's funny. Ten inches, everybody. <laughs> Ten inches. I don't know, for me it looks bigger than that. <laughs> uh, 749258, maybe it's the, maybe it's the angle of that. <laughs> um, 1199, 749, 258. Do you know what? Do you know, for anything, I've realised I quite like it down here. <laughs> yeah, I do like it down here. Um, oh. Have we got any little lights we can put in? Oh, hang on, we've got some as a seven day <laughs> saver. I uh, know, up here for thinking. There we go. Oh. 726248. Uh, it's 9. Nine ninety six. It got six pounds saving on these as well. That's <laughs> going to give you two meters of your LED string, uh, of course, with twenty of your multicolored lights on there. They would work perfectly actually with this project. Uh, Nine ninety six. So don't forget, each one you're going to get four of those. Each one of those, as not combined, is two meters. So you have twenty on each of those as well. So phenomenal. And the batteries are included, which is always good. Otherwise, I wouldn't get them. Um, I wouldn't get them without the battery. Uh, but you get the battery, so get them. Seven two six two four eight. 996. That's all good, isn't it? I'll tell you what, Tina. I don't I'd loads I'd loads of hours lined up today, but apparently a P45's lined up and I'm, <laughs> apparently they're looking for another presenter for eleven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I'd usually be in trouble when I saw you in the car park this morning. <laughs> Oh, don't you? Oh, make me laugh. What are you? Uh, what are we looking at next? <laughs> okay. <Tina? laughs> oh, this is without <laughs> coffee. I know. You don't even have one yet. I'm going to do the angels. Oh, right, lovely. So I'm going to use some stamps and do quite a nice natural look. So I've got some inks and I've got some. I think these are Clary Bell Studio stamps. So basically, I'm just going to pop some of me inks on. It's a, nice, it's a nice stamp that. It's beautiful isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Let's get it the right way up. Not that it matters too much to be honest. No. But I what I, lo I love that with that with a whole like the stamps and, the, and, the, right and the stencils what's really nice is what you've demonstrated actually on the fir trees yeah. is just elements of. Absolutely. It's not all the way through even on the um, uh, the one that you had on the brick for example that's on one of the uh, the, the, the projects as well for those they, it, that little element of that little touch of. Absolutely. It's so nice with projects like this isn't yeah, it? Especially when you've got it, a natural It creates feel. more interest doesn't yes. it? Yes yeah yeah it's so lovely. Really I'm going to press these in because my Clarabelle stamps have got some um, cushioning to them. I can do this and I'll just find it easier to actually put the stamp down and then add the angel on top. But you can do it whatever way you like. So look at the beautiful print. So you don't necessarily have to see what the stamp is. No. It's just adding that interest. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So stamp up But here. you could, I mean, like you say, if this was a project you were working with younger members of the family uh, or anything, you could really go stand with really lovely bold bright colours. They and could they could paint onto them, you know, they could um, do the wings in glitter. Yes. Anything. Yeah. And, and uh, I always think about projects, projects like this though as well is if you're doing it for this for this for this festive season that's coming up, um, mm. if you've done like that and, and uh, you know younger members of the family have had a go at doing of that, a little bit of gesso over the top come the end of that and say, do you know what, do you want to redecorate for next year even? Absolutely. You know, if you wanted to. The, um, what you need to be careful, like anything, is when these slot together, um, if you are using paints, make right. sure that you don't put too much near the slot so that you can... Great, yeah, absolutely. You know, or just put Good them point. together first. Yes. I mean, it's easier to stamp 
like when they're flat. Yes. But if you were doing, um, you know, like a paint project, then I might put them together first yeah, to do yeah. it that way. Really lovely, these. And there's something quite simple about That's them, right. which I think is the, the charm. That's right. So, just to speed up a bit. Just realised I'm not quite in the middle, so let me move that over for you. Oh! Started to wink her head then. Not to worry. That's all right. And, and I know that we are looking at that sort of raw texture with this, but I think... We are. Is, is it a case of, again, pro, again, a primer, like we say, would be something, again, you might want to add in, and you get those stronger yeah. more of the colours from that then? that's right, yeah. You could put, like, um, a nice, shiny um, gloss on this. Right, um, yes. You could put um, a thin coat of gel medium. OK. Because that always dries clear. So whatever you've got, really, just, as I say, <coughs> what's the worst thing that's going to happen is that you paint back over it. Yeah. You know, just just try it. OK. So, let's move that one to I'm one just, side. I was just checking while you're doing that. I was trying to be useful. Oh, it's well. a rare moment, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> try it. I'm very, I'm very trying. I was just checking. It doesn't involve a ruler. We're OK. We're safe. <laughs> We're safe, everyone. I was just checking. Now, the angels will go in the extra large. Now, but the candles, I know you're going to go for the candle kit, the larger one won't. Okay, uh, now it will go, we go, the large one won't, it won't even actually go into that one, but the, the, mid, the, the sort of medium sized ones that you will, that will do, but the other projects again are a little bit shorter for that, so I just wanted to give you a heads up, because my measuring was so awful, um, just wanted to make sure that we were clear on that as well. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could always take a little bit off the bottom, um, but uh, just to let you know on, on the sizes of that one um, might be worth, uh, worth a mention point out as well. Now the set of three, by the way, uh, they are now limited stock for you, <laughs> believe it or not, when I put my ruler in, um, you've, you've trusted <laughs> your instincts rather than my measurements which is really good or you've trusted Tina's more should I say <laughs> we are limited stock now though uh, 212851 I just think they're a really fantastic price for what could potentially be really lovely projects as well for you whether again you're going to go with the, uh, the the paint pouring or whether you're going to go and again a different sort of feel those uh, those LED lights by the way and the seven day savers are proven really popular as well a lot of people are going for those together not surprised there's savings to be had on those and that could really make a difference to your project um sorry about that i was just i was just trying to be useful for once there <laughs> tina and we've got 10 minutes left where's oh that hour gone word. oh no so i'm just going around the edge because i like to just make it look a little bit more vintage looking so there we go oh that's nice yeah just pop makes it pop doesn't yes. it yes yeah yeah there okay well that's a nice idea yeah um i tell you what, she's she's woken up now producer. Oh, is she? she's okay she was saying about a nice alternative possibly as well for a christening you might be doing as well if you want to go Brilliant. for the sort of angel feel yeah. again and again for that new baby boy new baby girl um either way couldn't it it could be something to we got something like that again that was sent through to us um <coughs> for we had one for Jen, we had one for Shay as well. And it was, it was encapsulated in one of these, and it, and it did have the whole idea of uh, your, your new baby. And Shay, we just changed uh, Shay's wardrobe over. Um, it's not an annual thing, by the way. It's not like, oh, come on, it's Wednesday, change your wardrobe. Um, we're just doing a bit of decorating in the bedroom. And she found this again from when she was a baby, and now it's her most favourite thing because uh, it's taken down from the top <coughs> of the wardrobe where she can see it. But little keepsakes like that, again, doesn't have to be. No. Is it necessarily about just no. a, a Christmas <coughs> celebration or Halloween or anything really? Exactly and the children have lots of collections don't they? Yeah, I yeah. know that you know my niece collects so many little dolls in these different uh, collections. Yeah, you yeah. could put she could pop them in yes. like change them each week Lovely. you know the new one inside. Yeah. I mean she'd love it she'd absolutely love it. Oh, I think they're great. So I'm just going to I won't go all the way round but I'm just going to show you that you can use your stencils on here as well. So just to give I like to sort of like press a little bit harder in places so it's got a different, do you see? Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that just adds a little bit. I say I'm not going to go all the round, but it's going to annoy me if I don't. <laughs> it's okay, we, we've got plenty of time. Okay. A bit heavier there. But again, it's nice about the, uh, the, the bottom of that, that you've got options to go with whatever materials you get on Absolutely. that, whether it's inks or paints or papers. Yeah, Absolutely. 
I mean, you can get all your stencils out. I mean, the brickwork is a real it's sort a great of like favourite, yeah. especially with the house and everything. Yeah, it's yes, great. yeah. So there you go. You've got a nice little decorative edge going around there. I'll move something there. I thought you you just looked at that bit there, didn't you? Thought, yeah. oh no, I can't leave that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, just like that. And then our angel. Now you can you. If you're not going to move it around, then I'd, I say don't glue it because then you can change, change what's it inside. Around. Yeah, yeah. But pop your angel in, dome over the top, and then if you wanted to hang it, glue your base in as well. Right. And then if you've got some of your twines, so these were the twines that I were talking about that I knitted with, so I knitted with the white oh, ones yes. to do the snow. Yeah. So then you would just pick your twine that you wanted. These are calling out for the little LED lights. Honestly, yeah, the people, all the people are going all around, mad for those yeah, actually putting them together. Yeah. I'm not surprised. So you've got your little hanger there. Oh, so if really you've got lovely. a really huge tree, or maybe you could waterproof it if you've got something in the garden. Ah. So just through there, like that. Oh, lovely. Snip those off. There. So we've just got a little hanging uh, yes, element yeah. if we wanted it as well. Lovely, and I love that natural yeah. feel about those. That's really I nice. Do, to yeah, see and also I use a lot of this, so I probably twist this around as well. Oh, okay. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, just to make yes. it another sort of like just more texture again I and love, change. I love twisting the twine around different things. Right. Not your finger though, because it hurts. I know from experience. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Tina. Uh, thank you. Uh, I love it. Can I just have a little word, everyone? Can everyone just say the word cloche together? It's just such a love. It sounds good, doesn't it? Cloche? Cloche. Yeah, after three, everyone. One, two, three. Cloche. Thanks for joining me. Um, no idea. It's, it's got a lovely sound. No idea what it means. Apparently dome, um, I would have thought. Uh, of course, the uh, website is a place to visit. Um, all the W's dot, I'm an old school, hachanda.com if you want to go for your pick of any three that you want to. Um, mix and match. Go on, go for the historical house and go for a, a, a candle uh, and add in an angel. Um, you, you know, mix and, mix and match between the whole lot. Only 9 99 again, from Rico Designs, but really lovely options. And again, What's so nice is they do work beautifully with all the projects, actually, that are available on the show. Whether you're going to go for the extra large of the cloche or the set of three, or whether you're going to go for the fir tree, or whether you're going to go for the house or the hexagon or the square for the boxes, they really lend themselves to those projects. And again, that, that natural feel. If you're not so keen maybe on the MDF and you want to have that more natural wooden texture and that look about that, if that's more uh, in your kind of style, then as you can see with what Tina's achieved as well for those projects, really lovely natural kind of feel that we've got for them. Uh, now, where we're, oh, li we are limited, limited stock on the mini cloche bundle here, uh, 13.99. In fact, I, I am into single figures, and if you are interested in those, fastest finger on them will succeed in putting it into your basket. I've only got literally less than a handful of those left. So 212851, get it into your basket and you can help it take um, to selling out. Only 13.99. If you want the extra large, I think it was my measuring that really helped on that one. Uh, Oh, the miniatures are just sold out. Funny enough, I did measure them. Uh, 11.99, 749.258, if you would like to go for that and recreate your very own Beauty and the Beast, which is what actually Adam and myself are going to be doing later on. Uh, we're going to do that. Uh, is that all right, Adam? Can I be Mrs. Parks? Of course, you can be Mrs. Parks. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, <laughs> normal day at work. Uh, 749.258, 11.99, which is great. Um, I can't do anything without instructions. Where shall I go to next, producer? To Tina. <laughs> right answer! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you so okay, Tina? We're getting through this, aren't we? We are. It's, uh, oh, it's been brilliant. So, okay. I've got a little stencil here. And I'm going to grab some texture paste. And just to show you that it will take different mediums. What, now, are you, what, what, you, what was that you put on there? Take some texture paste. Oh, okay. so it's you know a what light I'm going to get you for Christmas? Huh? Another pop. <laughs> Looks like you've, you've, you've worked that one yes. to the end, haven't you? Yes, it's, mine's gone a little bit thicker. Uh, I bet I know what your, you know, your peanut butter jar looks like now at home. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it mixed up. <laughs> so I've got ink on my stencil, so that's mixing with my texture paste, but I don't care. Are you crunchy or smooth, by the way? Uh, both. Oh, hello. Yeah. You can't make up your own rules. 
system. Is that a bit of texture paste thrown in as well, then? Is, it? is that what we go with? You, yeah. Oh. You better behave, Adam. I'm with you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, honestly, so Adam is sat on the other side of the studio, minding his own business, and uh, out of nowhere, Tina's just chucking him in there, <laughs> chucking him in. He's having a giggle <laughs> over there. He is, he's having a gin now. I can see him <laughs> preparing for tomorrow. Can his sick note ready. Yeah, <laughs> my P45, Adam's off hill. You're on your own tomorrow, Tina, I can tell you. <laughs> oh, dear. So there we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it? That is gorgeous. Yeah, so it would take all of that and then you'd get your heat gun oil and dry it or just leave it um, dry naturally. Right. But look how beautiful you can make, you know, your boxes. I, I think one thing that I've learnt in this hour, genuinely, apart from, apart from how to measure, <laughs> is that these lend themselves, if you are a craft that loves that natural kind yeah. of look and feel, yeah. I think because of the material you've got here, that it's not MDF, that you have got that wooden texture that's in there, that feel about the whole thing, stripping it right back literally and mm -hmm. going sort of quite minimalist, you still get a really beautiful project oh, at absolutely. the end. Oh, absolutely. You? you can go as bright or as um, vintage looking as you like. Yeah. You know, it's completely up to you. So what I'd do is I'd probably go over with a gesso. Okay. Um, I could go over with a black gesso, actually, and get some of my waxes. And oh, then right. um, go over the vintage um, wording that I've put here. Yeah. So that pops as well. I love that. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. If you'd like to go for these, uh, you've got three options of your shapes, of course. We're looking to start with with the wooden houses boxes that you see. That's 235, 272. Again, you get the large and you're also going to get the medium. And you've also got the hanging hook on the back. So if you are looking at these as wall projects, then you can do, again, for only £12.99. And actually, the other thing I didn't mention beforehand, they are quite deep for putting your projects in if they you're putting are. things inside, they aren't are. they? Do you want to measure how deep they No, I don't. Are. I don't want to go, I don't want to see another ruler, shatterproof or not ever again uh, so you've got the houses you're not helping uh, we've got the <laughs> we've got the houses option for you we've also got the hexagon option again the large and the medium size for you on these ones only 12 pounds 99 again three seven five nine eight four remember how you had your pouring paints as well we looked at um, if you got those lovely way to combine both of those projects and those mediums together uh, if you want to go for the square that's two nine zero seven nine two again only 12.99 if we want to go for the square by the way that's a hexagon a good shape, by the way. That was the uh, <laughs> sorry, just in case you thought it's not just his measuring is bad, he can't even tell the shape of anything. There's the squares, just so my mum's a bit prouder. Uh, right, Tina, I would say it's been a pleasure, but I would be absolutely no, it has been, it's been a real pleasure. I've loved it. And you're back on tomorrow at three, three and seven, three and seven. Thank you for today, it's been so much. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Thank you so much, it is. Well, please don't go anywhere. He's a nervous wreck, but Adam's up next. <laughs> Yeah, get ready everybody. He's there with the Green Acres quilt for you and then we've got a happy hour show and then we've got, of course, the LeBlanche one day special that is flying out as well. Have a lovely Saturday with the whole team at Agenda. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. 
Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop. We sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucy style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings. And we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks. And we also have our range of laser cut sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and I'm looking forward to seeing you on her channel. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the Chanda. Yes, indeed. I was just singing a bit of Sandy then. Uh, how are you? Good morning. It is still morning. It's 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning. And how are you? And what a little treat have we got for you. Oh, my word. This is beautiful. We are talking quilting now. Before you start going, well, I've, I've never tried quilting before. This is for you. Because whatever you look at, any kit that I've got on the show for you today, uh, from the Green Acre, you are looking at beginner friendly. Every single one that you see here, let me close that, uh, every single one that you see here you can achieve whether you're an intermediate, whether you're advanced or whether you are a novice like me and you are a beginner. Yes, I know. A beginner friendly kit. So the first, well the first four that I've got are brand new and you've never seen them uh, before. This first one, oh my word, is beautiful. But before we get there, before we get to this first one, we have an amazing guest that knows so much about the world of quilting. I can see her in my monitor already, giggling away, bless her. Um, she is a wealth of knowledge, and as you can see from the kits that she's put together behind me, we are in for a treat this hour. Um, live via Skype from the from sunny, I'm guessing it's sunny, it's always sunny over in Ireland, uh, all the way over in Ireland, it's our Stephanie. Good morning, Stephanie, my love, how are you? Good morning, how are you? Oh, it's good to have you on the show. It's an absolute pre uh, privilege to have you here because what you bring to us is astonishing. It really, really is. Before we get to the nitty gritty, as it were, 
Um, tell me a bit more about how you started. How did you get into the world of craft? Um, and how did you sort of go on your journey to get to the magical world of television that you are now? <laughs> That's a long journey. I started quilting about 2006. Um, I had been seeing classes and, and took a class and just got hooked. Uh, made three quilts that first year. And then two or three years later, the shop owner um, decided to retire and convinced me to open a shop. So about six weeks later, I had retired from nursing, opened a quilt shop, and have not looked back since. since and we're now in our 10th year. Oh, my word. And what a... What a career change that was from nursing to the world of quilting. But it just goes to prove, yes, you've been at it for 10 years, but that first year when you made those three quilts, you were still technically nursing. So that means anyone can achieve this. Whether you use this as a little hobby or a little sideline, you are good to go. Right, let's kick straight off. We're very busy already with our first quilt. This is, so you get all the fronts for your quilt, you get full instructions as well. £77.99, but I'll make that easy for you. I'll put it on flexible payments. £39 on the nose across two flexible payments. 640474 is your item number. Um, Stephanie, what are we getting in this first quilt? Talk me around it, because it is beautiful. It is an incredible quilt. When I first saw it, I just fell in love with it. It's called Panel Magic, and the design is by Doug Laco, so I checked with him to make sure it was okay to bring it to TV and to bring it to the shop, and he was just so excited that it would be done. The material is Re romance, Re Regency Romance by Moda, and he's taken this incredible material and designed it to make this incredible quilt that looks, it's kind of a takeoff on the wedding ring quilt, but it is just a joy to make and it's an heirloom that will, will be a treasure in any family. It really, really will. And as you said, this is an heirloom. We've currently got on the table because it's the easiest way for me to show it at the moment in the studio because I've got all the samples here. Uh, 60 inches by 68 is what you're looking at. And this is an heirloom. The minute you look at it, it's got that it's got that age look to it straight away. It already looks like it's been in the family for years and years and years. And did I hear you saying this is Moda fabric? It is Moda fabric, so it's best quality fabric and it, it's 100% cotton, so it is in fact washable. Um, between the wadding and the backing and everything, it's all washable. So we're talking, so, I, well, hang on, wind this back. This wasn't in my notes. So for £77.99, pence, you are getting Moda fabric. Now, if you know your names of fabric, um, I've learnt them since I've been here on the channel over the last year and a bit. Um, I know Moda is one of the big names that we are getting in the fabric world. And you are getting all of that for £39 across two flexible payments. And look at the size of the quilt that you are getting here. It is absolutely beautiful. And it is a beautiful, beautiful quilt. Now, do we get full instructions as well, Stephanie? If we've never done before, could we, could we accomplish what I'm holding up here? Absolutely, absolutely. The, the instructions are so detailed. Um, the critical part of this quilt is the cutting of it. Once you've cut your squares, and it's just a matter of piecing it together per the instructions, and it's just sewn together row by row by row, so it actually ends up being a, a beautiful quilt for beginners. It really does. Now I've took, where are we? Uh, I've took one of the pieces, just so you can see. Uh, so they like china plates, is the easiest way to describe them, that you're getting in the middle. Uh, but I've took one of the fabrics, so you can see what you're cutting up, so you can see the pattern that you are getting here. Um, so you, all of this is what you are actually getting. How, look at, first of all, look at the size of that. 
Look at the beauty that is in that. And all you're simply doing is you are cutting them up. Full instructions are given as well. I've got rotary cutters and, cut and self-healing mats on the show as well. We'll talk about those later. Um, you're cutting them up into smaller squares and then piecing them back together. That's going to give you this beautiful design that you see down the front. Already 20% here of the stock has already gone. We are extremely busy for this quid. Brand new today. Um, very, very busy. Let me put uh, the green one back in shot as well before I take the entire set. Uh, you also get the binding around the edge. You also get the quilting fabric. You're only getting the front of the fabric. Let me point that out. You are only getting the front, so you do need a wadding and a backing, but they're easy to find on the website. Do not worry. Uh, but concentrate there's everything as well but dispatched on the 5th of October full instructions illustrated instructions as well tells you to break everything down where to put all your patterns uh, Stephanie as well um, a question that I always ask during these shows is a case of should I get this home today and I'm more or less talking about myself because it's only me I can talk about if I got this home today and I was sitting there my sewing machine ready I can sort of do a straight stitch and it goes through it in the book and I think I don't, even know where to, I don't even know where to begin. What do I do now? And I get a little bit nervous, I get a little bit scared. Are you at the end of a phone? Are you at the end of an email? Are you on the old socials? I am indeed. I'm on Facebook. I have a website and per people are more than welcome to call anytime. And I can help them with any questions that they have um, or any problems that they have with it. But the, the instructions in all of our kits, I think, are so detailed that they shouldn't have trouble, but if they do, there's always a phone number there for them to contact me. There is indeed. You've got full websites, emails as well, contact numbers. Everything is on the packaging. 40% uh, has now already gone. I'm going to press on uh, because we're going to do demonstrations as well. Uh, we're now moving on to the Christmas tree table runner. Once again, a beautiful runner. Which way do I go? If I step this way, uh, this is the runner that you're going to be creating in the kit. Once again, you're only getting the top. So you're getting the top surface in there. Am I right? Yeah, you are. Uh, you're only getting the top surface. Once again, Stephanie, easy to do for a beginner? It is very easy, and I have pre-cut all of the pieces for the trees. People will need to cut the backing pieces and then they just fit together again per the instructions. Each piece fits with, together with the backing piece, and then you just stack them all up, put your borders on and your binding, and you're all set. And it's so, a beautiful runner for Christmas time. So all the pieces, as you can see, as Stephanie was just saying, everything has been pre-cut for you. Um, I'm right. just I'm just grabbing away willy nilly here, but all the pieces have been <laughs> pre-cut, all the right sizes as well, which is amazing. So you haven't even got to worry, even to down to the smaller ones, uh, for the smaller points down at the top. I'm just guessing you do it in some sort of triangle, uh, but everything is there for you to do. It's all been cut for you. You're getting full instructions inside your kit as well. Uh, it diagrams on the back, so you haven't got to worry about how you how everything's going to be cut once again stephanie's details are on there 34 pounds 99 pence 308 750 is your item number um, and it was sort of go to any sort of table because i'm guessing stephanie if you wanted to could you you know me stephanie by now i'm a bit thrifty with me old money and if i wanted to make four placemats out of this obviously i don't think i'd have enough of the border but i could use my own. could i split this into four separate christmas trees and do it on my table as four different mats absolutely absolutely just add a different um material for your binding and stuff and you'd have four lovely placemats so really do think now, if you're thinking, well, I'm not really a table runner sort of boy, um, you don't have to be if you don't want to be. No. It could be the end of your bed. It could be a, a runner for the end of your bed if you wanted to. You could make four placemats out of this if you wanted to as well. Just make one placemat. And maybe this is where you stand the Christmas um, the tree. Um, uh, not obviously not the tree. I mean a potted plant or things like that that you wanted round there. There is so much that you can achieve once you get the principal home. And remember, I say this about every single soft craft show that I do. Yes, you're buying a beautiful table runner or you're buying the quilt or you're buying the next quilt that we're looking. But what you're really buying into is Stephanie's skills. And because you're buying into the pattern. 
and once you've got the pattern you can do this in any form from all those fabrics that you've already got at home you can recreate this because once you've got this this is all you need you need stephanie's ideas and once you've got those you can create this as well it is beautiful it's a table runner 34 pounds and 99 pence three zero eight seven one uh, seven five zero the jelly roll that comes with it so all this that you're seeing here i'm just going to throw the name in casually we're also talking moda moda fabric as well here all of this just moda ask stephanie's just throwing a bit of motor in. So this is not just any old fabric that we're talking. This is high, the highest quality that you can get of motor fabric, which is beautiful. And for these sorts of prices, you really can't go wrong. £34.99, 308750 is your item number. Right then, up next, another table runner. But this time we've got a bit of scenage on it. We've got your Scandi circles. Now this time you can split this up into a placemat. So we've got the table runner behind that you see here, which is absolutely stunning with your four separate circles that are already on there. So you're getting things like your reindeer. Then you get your robbing in a tree. Then you get your beautiful uh, stag with the holly and the ivy and the brave that are already around there. And then just at the bottom, if I give them a little lift, uh, you've got your, you've got your real, uh, robins already in there, but this time, ah, Stephanie's a good egg. Oh, she is. She's just thrown in, willy-nilly, once again, uh, the pattern to make them into little, tiny placemats. So, do you get the placemats as well? You get, you get both in the kit, so you get the runner and the four placemats all in the kit. Uh, well, hang, roll this back. Come back to me, Jim. But, but right. I thought for twenty nine ninety nine, I was thinking, right, I'm thinking a beautiful table runner, that'd be lovely. And then I was going down the idea of you could split it up like I did the Christmas trees. It's all in the prep, Adam. But um, what I didn't realise is you're also getting enough material to make four of the placemats as well. So now you're getting a table runner and said placemats. Oh, matching. It's all matching. We've got a whole scene here. <laughs> Indeed. And the thing that's nice with this design is that it doesn't it doesn't really scream Christmas. It talks it's it's more of a winter kind of thing, so you could use it all winter long, which makes it really lovely. Well you could, that would be beautiful. Because what you could also achieve down the side here, you could make a little pocket to put your cutlery in if you wanted you to. Could. So you could have a little cutlery you pocket uh, down the side. I know, look at me in my house. Uh, so, but uh, there is so much you can achieve. Already half the stock has already gone here. Full instructions. Oh, we might not get to demo at this rate. Everything will be gone. Um, Stephanie, you could be on for a winner here. £29 <laughs> and 99 pence. 539 is your item number. And then last but no means least, the other brand new today are the winter scenes. Oh, my word. This is the cutest quilt I have ever seen. And already a third of the stock has gone. <laughs> a third of the stock here now has already gone on this for £19. And 99 pence, 117275 is your item number. Now, I'm just, I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, Stephanie, my love, this obviously for 1999, this is not going to be beginner friendly, is it? This must be, we must be looking at the more intermediate market now. Well, no, not really. It comes as a panel and they cut, you cut the panel apart into six inch squares and you add a sashing to each piece sew them all together and then add your borders a little bit about wadding and backing and you've got a beautiful baby quilt for any baby that's born it during the winter time with all the cuddly little bunnies and bears and rabbits and it's playing in the snow no i like this also it'd make a beautiful floor mat you know when you put a baby on the floor when they're newborn they have a little roll around uh, this would be right. beautiful for that because in each of the pockets because um, you, you crafters are really clever anyway, I know you are. Uh, you could put, like, a little, you know, the crackly things that makes a noise. You could put squeakers. What, hang up, what, news just did. So, this one. Oh, it, 
Steph, you're never, you're never going to believe this. Never going to believe <laughs> this one, and and the one next door with the beautiful said placemats. These two, technically sold out. They have wow. now gone. Sold out. Wow. I don't know if we can get more. Um, we are very, very busy. Get in while you can. Right ahead. There'll be nothing left to demo it, is there? Right, returning favourites we're talking people. about now. We'll say that again, Stephanie. I said there'll be some very happy people. Well, there will, won't they? They are going to be very happy people. All oh, beginner friendly we're talking as well. Right then. Scandi is what we're talking... No, not Scandi. We are talking your Celtic Gold Table Runner is what we're looking at with this. Uh, once again, a beautiful, beautiful emerald green is what you're looking at. Um... Stephanie, my love, why I do, because we've seen these before, if you go and get ready for your first demonstration, because things are going like hotcakes here, and I really want to really get a demo in. If you start setting up for your first demonstration, I'll be with you shortly. Is that all right? Very good, I will. Fa oh, I need, oh, I'm getting all excited. I need to choke. Uh, fabulous. <laughs> I know, I'm, I can't, I can't. Q-tangina, low potassium, I could go at any time. Uh, right, Steph, you go and get yourself ready. I'll be with you shortly, do not worry. <coughs> oh, I really could go. Stephanie, look, Stephanie's nearly killed me off here. That's how busy we are. Um, Celtic is what we're talking about. This is what it looks like. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. Bear with me while I cough a second. <coughs> not that one. Right then. Celtic circles, because I get all excited, you see, and because I keep talking faster and faster, um, I forget to breathe. Uh, so, it's a, it's a principal thing that I need to start doing. Look how beautiful this is. For two flexible payments of £20 is what you're looking at on here. 39.99. It's all on extended delivery from the 5th of October. You are getting all the panels that you see already. Two, four, six, eight, ten panels that's in there. Then you're getting the back-ins and the wad-ins. Then we're getting full instructions as well. Thank you, Kirsty, my love. Uh, then you get everything that you need already in the kit. So, what are we looking at for £39.99? Two flexible payments, £20, a beautiful table runner. Once again, if you wanted to, split it down into four, even split it into two if you wanted. Use these individually because this green band that you've already got on there is already on your fabric as you can see running down the bottom. So all the bands are already on there so you haven't got to cut into these. 585 300 is your item number. It is frantic in my ear at the moment. Um, things are setting out. We are so, so busy at the moment. Get everything while you can. 585-300 is your item number for your Celtic Gold table runner. Right then, last but no means least, the last thing that I currently have on the show. Let me move my water before I spill it. Um, this one has been busy already. You're one step ahead of me on this. £74.99. That will be on flexible payments as well. 285-609 is your item number. £37.50. Look at the beautiful quilt that you have here. Just, just remind me, there's a pin in the corner of there. Uh, I didn't know that bit. Um, just for me. Uh, so you've got a beautiful design. Really sharp. Uh, 37 pounds and 50 pence is what you're looking at. Uh, look at the size of the quilt that you're getting in there as well. It is absolutely stunning. It really, really is. All in all, beautiful. Everything that you need here is all in the kit as well. So you're getting all the panels. Let me open one of the panels up so you can see the size of the panel that you're getting. <laughs> So you are getting sort of like the fat quarter that's there as well, which is absolutely amazing that you've got there. We are ridiculously busy across the board. And you know I don't use that often, that word ridiculously busy, but we are. I know we're busy because in the gallery we are busy. The phone is going 10 to the dozen, and it's very rare that buyers are up this early. So this means we are busy. £74.99, 285609 is your item number. 
Most things are on flexible payments. Obviously, if they're over £60 mark, or if you're spending over £60, you can put them back on flexible payments as well. I'll give you two flexible payments. Um, right, while we gather our thoughts and we find out what's going on with everything in the studio, um, let's have a little look at flexible payments. Roll VT. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Why? I might as well just pack these away then, because uh, by the looks of it, they have gone, they have gone. It is one of those shows, once things have sold out, they have sold out. This counter is going to become very, very bare, very, very quickly. Catch, Kirst. Good girl. Good hands. Uh, right then, Moda is what we're talking about. The first one, your Magic Threads quilt kit is what we're talking about. Your Magic Throw that you've got there. Moda fabric is what you're looking at. This is once again, once this has gone, this has gone. So get in while you can, okay? For the sheer fact, we can get no more. Um, it's one of them, once it's got, I would get in quick. £77.99, 640-474 is your item number. Once it's all done, and once you've set everything up, this is what it's going to look like, okay? So this is going to be your the quilt that you're actually making here. Look at the size of that quilt. Look at the mode of fabric in detail. It is absolutely beautiful. You do that in a big, thick wadding in the middle, a nice fleecy backing on the back. That is going to be something that you want to snuggle over you, to sit there and just snuggle. You know, because you've got that beautiful drape on it as well. Because it's mode of fabric, you've got that mode of drape. So you know wherever your body's going to go, you've got that beautiful full. So it's going to keep you warm. So you imagine sitting with this over your lap of an evening. It's going to drape beautifully. Also on the bed, if you use this on your bed as well. So if we sort of bring this in and we fold it all the way down, you imagine the drape over a single bed that you've got there. Obviously, this is not how I do my bed, but just so you're aware. But you look at the drape that you've got there. So you've got that loft that goes all the way. So it's going to fall beautifully. It really, really is. Even if you're having it long ways across the bottom of your bed, you're going to get that beautiful sort of runner look because you've got the fall that's there. It is a stunning quilt. It's mode of fabric is what we're talking about. And it is a large old size. Get it while you can. We are ridiculously, ridiculously busy. Very, very busy. So, the Christmas Trees Runner Kit, here I come back again. Your Christmas Trees Runner Kit, oh my, Christmas Trees, once it's gone, it's gone and we're now limited stock. Limited stock we are here, once this has gone, this has gone. If you like your Christmas Tree Running Kit, get in while you can. There's going to be a lot of white snow here, I feel, uh, very shortly. It's sold out, it's gone. Your Christmas Trees Running Kit has now sold out as well. We've sold out of this. We've sold out of the Scandi. Uh, Winter Bears, careful, this. oh, you were so good. Uh, the Winter Bears have now gone as well. So now your Winter Bears has now sold out. I could do with sell out signs, couldn't I? Across the back of my, uh, Winter Bears now gone as well. Look at this, white space. It's very rare that we see this. Um, right then. We are busy. Let's go to Stephanie 
uh, for a demonstration on this first one, which is your panel magic throw. Busy on this. Once it's gone, it's gone again. Get it while you can. 640-474 is your item number. Right then, Stephanie, my love, I'm winging my way to Ireland. What have you got to show me? I wanted to show you how simple the panel magic quilt is um, with this incredible fabric. It, it's such a beautiful design with the Regency Romance, but the instructions are so clear. So when you get your panel, you're going to cut it into 10 and 5 eighths inch squares, and then you're going to have a whole strip, and you're going to cut that into a square like this. So again, all of your instructions are there. So it's 10 and 5 eighths by 10 and a quarter. And then you're going to take that and you're going to line your ruler up and you're going to cut it at 5 and 1 eighth. And then you're going to cut it again at five and one eighth on a cross cut. Be sure you close your cutter when you're putting it down so that you yes. end up with four lovely squares. Oh, look at that. And the beauty with this pattern is. You're going to cut all of your pieces and all of your colors. So your teal, your rose, your cream, and your white are all going to be cut exactly like this. And then you're going to take your pattern and you're going to lay it out according to the pattern design. So I'm just going to do a little bit here. We've got rotary cutters and rulers on the show and cutting mats as well. If you want them, get them while you can. Um, we have Sorry to chip in, Steph, my love. I'm so, so sorry. So, let me explain what is going on. We will go back to demonstration in a minute. Stephanie, we'll be back with you in two seconds. Do not worry. Um, okay, very good. This that you see here has now technically sold out. But, now I did say once they've gone, they've gone. But, Ste uh, my producer Ross spoke to Stephanie earlier. Just that's why I was talking about the Celtic one. And Stephanie said we can have a handful more, and I literally mean a handful. A handful. They're already going. It's on extended delivery from the twelfth. I have a handful. If you want it, two flexible payments, thirty-nine pounds on the nose. Extended delivery is the 12th now, so uh, we have now gone to dispatch on the 12th. The 5th has sold out, we're now on the 12th. 640474 is your item number. Sorry, Stephanie, my love, we're coming back to you. I just thought I had to tell them because it did sell out. Where are you up to, my love? I'm just laying out my squares according to the pattern. So what I'm just doing is this little section here, but just so that people can see how incredibly easy this quilt goes together. If you follow the pattern, you have this corner square is down, this corner square is up, this corner square is down, and this corner square is up. And then if you go to this one, the corner square is up, this corner square is the wrong way. So that goes this way. And then the cream goes this way. And the rose goes that way. So these are all going to be laid out according to the whole instructions. And then you just sew right straight across this row and this row and this row. And the entire front is done. And then you add your borders and your quilt top is all finished. So it is a beautiful, beautiful quilt that will certainly become an heirloom. And just the, the luxury of this material is just so beautiful. But I wanted people to see how how it gets laid out and how simple it is. So it's not a complicated quilt to make. 
Look how quick and simple it is to create a beautiful, beautiful quilt. And once again, you're absolutely adoring these. We cannot keep them in stock. I am super, super low on them now. If you want them, get them while you can. Everything else is ridiculously busy. Um, everything though, Stephanie, my love, everything is written in the instruction booklet as well, isn't it? Is it, um, so all the details are in the instructions that you've got there? All the details are there, yep. All the instructions on how to cut it. And that's the key to this quilt. Um, it's not, not difficult sewing. It's not a lot of piecing, um, corners and things together, but the cutting is perfect. And then you just lay out your squares according to the directions in the book and you have the entire panel done it is. and then you add your quarters it really is um i've not had a show like this for a while we are phenomenally busy we really well, really are yeah, people are absolutely loving uh, the quilt. Remember, we're talking mode of fabric here as well. We're now on extended delivery from the 12th, and I literally only have a handful. I literally mean a handful. If you want them, get them while you can. Remember, your final quilt is going to look, let me move this chair just so I can hold it up properly for you, is going to look like this. This is what you're going to be creating when you get it home. How beautiful is that? We are literally looking at Moda Fabric, £77.99, two flexible payments of £39, 640-474 is your item number. Good. We're now dispatched from the 12th is what we're looking at. Uh, everything is on the 12th. Uh, we are very busy across the board. Once again, my producer is now in talks with Stephanie. I can't go to her live via Skype um, because we're, current, we're frantically asking, can we have anything? What, can, what have you got for us? Because we are now pushing our luck with stock levels. We really, really are. We've got VTs lined up just in case. We don't know if we're going to get to the end of the hour with stock that we've got left. Um, no. uh, so, uh, Stephanie, we can still, <laughs> no, we can really still hear isn't. Stephanie in the studio, um, Jim. Uh, just so we're all aware. Uh, so, uh, what we're talking about now is let's talk Celtic. Let's go down to the Celtic is what we're going to go for now. So, that could have been interesting. Uh, so, uh, Celtic, uh, we'll change the details on the screen. As I said, we are phenomenally busy. And I can't say that enough. I know I keep saying it, but if you want them, get it while you can. This is the Celtic Gold Table Runner that we're looking at now. Thirty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Five eight five three hundred is your item number for these. Twenty pounds across two flexible payments is what you're looking at here. You're getting all the signs on there. It's traditional. I say it's traditional island. That might be stereotyping, but for me, it really does look. Traditional island. I did Panto over in Northern Ireland. Um, I used to have friends that used to live in, I think it's Bangor. I, we pronounce it Bangor, but I think it's Bangor. I think it's Bangor. Well, it is Bangor. That's how, it's, that's how you say it. Well, that's how it looks to write. Uh, but I had friends who used to live there. And this is, I absolutely love, I love the island anyway. The island is absolutely beautiful. So now imagine bringing the colourways into your room as well. Uh, £20 across two flexible payments. 585-300 is your item number that we're looking at. Right then, we're moving on. The squares is what we're looking at now. This is what you're getting in the kit. I know the kit has changed a few times since you've seen it on the TV. We just keep shimming everything down uh, under VTs as well. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful quilt. It's a large quilt as well. But just look, it doesn't matter with this if you're a bit higgledy-piggledy because you're going to get your seam allowance in there. So you're always going to get these straight triangles that you've got in there. It is a beautiful, beautiful quilt. You're getting the binding that goings round it will go in any room because it's gray and monotone that pop of color comes from the red that runs throughout of there it, it's not christmas it doesn't scream christmas because you've got those grays and you've got that big blob of red which i absolutely love two flexible payments of 37 pounds and 50 pence 285609 is your item number right everyone um this is getting this is getting ridiculous now 
It really, really is. We, we, let's go, can we have a, let's put a little VT in. Let's have a little VT of the Celtic run, why everyone calms down, gathers their thoughts. I think I need a drink. Roll it, Jim. Our second kit is a Celtic gold table runner. So it's one of our quick, easy kits. Um, works up in a, a lovely sewing afternoon, in a quick workshop, things like that. The kit comes complete with a panel from Henry Glass. So it's a classic Celtic panel with all the Celtic knots. So the kit will come with the panel. It comes with a long quarter of gold, a long quarter of green for the binding, and it will come with a green material for the backing. So you get the whole kit in this pack. All you need is a little bit of wadding. You're going to trim up your panel piece so that it's 16 by 42. So you're going to give yourself about an inch all the way around and about a half an inch along this gold border. You're going to cut your gold into three two and a half inch strips and you're going to sew one strip along each side and then one strip along the top and the bottom. And that basically does your entire runner. You're going to lay out your backing material, your wadding, and your quilt. And you're going to pin it all in place or you can use one of the new um, 409 sprays and put that on it. And then you're going to quilt it. Quilting is entirely up to you. What I've done is I've used a gold thread and I have simply followed the gold designs all the way around. In all the knots, I've stitched into the gold and that anchors it, does your quilting. I did a stitch in the ditch along each edge and then trimmed it all up. Cut your binding into two and a half inch strips. Sew them all together and put your binding on and your back is done. And in one afternoon, you have a lovely Celtic table runner all ready to go. So, they've pushed me to the table. So when Adam gets to the table, we need to, we need to tinker with the set. I said, what, what are you tinkering with? They said, well, we need to take out a board. They took out a board. We are now limited stock, limited stock on your Moda Magic Table beds. Whatever you want to use it for, it's now limited stock. And this it's already sold out once. And now I've bought it back from the 12th. £77.99, 640-474 is your item number. Two flexible payments on this as well of £39. And I am now super limited stock. We had, well, we had loads, loads of these. They don't tell me numbers because they know I'll say it on air. So they don't tell me how many, we, we do, they don't tell me starting stocks is what they call because you know I would count it down for you so you know how many we've got left. They just tell me when we're super limited. Limited stock means I've only got 10% left. And I, well, we're now down to single figures. That's all they're telling me. I'm down to single figures which means we're now, well, things keep bouncing in and out of your baskets. In and out of baskets, what does that mean? In and out of baskets means if you've got it in your basket for longer than 10 minutes, it will bounce back. It will go back onto the shelf. It's not yours until you check it out. Just because it's in your basket, the call centre still takes precedence. So if you're ringing on the phone, you can take it out of someone's basket. Okay? Unfortunately, it's not my rules. I don't make up them. But that's how it works. So if you've still got it in your basket on the web, someone on the phones can take it out. As I said before, we, got, we had less than, well, we had a handful. In my head, that's that. That's uh, not many. Uh. Um, so now, well, I think we're less than that. It's single figures is all they keep telling to me. But I think we're now... Mm, mm, mm. You know, just saying. Sold out. I was just about, I was just about to do the big waft. I was about to do the magic show. Like, disappear. I was about to do the great Houdini there. Just woof, go off in a little puff of smoke. Yeah. Well, um, what do I do now? Oh, we're going back down the... <laughs> of 
come, come with me. Where are we? Where am I on? One. The runner kit. What, this one? Oh, that one's sold out. That one's sold out. The green one, the Celtic one, this one, limited stock. Oh, I can't keep up with all this. Um, £39, 99 pence. We are limited stock is what we are now. Uh, li we are literally on the cusp of selling out of everything that I have on the show. Everything. We are literally on the cusp. Um, I was going to show you my show notes, but I don't know where they've gone. Where are they, Kirst? Oh, there they are. Now, obviously, I can't show you. I had two A4 pages of product. Three, because it's on the back. We save paper. And literally, all I'm now down to is Celtic, which is limited stock, which is single figures, and we have the black fractured. That's all I've got left. Everything else that you see behind me, if you're going, oh, that's nice. Oh, I like, I like the trees. Sold out. You like the runner? Sold out. You like the bears? Sold out. Everything has gone. You like the Celtic? Sold out. All I've got left, oh, my word, is, I feel sorry for poor Steph, but literally she's sitting there on Skype and not done a single thing yet, bless her. Uh, she's all ready to demo. Um, now we sell everything out, and she's, she was looking forward to demos. Uh, so, uh, do you want me to open these out for you so you can see the sizes? Let's, as I've got a bit of space, um, let's open them all out for you so you can see what size you are getting. Uh, so that's your first one, that's your fat quarter. So remember, you're going to cut into these, you're getting 10 fat quarters is what you're getting in this kit, okay? 10 old fat quarters that's going to give you a beautiful, what we'll do, is, Kurt, can I give you this, and can you sprawl that over the table for me, please, so we can see the full size of the finished quilt. Um, so we'll take that other one off, so we'll oh, keep opening your fat quarters. Um, is Stephanie there to chat to? Is she there? Stephanie, can you hear me, my love? I can. I'm just so excited with all this crap going on. I bet you are. Um, so, let's talk about the fractured quilt, as it's the only thing I've got left. Uh, so... The fractured quilt itself, it looks one of the... Now, I said it was quite easy because I've seen quite a, quite a lot of these sort of styles and done. But if someone that's new, is it sort of an easy quilt because it's all angles, because it's all the same angle? How would you say, from a quilter's point of view, um, talk me around the quilt itself? The fractured square quilt is, is a lovely quilt because it can be done with a lot of your scraps, can use up scraps. We've put together kits in black and red and gray and white because they just all pop together and they really look lovely but it's a whole new technique in cutting sewing is pretty straightforward we all sew the straight seams but the cutting of this is the key to making it a really fun interesting quilt it when is. you get your it's... when you get your oh go on sorry go on go on go on when you get your kit, you're going to get 10 fat quarters, and I can see you're laying them all out there beautifully so that people can see them. You're going to separate them into two piles. So you're going to have a pile of five and another pile of five, and you're going to cut those down to 18-inch squares. And then the fun begins with the cutting, um, which I can demonstrate some of. Oh yeah, um, we'll 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 do that. We'll uh, let's let's go and see the cutting. Let's see the finished quilt. Let's look at the finished quilt that you're actually getting here. Let me go over to my other my little spot, my little perch. Um, this is the finished quilt that you will be creating, which is absolutely stunning. The colourways that are in here, with the greys, the blacks, and the reds, are absolutely beautiful. They really, really are. Um, but it looks like the sort of quilt that would be quite tricky because you've got all those little um, nooks and crannies you want all the precise edges on there but remember you've got full instructions and that's why i said it was easy you've got all the instructions in there that will help you along the way and i was reading them before we came on air and it really does talk you through every single thing you need to know uh, but save taking my word for it let's go over to stephanie live um from ireland and via skype and let's find out on how to cut um, your perfect square, because this literally everything is sold out. This is all the only thing I've got left on the show. Uh, so, Stephanie, it's all yours, my love. 
Uh, welcome back. Um, as he said, the instructions come complete with everything listed there for you and all of your cutting instructions. So you're going to separate your kit for your five into, into two piles of five. So there's one pile, that's my sashing material, and this is the other pile of five that I have already trimmed down so that they're trimmed to 18 inch squares. So with your instructions, it tells you exactly how to fracture your squares. So for the first fracture, you're going to choose a spot that is four inches up on the left and four inches down on the left. Any spot in between there. So if I choose a spot over here, that's going to be my starting point for all of my cuts. So I'm going to choose a spot on the 10 inch line and on my top, I'm going to do the same thing. So I go across the top four inches and across the top on the right four inches and I choose another spot. So I'm going to choose the 15 over here and I'm going to cut right straight through. Kind of beginning to make sure. All right, on my other side, I'm going to start exactly at the 10 again and I'm going to choose a point that is three inches down and nine inches up. So someplace over in here and I'll choose, let's see, line 14. And I make a cut. Go back to my starting point on line 10 and I'm going to choose a point that is nine inches down and three inches up. So let's go way down here. So I get a big cut. When you do your second group, you do different cuts so that you get different angles. So my last cut, again, is four inches in on the bottom and four inches in from either side. I'll choose over here and go back to my starting point. So now that I have fractured the square, I'm going to shuffle it. So my first piece you take one piece that goes to the bottom. This, I take two pieces that go to the bottom. I take three pieces that go to the bottom. So it's quite easy to, once you've trimmed them, that's more or less it, and you, the fun bit then begins, because that's the hardest bit of trying to cut them in a straight line and get that perfect point. Absolutely. So long as you always start at the same point, all of your different cuts will be different, and your last piece stays the same. So now I have a totally different mixture of squares, and every square will be different. So I'm going to sit there at my machine and sew these together to make my first square, then I'll do the next layer and the next layer and the next layer. And then you put it all together and you cut your second set of five with different cuts. And when you're sewing them all together, you you angle, you put your, your points at different areas on the square yeah, so that they're all different. Obviously, because you've cut them from a square, they're always going to go back to the square as well. So you haven't got to worry about angles because you've cut them all together. So you know every single one is going to be the perfect same. So would you suggest, Stephanie, my love, would you suggest the, the, only, the only real things you need is obviously the pattern and the design. But would you say get yourself a good rotary cutter, a good ruler, and a good mat, and you're really Absolutely. good to go? absolutely and a sharp blade <laughs> those are three things with quilting that that are really important is a good cutting mat a good ruler and a good good rotary cutter they're that, vital to getting accurate cutting that's good so always so once again everything is there and you really can uh, go to town with all of them. Uh, we're still busy across the board um, the quickest and the easiest thing to do is shop ahead on the website I've only got one of the quilts left but also on the website, you'll see seven day savers that we've got there. Well. You've only got 21 hours to get them. Remember, they change tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. So you've got things like your woodland leather that's on there. You've also got your foam pad collection on there as well. Uh, you've got your easy quilting big stash uh, marking wheel 
uh, and your bobbing thread holders that's on there as well. You've got some dies on there. We've got threads. We've got uh, your bargain Christmas paper craft element, 20 elements in there, 14.99. Uh, you've got LED lights that are in there. There is so much. You've got Cotton Ada, six pieces by 30 by 45 um, centimeters each. You've got red, black, green, blue, white, uh, some, some of the cream that's in there. There is so much that you can get when you get these home. What an hour. What an hour it has been. Uh, we've not had one of these shows. Anymore. I've literally got one quilt left. You've took everything else and already three quarters of the stock of the quilt now has already gone. This is the quilt that we are looking at at the moment. How beautiful is it? We've seen how to cut all the pieces and then the fun really does begin. Um, all the bits of fabric, this is what they look like. These are your fat quarters when you get them out of your box. So you get all your fat quarters that are in there. So you get all the blacks and the greys and the reds that are in there. The reds are beautiful. I really do like that leaf design uh, that's there as well. Uh, and you also get those big, uh, beautiful black leaves that are in there as well. Then the fabric that you're about to see, that beautiful grey fabric, that is your piping or borders that you're going to be using. So cutting that into strips and using all the pipers and boardings that are already there. And you're also getting full instructions included as well, which is absolutely phenomenal. All that for £74.99. Uh, Stephanie, can you still hear me? I can indeed. Oh, fabulous. Uh, for those people that might be sitting on the fence, um, which I don't think they are, to be honest, they've, 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 they've bought us out a house and home, to be fair, uh, but maybe they're thinking, well, I'd like to give it a go. It's a beginner's quilt. It doesn't look like it, but it is. It's a beginner's quilt that you're looking. Remember, you're only getting the tops. You need the wadding and the backing. Stephanie, for those people that may be sitting on the fence and wanting to start their quilting journey today, maybe this is the best place to start it because you take each box individually. What would you say to those sorts of people? Yeah, I would say this is a lovely quilt to start with because, again, it's a straightforward cutting. It's straightforward sewing. But when you have it put it all together and you've finished it, it looks very difficult and people will be very impressed with with the end product and not believe that you have just started brand new. We no. do this quilt often as a weekend quilt. So people will come in at 10 o'clock Saturday morning and start sewing and cutting and they will pretty much finish the top by the end of the day. Look and the that. following day on Sunday, they come back at 10 o'clock and we do the wadding and the backing and they start quilting it. So when they leave Sunday afternoon, they're leaving with a completed quilt. So over, a week so, so over a weekend, you can complete an entire quilt. I've got a minute, I've got 45 seconds of the show left, Stephanie. Thank you very much. It's an absolute pleasure uh, to work Thank with you, you today. No, not a problem. Um, there'll be many more demos, I'm sure, on the way soon from our step. Thank you ever so much. Hopefully next time I see you, um, it'll be here in the studio, Stephanie. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Hopefully. Thank you, Adam. See Enjoy. you soon. Bye-bye. Oh. oh, she's a good egg. Oh, I'll give her a little tinkle after the show, make sure she's all right. Oh, bless her. Um, it's busy. We knew we were going to be busy. I've got one item left, and that is it. Check out your baskets if you've got any in there. Oh, you're in for a treat next. Here he does. The Danny Zuko of the Hachanda world. Ooh. Oh, yes, he's there. Full leather jackets and everything. He wants more, more, more. Join Scott for a happy hour show up next. You're in for a treat. There's a lot on it. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is gonna take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie. 
using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Hayley and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. The company has been going for a year and a half and as a crafter I wanted to find a box which I could receive every month and would be full of craft supplies. As I couldn't find such box I decided to create it myself and that's how Craftbox started. Every box contains at least 15 products which are beautifully hand packaged by a team based here in Cambridgeshire. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dyes, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the channel. I know the pressure, the pressure. Oh, I'll make it as happy as I can. All right, back off. <laughs> Hello, how we doing? <sighs> Do you know what? They did not put the, when they called it a happy hour. It's always a bit of a worry that one, isn't it? A happy hour. I mean, it is a happy hour because we've got loads of happy deals for you, which is always fantastic. That'll be here for the whole hour, which is a lovely thing. It's a lovely thing. And I think if you're having a Saturday morning, not like the old days when you could sit and watch Tiswas or Swap Shop. No, no, no. Those days have gone. It's me. It's a budget. So it, it, it's me on a Saturday morning now, but with a happy hour. So there's two things I need for this, and it's in. It's an interactive hour. There's two things about this because it's interactive anyway. Because I'll give you the offers. And then you come and get the offers. So that's that's interactive, okay? And uh, but there's two other things I need you to do for me as well. 
clock's coming. Ten seconds for that as well. I know that graphic. OK, hang on, we've got a moment. The first thing is, I want you to try and get in touch with us here in the studio, not through a medium or anything like that. Is anybody there? Any presenter there? Nothing like that. I'd like you to uh, studio at Hachanda, um, because what I thought is, let's share your happy moments in a time like this where some things aren't so happy, where people aren't so happy. Let's, let's create some happiness, everybody, on this show right now. OK, so, in 15 words or less, <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, a bit teacher. Um, 15 words or less, your happiest moment to date. Could be anything. It could be anything at all. Your happiest moment, OK? Uh, becoming a grandmother, becoming a grandfather, becoming a grandchild. Oh, who knows? Um, so let us know your happiest moment to date. It could be right now. I hope it's not. If this is it... Ooh, times are bad. Um, so your happiest moment. The second thing is, in tech now, they've got a little board outside their tech room that says, fact of the day. The brilliant thing is, they haven't got a fact between them. They don't know any facts. I helped them with a fact yesterday that said, put it up on the board, all octopus are right-handed. I got away with it. It's that's random. It's not even true. But it was as random as I could come up with. And you know what? A lot of people believed it, going, I never knew that. All these octopuses going around going, yeah, it's true, it's true. So they never knew that, OK? So um, they need facts, except one person, the director, who shall remain nameless, Baker, uh, basically said, that's not true. I googled it. So he put up there that they have three hearts. Always has to go one better. But the point is, your chance now to give us your most random facts. I want your happiest moment and your most random true fact. You can send them through. That's going to make it a happy hour, isn't it, everybody? The crowd go wild. So, studio at Hachanda, if you want to get in touch with us, we'd love to have your interaction with us on this Saturday together. Let's start the happy hour then with what I've got here, and it is a whopper of a bundle for all of your stencils. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking gifts, presents, I don't know why. I wish my tree looked this full underneath it come Christmas morning. Look at all these idea for your gift images and your stencils. We've got the lot. Now, of course, it doesn't just have to be for the whole idea of Boxy, because you can use these stencils, little parts of, so many little accents of these, of course, just randomly throughout anything, of course. But, love the idea. I love the idea of using these on wrapping paper. You could create your own different wrapping paper, or your different craft paper that you could do, and just have lots of those little elements all the way through. But let's go through. I've not done this yet. Let's see if we can try and describe what each one of these stencils are. There we go. Now, if this doesn't make you happy... OK, let's start this one here. What are we going to call? We're going to call that... Oh, I'm starting the hardest. We'll come back to that one. Um, what? You call that the bread stencil? Let's have a look at that again, everyone. Keep, think bread. OK. Uh, Jack, think your bread? You can't see bread in that. No. No. OK. Oh, hang on, hang on now. Now. Oh, no, that's not the game. This is... By the way, if you watch the 9 o'clock show, it was producer Meg that was on a last warning then. It's the same producer, everybody. Right. So she says, no, wait, wait, put it on its side. Hey, everybody, we're going on its side. Bread stents. <laughs> so, the other, the other side, there's nothing like that. No, seriously. Um, uh, we're going to call this one the bread one. Because <laughs> you know what? Do you know why we're going to... It looks like... Why have you been drinking this morning, Meg? She does love a sliced loaf. She's, she's one of the... Oh, give her a bloomer. And you, you can't be a sliced bloomer. Or if I see a bloomer, I have to go for the full bloomer. I have to slice it myself, because then I feel like I'm in a, a country sort of cottage sort of kitchen area. Um, Pre-sliced and look good. So we've... Don't let that put you up. We've got the bread. Merry Christmas. Oh, you thought of me. You wrapped it specially. What's it called? Bread design. Um... This one is <laughs> cheese. Are you hungry by any chance, my producer? <laughs> Look at that. What a diet. We're, we're five minutes in. Bread and cheese. Oh. And apparently that's her happiest moment, everybody. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Bread, cheese and meat. Honestly, there's island discs. That would be a luxury item. Um, right, so we're going to go with, with cheese. Swiss cheese, I suppose it could be. I tell you, that's a big mouse. There's not, you'd, I'd ask for your money back. There's not, there's more hole than cheese. Uh, but you've got all boulders, or um, you could, um, I mean, it's quite bouldery, isn't it? You know, on those sort of shapes. Or really big snowballs. I love a snowball fight. 
That, that's got to be a happy moment. I do remember having child... Uh, this is what we used to do. My mum used to send me out in the snow. I mean, no, this was a send, get out. You f honestly, freeze. But what she would do is, and, you know, she'd allow me to go and play with all the other children, etc. This is pre-COVID, by the way, obviously. Pre-80s, to be quite honest. And um, we'd go out there and we could all play in the snow, etc. And everyone would do that. And, but she was always, uh, you know, looked out for me, so she put little mittens on. Nice, you know, but Mum was thinking, oh, no, don't want to get the wool wet. Put these plastic bags over your hands. Huh? But no one of the children, yeah, when they have wet mittens, you'll be the sensible one. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, I had bin, bin liners wrapped around my hands so that I didn't get wet mittens. I know, I know. Funnily, no kids played with me. Just threw them at yourself. That was the only way to get through those winters. And they were proper winters back in the 70s, weren't they, everybody? Uh, well, s smallest violin. Just for me. I even got to play it for myself. <laughs> uh, right, then. How have we got... How much... How, Right, slow it down, everyone. You're far too keen. Two thirds of the stock has already got this one. I've only got to bread and cheese. Um, we're now on ge ge geometric cheese. Um, hexagons. We got your hexagons, your large hexagons, your smaller hexagons. <laughs> well, tell you what, I better get a move on. But we've got 52 minutes left. Right, we've got um, trellis. Yeah, not, yeah, I'd, I'd say there's definitely trellis feel about that one. I can imagine a nice. Um, uh, oh, let me think. Clematis. A nice clematis. Sounds like something you might go to the doctors with, it? but no, it's a, 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 I know it's a trellis growing plant. I have one. I have one. Oh no, I've got one in my garden. Yeah, I have it, yeah. Not, not, I've got the plant based one. Not the other one that's only cleared up with yoghurt. No, 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 no. Um, I've also got the chevrons. Chevron or zigzag? What would you go with? Chevron. We'll go with chevron. Sounds French. Go for that. We should ch charge double for that one. It's got a French feel about that as well. Let's go over here. Now that, to me, says birthday surprise out of a box. That would be a lovely birthday one, wouldn't it? A nice explosion, nice stars, lots of different colours on that. That would be a great... These are lovely backgrounds, actually, for, uh, collectively. Um, we're going to go with... Don't be smart now, producer Meg. Trees, really quickly. Trees! Alpine! <laughs> and we're going to go Alpine. Nordic! Uh, uh, forest! <laughs> Christmas trees. we go Christmas trees. Um... Oh, no, come on, let's make some more. What else have we got here? We've got, uh, we're down here now, are we? Um, diamonds. Nice diamond shape. Okay. Uh, trellis two. <laughs> trellis one, trellis two. We've got, uh, we're liking that. We've gone for, ah, now, uh, I'm going to go Harlequin. That was good. Meg, you saved yourself there. She was going to go smaller diamonds, but no, we're going to go Harlequin. Harlequin style with that. Like the Harlequin. Uh, we've still got more. This is only fourteen ninety nine. Saving thirty pound for this is working out a pound a stencil. That's not even including the happy moments that we're creating together. These are the happy moments we're creating. Come on, keep your unless you've got a better, happier moment, email it through Studio Urchanda. Uh, where am I pointing now? What we've got oh Mr. Direct has excelled himself there. We've gone line stroke horizontal. Um, they're not quite, they're not quite, I would like to, hang on, we'll go back to your first effort, Mr. Director. Don't, he's in charge of the, you see why we moved on so quickly? Because he realised that was an embarrassing answer. He went, oh, move on, I'll do the camera, move it on to the second one. Uh, we've got uh, lines one, lines two. There we go. Is that fair enough? Right, okay, fill your boots. What's number three? What's this one down here then? What's that look? That's a craziness. Called... Fancy gate. Oh, she's good. Fancy, I think we'll go with Fancy Gate. We like Fancy Gate. That's a nice one. And we've got the... Oh, yeah, hundreds and thousands. I mean, that would be a big cupcake. They would be massive. Oh, I could do with that. No, that would be my happiest moments. That would be my happiest moments. Imagine them with an ice cream. They would be great, wouldn't it? You know, if you had all those little bits on your big ice cream. Uh, our, our local ice cream van pulled around the other day, and the bloke was out there that was selling them normally, was uh, laid on the floor inside, found dead apparently in his ice cream van as well. Yeah, apparently he had topped himself. <laughs> topped with his hundreds of thousands. Yeah, there we go. Don't worry. Uh, Panto's not happening this year. Everyone's going, well, with jokes like that, I'm not surprised. Uh, 903080. Oh, oh. Th this one is the surprise one. I was leaving that till last. I forgot he was on there. Um, Broken, broken. Oh, now, see, this is nice. It's almost got, you could... 
Oh, yeah, it could be inside the tree uh, markings, inside on the tree trunk, it could be. It could be, uh, yeah, all right, Mr. Director. That was, it goes, that's a good idea. It was his. Um, it could be warped record. Uh, it could be sunburst as well, couldn't it, coming through with the nice sort of different ripples of the uh, sunbeam coming away from there as well. Water ripples, ever decreasing circles. That was a good program. Remember that, anyone? Uh, believe it or not, everybody, I know, I know, that has been 11 minutes, it's flown, that 11 minutes, is not it? Uh, limited stock, I know. 9030, zero, zero. luckily, the, a pound of stencil is where you are with that, uh, that is phenomenal, but you've got loads of offers, uh, and loads of options. You're not going to need a stencil for a while, if you are just starting out working with your stenciling, by the way, this is a great collection to have, isn't it? Because you've got so many of those lovely shapes and elements that you can do. 1499, we are limited stock which is fabulous. Uh, right, we better move on. Have we had anyone now looking for two things? Your happiest moment in 15 words or less and a random fact. The most random fact you can find, let us know so I can give it to the tech department. Oh, how, how, Kim? Oh, Kim has emailed in. As, oh, when I was... To, Oh, when I was talking about the mittens, my mum used to put plastic bags on my mittens uh, to, to get... Kim's mum, oh, Kim, you know what? You've made me the happiest. Kim's mum made Kim do the same. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Once the mittens were wet, they moved on to her dad's navy socks. And used bat... Blimey neck. They used bags inside of her feet on the wellies as well. And that... So I'm glad it stopped there. Pants all right? Everyone all right with those? Okay, Kim, that's brilliant. I'm glad, I mean, my, I, I feel I got away with that, Kim, with just the hands being covered in a plastic bag, let alone uh, anything else as the feet. Uh, it's lovely. Ah, oh, Linda. Hello. Good morning, uh, Linda, as well. Now, Linda has said her happy moments are watching, watching her chanda with her buddy, Boo, as well. Oh, look at, who's that fine young specimen on the telly there? Hey! Look how interesting Boo looks. Boo is... I love Boo. Now, that, what sort of breed is Boo? What sort of breed? What? And then... But I, I'll be honest, I love the pet on the right. The pet on the far left bottom, I'm not so sure about. Not looking so happy. Um, but honestly, they say TV uh, cameras put a few pounds on you. How many cameras am I on? What's going on there? Boo, sorry. It's a bit close up for you, that, isn't it, Boo? Sorry about that. Boo! Uh, there we go. Uh, thank you very much indeed. We're looking for your happiest moments to send them through to us. Uh, and um, also most random fact as well, if you've got that, to help the tech team. They've got to come. It's a challenge to them. Um, one fact every day to keep everyone ticking over and keeping a smile on our face as well. So if you can help out, that would be lovely. Right. Decoupage paper. Decoupage paper. Decoupage paper. The, de the word decoupage is a, it's a, good, it's a good word, isn't it, decoupage? Um, maybe you can help me out here, everybody. I'm going to be very honest with you. I look at this at 160 GSM, and I'll be honest with you, it feels, actually, a little bit thicker than I would have imagined 160 GSM to be. Um, I can tell you a random fact. Here's a random fact, actually. Um, I was actually a printer. Uh, I left, when I left school, kicked out of, I wasn't really. When I left school, I, uh, I became an, an apprentice printer. I did a, a couple of years of that. And so I got to handle a lot of paper, basically. It was all the full colour printing that we used to do. Um, and so I did handle a lot of paper. Now, this is 160 GSM. And it feels a bit, little bit thicker than I would imagine 160 to feel with that. Now, maybe you can help me out on this one because it's down as decoupage paper. There's 150 sheets. Let's get to the deal. It's 11.99. Now, that is phenomenal. It's 150 sheets of that 160 GSM. Can you tell me the deal? I, because I can't see you just using this for decoupage. So why, I'm not sure, maybe you can tell me, why would it have a different phrase, a different name of decoupage? I'm not sure. If you do a lot of decoupage, is it something you specifically look for? If you are looking for a good quality paper to work on at 160 GSM, 150 sheets, it's got eight pounds off on that. So if, again, you're getting through a lot of your paper stock and working with, it's a brilliant offer to go with. Um, it's working down to just eight pence a sheet, which is phenomenal deal. Nine zero two one one zero, but one sixty GSMs. I, I think, 
I think we're sending you a little bit down a cul-de-sac. I'm, I'm full of the French today. Oh, no, look, cul-de-sac, uh, decoupage, um, Rodney. <laughs> um, but you can use it for so many of those projects in there. This is your A4 white. Uh, but I can say that one, you felt it earlier on, didn't you, Meg? She felt it, I felt it. It was a moment. It was a moment, everybody. It was a happy moment, lovely little happy moment, where we just there, we, we held an A4 between us. Socially distanced, obviously, she's got very long arms. Very, very, honestly, it's like working with Mr. Tickle. She's a lovely lady as well. In fact, she's not even sat in the gallery, she's at home, but her arms go all the way. Uh, 902110, uh, if you can enlighten me uh, on the decoupage uh, title on this one, but uh, if there's a certain reason why you're looking at that for that. I know you probably do want to slightly think of your decoupage, any of you are a layer up, etc. Um, but again, for all sorts of projects, I'm sure you'd be great, you'll love that. 1199, fantastic. Now, Linda, ah, Linda has just emailed in to let us know again. A, a rag doll cat. I've never heard of a rag doll cat. Are your friends adopted one? Oh, really? Beautiful. I would imagine there's a lot of hair care going on there. Uh, because they take, must take a little bit of grooming. Um, but beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Well, she's absolutely lovely and a real tre a treasure for you as well. It's lovely. Uh, thank you for sharing and thanks for keeping me ticket over. Uh, oh, a random fact has come through. Hello, Pat. How are we doing? Lovely to have your company this Saturday morning. Pat, she says, snails move <laughs> at 50 yards per week. No, per hour. Snail loving that fact. I'm liking that. So 50, that, can you imagine being overtaken by one? That's, how, that's where you know I've got to move on a little bit, you know. I need to, need to shuffle on a little bit quicker if you're there. And all of a sudden, speedy, <laughs> going past you, shuffling on. Random fact, love that, thank you. Jack, by the way, floor manager, he's got a random fact. Maybe we can get Jack on there later on to sort of show. No, yeah, right, yeah, huh? No, but you, it's your fact, I don't want it, your fact. Oh, you passed it. He's passing it on. Uh, you can always get camera six. You can always have camera six. I'll tell you, I can explain it in a minute, and you can demonstrate. Oh, me. Oh, it's me. It's me, apparently. It's me. Uh, oh, we'll see. We'll see. I won't take credit for it. It is Jack's. It's a good fact as well. All right, let's go on to the paint. <sighs> oh, I feel like Joe Wicks for a minute there. That was <laughs> quite tired after that. Now, spot the deliberate mistake. Five, Loxley, 75 mil acrylic artist. Not three. So we'll show you this still instead. Because only with the steel do you get the music. I've got the 12 inch of this. Play this in the car. It's very chilled. Just enjoy the best bit. It's that little, little, little bit. Here it comes. That's it. And love a maraca. This is that maraca in the back. Can you feel the move? Zero two three seven nine. These are the Loxley Five that you go to here. Seventy-five mil of your acrylic artist paints. Yellow, red, blue, and two of the white that you've got. In. Uh, now they are. They are. Uh, you can mix. Uh, work with these, of course. Uh, brilliant saving. Eleven pounds and thirty-one saving on that. Another still coming. They're going to drag that out. Just keep your starts in. There we are. Oh, oh! I did. I thought. Have I finished with my paints? Oh, I, I, oh, right, I finished with the paints. Uh, these are the watercolour cards with grey board backing. I'm afraid I don't have them in the studio to show with you, but these are their 290 GSM. They're 130 by 210. Uh, again, wow, this is brilliant, actually. Genuinely, we have got here a £30 saving. So that is down to 999 that is a brilliant saving for you. A really phenomenal, phenomenal deal that you're looking at here. 104901. So it is your watercolour card. So if you're into watercolouring, um, if, you're like, if you've got that artistic flair that you love working on, looking for your board to work on, it is grey board backed, 290 GSM. Phenomenal to have that in you, that actually, at 999. That is phenomenal. You're going to get a set of your, is it a set of six of those, you say, yeah? Set of the six uh, to go for that price, which is phenomenal. Uh, love that, love it. <sighs> the 
little moments. Um, please keep your happy moments coming. I have to say, um, I'd say one of my happiest moments was obviously when my children were born. Uh, and I went down the pub after a celebratory drink. That was, there was twice, because they said, have this one on me. They've never, in my little local pub, never had a free drink ever before or, or since. Uh, almost tempted to have another child, uh, just to pop back in. Hey, guess what? I'm a dad again. Um, but probably not, and I have to be kicked out by 10 anyway now, so uh, won't bother with that. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think having children for me was a happy moment, I think. At the time, I was happy. I was sort of talking about this other day, we'd done a bit of decorating, and uh, I was talking about when we first decorated the nursery for when Jed came along, you know, and it was like everything, oh yeah, that'd be great, just get the anger of that picture of that teddy bear and all of that, you know, done all that, yeah, put together the furniture, the cot, it's still standing, this is a good day. So then when, of course, the, 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 you have to change it from the nursery to now when they're getting slightly older, there's no love in it anymore. It's like, oh, I'm done with this. Well, can you not just cope with that? I know it's got teddy bears on it. I know you're 23, but look, deal with it, all right? You don't need to change the wallpaper yet. My little boy wanted that uh, wallpaper that's like um, printed images. So it's not like normal wallpaper. It's like a big mural thing that's done it. It comes in two big sheets. And the one that he wanted was one of the solar system, which is, which is great. But honestly, trying to match up, you know, Mercury and Uranus to try and get them to come together is it's a tricky thing. It's a tricky thing. I'll tell you what, Mercury was a bit dodgy, and as for the other one, oh, right on the wonk. Um, still, I put a desk in front of it, and no one's mentioned it. Uh, right, moving on. Oh, another fact. Oh, yes, I do. Tracy, that's not a fact, that's a name. Oh, Tracy's there. Hello, Tracy. <laughs> Tracy has excelled yourself. Beat this, everybody. She's just laid down the gauntlet here. Fish fingers. Right, you help me at fish fingers. Fish fingers, everybody, are 65 today. Happy birthday. Oh, hang on. No, there's more fact. There's more fact. 15 or 16? 50, right. Fish, I'm going to say the whole thing. Fish fingers are 65 today. 15 billion of them have been eaten to date. That's a meal. Oh, she's not finished. This is, wow, this is a book. <laughs> She then goes on to say, it makes you wonder how many peas have been eaten. Wow, 15 billion fish fingers and just one pea. <laughs> Tracy, that you win. You win, Tracy. That is brilliant. Um, sorry? She's got more. Hang on, I'll just take a seat. Carry on. She, with the socks on my hands, yeah. She used to have socks on her hands for gloves. Socks on her hands for... Socks on her hands for gloves and socks on her feet. And bread bags. Honestly, she kept fresh for weeks, didn't she? And then another pair of socks. Socks, bread bag, socks. Honestly, what a Bigfoot. That, that wasn't an actual animal that they saw out there. It was you, Tracy, wading around there, overtaking snails. <laughs> Tracy, you win. You win, Tracy. Tracy, if I ever have a party again and I can bring people back into the household and stuff like that, you are invited. Come along. I'll do fish fingers and peas and uh, we'll have a right old night with that. And please come dressed as you were, um, as you were in that. Nothing else, just the socks and the bread bag and the socks on your hands. Did you walk on your hands? Because I would have got confused. <laughs> That's brilliant. Right, everybody, I'm loving it. Uh, bring us back down to earth, everyone. What's better than that? Liquid tape. It's the Walter Strong interior liquid tape, though, everybody. I love it. Can I say, by the way, if anyone's... What a name. Walter Strong. Hello, what's your name? Walter. Walter. Walter Strong. That is... I love it. Now, this is brilliant. He would say... <laughs> Meg said he wouldn't talk like that. He'd, he'd talk like, Walter. What a strong! <laughs> she went to, uh, that, that one. I'm sorry if I've offended anyone north of the border there, um, but um, it was meant to be a Scottish impression. Oh, honestly, they'll be putting bread bags over other parts of me in a minute and dragging me off. Um, I'm going to turn this round here because there's a lot of information on there, which I think you could probably says it a lot better than I will. Um, but basically, here, this is your um, Walter, Walter, Walter Strong. It's fuck on drunk. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> honestly, this, uh, maybe I should do the whole thing as a voiceover. 
You just go, I'm not here, everybody. We'll just, we'll just, here we go. Um, there. <clears throat> I'll try and do it in my very best voiceover accent. Walter Strong Interior Liquid Tape is a water-based yellow transparent gel used for protection and masking. Once dry, it forms a strong and flexible, easily removable foil that offers temporary protection of all smooth and porous surfaces. And I've got a little bit of M&S now as well. Uh, protection of sills, windows, ornaments, etc. during sandblast. Now that needs a bigger word. I'm going to run up to that one. Ornaments, etc. during sandblasting, painting, plastering and... <coughs> Sorry. I just saw what that one was. I'll try and say that in a normal way as well. Painting, plastering, and grinding. <laughs> I, wish I'd, I wish I'd read that bit first, everybody. I'm loving the hairdo. Uh, protection of vulnerable parts. Is that still part of the grinding? Protection of vulnerable parts during renovation and repair work. Protection against scratching of finished products during transportation or temporary storage. <laughs> I'm available, by the way, uh, to do any other voiceover work that's required for you. 928254. Now, basically, if you are working, doing, um, if you are doing any of your renovation indoors and you've got those areas that you do want to cover over to make sure they stay protected, I wonder, I, I'm just wondering again if it's on smooth areas, could you also, if you'd like, dec if you decorated and wallpapered, could you place that over the edges if you've got to then paint up to it, next to it? Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd imagine if you're just masking off again and then it just takes away, so it turns into a foil like substance and, which way, and that's going to be the satisfying bit, isn't it? Pulling away, get that bit of that and then just, oh, could you do it only one strip? Oh, that would be your challenge. Oh, honestly, it's not just practical, it's fun. Um, crafting, though, from that point of view, then are going to perfect if you're using it as a masking gel. And that will be perfect for you to work with. So, again, on all those different services you can talk about. So, if you can do that, actually, in the hardware and do that for decoration, again, of course, it would transpose and work, uh, obviously, if you were working in your crafting for that. Now, it's got a brilliant saving. That's a huge tub. It's a one-litre tub. So, I'm not sure what you're using for your mask at the moment. But if you're not using them, you know, and, uh, and you're, you're looking for something to go, right, once I've got that, I can continue on using that as well. You get an awful lot here and, a, not to be laughed at, generally, a £21 saving on that for 18 99 and you're looking at a litre. Now, imagine how, many, how much of that you would need if you're working on your um, crafting projects. You'll only need a smidgen, won't you? You're not going to need a lot at all. And if, if this is done for, like, room, you know, decorating rooms and homes, etc., etc., for masking off from there, for... You you take that down to the scale that you're going to require this one over the period of not just weeks or months but years possibly here out of that for 18.99 working as your masking that is a phenomenal opportunity for you 98 254 really good offer for you there that is absolutely a brilliant offer in fact that I would maybe you want to get a couple of those because if you are looking at doing a lot of renovation and let's face it most of our houses had a little bit of a lick of paint haven't they during lockdown and everything else is up to it um yeah we I've done I've, I've done my fences I've put out there as well trim me uh, trim me bushes back everybody and and revealed some very bare batches of me uh, of me fence um quite disturbing actually when I looked at that in fact I even called Fiona out now they say the romance is dead and I was out there covered in bits of shrapnel from bush etc and I went oh will you look at that will you look Fee have a look at this she went what we're looking at I went look at me fence look not a not a bit of paint on it anywhere she just turned around and walked off so I grabbed the kids out there as well, and they said exactly the same thing. So get on your trampoline and stop it. And the kids. 928254 if you'd like to go for a litre of that of your interior liquid tape. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. We're about halfway through, everybody. I know, I'm sorry about that. You, you thought, oh, you've only got five minutes left. No, I'm sorry. The pain continues of what we like to call the happy hour. Oh, and just so you know... In fact, just to rub it in, there's 29 minutes left of this as well. I'm so, so sorry. It's not part of your licence fee, so you can't get your cash back. Um, but just in case you thought it couldn't get any worse, everyone, um, we've got another one later on. Now, um, the timing, what time's our next happy hour? Is it 7 o'clock? Can you wait? Can you wait? They're actually thinking of broadcasting it as well mainstream, uh, so that it can be up there with, uh, forget Anton Dex Saturday Night In, you've got Scotty's Happy Hour. Um, so, phew, you know, they used to have things like Blind Date uh, and, and other such things. Uh, honestly, forget 
Is it X? What's it? Is it Britain's Got? Is it X Factor? What's on? One of them as well. Bin it off. Um, I could pull my trousers up really high as well if it makes you feel like you're watching Simon Cow. And um, we'll uh, we'll have a nice night together. Seven o'clock tonight. Happy hour. Um, keep your facts coming through. Most random facts so far. It is Fish Fingers' 65th birthday, and over 15 billion of them have been eaten. Okay. Here's another fact for you as well. This is from Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Very good morning. Hope you're well. Yeah. Right, I'm loving this. We start you with the bread theme here. A bolt of lightning is strong enough to toast how many? A hundred thousand slices of bread. There we go. I mean, there's easier ways than trying to catch a lightning. There was you with your with your loaf of sliced medium, probably as well. Maybe gone fifty fifty, bit of both. Um, trying to catch a, a lightning bolt over a hundred thousand times. That's tricky. Buy a toaster. But good fact. But let me just ask this question. Was this Tracy or Sarah, wasn't it? Sarah, how do you know that? I'm just wondering, just where, what's your experience been uh, to that? Was it a dark, stormy night and you ran a little social experiment as well? Oh, got a few little bits of bread left over, not been down to the duck pond. I know what I'll do. I'll try and catch a lightning bolt. Liking that. Uh, up there on the roof, antenna in one hand. Bit of Warburton's in the other. Other loaves are... I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. In fact, just don't do it. Not even a recommendation. It's a no. It's not safe. It's not the worth of toast, no. So also, as I was going to say, because she... Elephants can't jump. Elephants can't... That is the shortest fact, but one of the most ingenious. But I want to see that. How would you, if you're an elephant... I mean, it would, it would be quite tricky, wouldn't it? Would you, like, launch your trunk up to get a bit of projection? I'd, or flap your ears. Dumbo? All over that bad boy. And porcupines can float. I <laughs> do you know what? 34 minutes ago, when we planned this uh, show... It's 33 minutes past now, by the way. That's the planet that went into it. Um, I never thought I'd be saying that random fact. Elephants can't jump, porcupines can float. And you can toast bread by lightning. Sarah, you're invited to the party, OK? Please come along. You might be standing next to other people that will after your, 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 your bread bag. Uh, they'll be there going, oh, look at that, footwear. Um, but, uh, yeah, but come along, come along. We're going to have a right all night. It's going to be like, come dine with us, the ultimate uh, the, the party. I love it. Oh, where, can we, where do we go next? I'll tell you where we go next, everyone. Art board. It's the hits keep on coming, uh, you crafty devils. This is not just any old crafty devils assorted. Oh, no, it's a lovely mix here. Oh, yes. Have a moment. Two of your 12. I'm going I'm to go M&S again. Other shops are available. Crafty devils assorted. Three mil. Sorry about me, Cretia. Three mil. <laughs> I, d I did actually iron that this morning, but honestly, I've got, it looks like I've just been having a right old fight with it. I'll start again. Oh, he's already off. He's off. <clears throat> <sighs> mamma mia, mamma mia. Figaro, Figaro. Crafty devils or sorted three millimetre MDF art boards. Two, twelve by twelve, two, eight by eight inches, four, six by six, and eight of your four by fours. Saving ten pounds for you all sixteen. For nine ninety nine, everybody. Nine ninety nine. Six nine seven seven three one. I want it. I want them now. I want I want all your cheeky assortment. I want all of your three mil. I want your twelve. I want your eight, your fours, your sixes. I want it all. And I want that saving of ten pounds. You can have it! But only for the next 24 minutes in 16 seconds. Get it quick. 
Get it quick. Perfect for all of your projects. Um, I know that MDF always goes really, really well when it's on the show, and you get bundles of them as well. How many projects, how many materials do we have in the studio when we go, look, this is great. It will go on the MDF. This will work on your MDF. It's perfect for your MDF. Now is your chance to have that board that worked with it again to do all those projects with it. Back in it, working it from scratch. If you've got some of the, um, oh, do you remember the, this morning, 9 o'clock show, we had the um, pouring paints, for example, to work on those. Again, any other elements absolutely brilliant offer 999 only 697 731 basically half price <coughs> I had a little, little moments there everybody <laughs> Um, oh, but all over Adam. Uh, 697 731 More facts. Hello, Barbara. Very good morning to you as well. Pardon? She's in Q8 watching her chanda. Most people are in the living room and you've got all the way to Q8. Wow, I need to know more. You're invited to the Come Dine With Me special. Scott, I'm on fire tonight. <laughs> Ching, oh, oh, tonight. Oh, 11.37. I've all spent by 12. Um, that's loving my, loving my work. Work? This is work? Oh, my description of the, of, of the liquid uh, uh, that we've got there has, has worked a treat. Um, I'm not sure what Saturday Entertainment in Q8 is like. Uh, and if this is good, then well, what time is it in Q8, by the way? I'm just, I'm really interested to know. Um, we need to know, who is this from again? This was from Barbara. What do we want to know from, Mar from Barbara? From Barbara. What, Jack, what do you, what, you got? Barbara is in Q8. Your moment. How many people do you know in Q8? How many Barbaras do you know? Exactly. So, what questions do you want to ask Barbara now? She's in Q8. She's there ready to answer anything. She's right there right now. This is like our own personal Zoom. A anything. Your moment. Don't let this one pass up. You'll regret it. How many times does it rain a year in Q8? How many times does it rain in the UK? 365. 365. <laughs> You're right. Absolutely. Fair enough. Well done. Uh, Barbara, thank you so much, Steve. Tell us, tell us more. How's crafted in Q8? Um, that, I love that. That's brilliant. Thank you so much indeed. You've made my day. Uh, that is brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, can you beat Q8? We take Woking. Um, it doesn't matter where you are, really. Uh, Wakey, if you're Wakefield, Bournemouth, Cardiff, got not allowed in Cardiff. Leeds, you're not allowed out in Leeds either. Scotland, no, not allowed out in Scotland. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, I would say make sure you're watching us live again, but when anyone gets kicked out of the pub at 10 o'clock tonight, we go off air live. <laughs> so, ooh, we got that wrong. Uh, never mind. Uh, 999. Um, let us know. Let us know, by the way, if you um, got any random facts. We're loving it. What's your favourite fact out of the ones today so far? We've had. To, I, I love the porcupines float. The elephants can't jump. I love in that. I love what. I'm glad people have shared with me that they've also wore plastic as far as hand and footwear. Um, some great facts. 65 years for fish fingers, though. I mean, 15 billion of them. It's, uh, that's a massive fish. We've got some more facts. Christina, hello, Christina. They do, I get. Uh, uh, Christina, I'm glad you've recognised this because this is something I've felt as well, OK? Christina says that hot water and cold water both sound different when poured. Have you noticed that? Now, which one sounds better? I think the hot. When you pour hot water, when you pour hot water from a... Do it later in the break, OK? When you pour hot water out in your kettle, I'm not talking about the actual kettle noise, not that, uh, or the ow when you scold yourself, not that noise. The actual pouring, it sounds more fluid. It sounds more... Blah, 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 blah. It sounds more... It's got a little bit more flexibility about it. <laughs> Does it sound as better, better than wine being poured? Never. Even hot wine. No, mold wine? Ah. Pour... Right. It's just... Here we go, everybody. OK, it's nearly midday. It's nearly five o'clock somewhere. Um, it is a social experiment I need you to do for me now. I want you to get a nice bottle of your finest cold wine. Could be red, could be white, could be rosé. I'm not bothered. Uh, get that, get a nice glass next to it. I'd like you to get a nice warm mulled wine as well. Get that. I'd like you to pour them both separately into said glasses. And listen, is there a difference between the warm wine and the cold wine? And at the end of it, who cares, as long as they taste all right. Oh, there goes my 12-inch. 728-630-999. I'll just pop that one back up there. Oh, went up easier than normal. Right, 999. Moving on from one 
to the other for more of our MDF. The hits just keep on coming. We are now going to give you the Crafty Devils because I know you thought they were spent with their assorted mix. No. They're going to bring you the stars. Approximately 10 by 10 on each of those stars. Uh, they have also got the pre-drilled holes. So if you are working to decorate, to hang off said branch. To hang off said decoration. Maybe a little bit of a candy-coloured ribbon to hang dangle down. Maybe you're going to hang... Oh, a couple of those nicely painted up as well with uh, little photographs of the kids, the grandchildren. Um, what do you think about something like that? That quite nice little photographs on there? Painted and decorated up, ha hang them put through. Maybe you're going to put a few of these in a frame. Um, maybe you're going to put someone's name. It doesn't have to be for Christmas, of course, your stars. It could just be, my little girl got back. I love this. Uh, a very proud moment. She, I, I feel like I'm sharing. I'm sharing a lot about my family. It's because they don't talk to me. Uh, I know. It's because I'm always here at the moment, which I'm not. I love it. I love it. But when they realise, when they realise I'm not Derek Marks in disguise, um, that I will I'll probably not be allowed back in the building again. I've got away with it so far. Uh, the other day I said I was Matt. Got back in the studio as well, past security. Uh, that was amazing. And then the other day, on Friday, got in saying I was Leone. So, I mean, obviously, security is stringent. Um... But I'm loving this, and so uh, my little girl came out with a certificate saying Pupil of the Week. She'd been there one day, because uh, it had been shut down, uh, and obviously, so, um, no, it hadn't really. Um, but yes, very proud moment. She was so delighted. So little things like that in a frame. Um, any children watching, just cover their ears for a second, all right, including my daughters, all right, just cover, okay. All kids at school get one once. All right, just so you know, they have to tick it off. They have to tick it off. I'm a realist. I get it. But in that moment, I shared. I shared with her. Um, they, I don't know if they do. I don't know if they do. But that's what I told the son. He went, I said, look, mate, don't be bra bragging about it. We all got one. Um, crushed him. Never showed off again since. That's reality. That's a lesson. That's parenting, Scotty way. How old are my kids? 18 and 33. Um... I so, said, so, come on, mate. I was expecting. I've been waiting 20 odd years for this, people of the week. Well done. Um, now, but I'm thinking in a little frame, their name and the stars, we're maybe to go on their door as well. You know, this is Jed's room. Obviously, don't put that if your kid's name's Kevin or Barbara, because um, then it's just like weird. Um, but their name on there, maybe on their dressing table, they're going to have. Um, well, you could turn them into coasters. You can turn them into coasters. Um, by the way, it's a 10% on every, any of these ideas you take and work with, okay? Just so you know. Uh, but you are, gonna, you are getting here um, 30 of them. Even if your name's really long, you've got enough here. How do you spell that? What's, what, what's the, the name of that Welsh place? The uh, That one. Um, is, what's the longest? Isn't it elastic? Because that stretches. No? Anti-disestablishment, anti terrorism. Is that the longest word? Is that your random fact, producer Meg? Have it, grab it. That's a good one. You're invited now to the party of Come Dine With Me as well. What does it mean? Silence, everybody. Silence. Just dead airways. Nothing. Uh, 728-630-999 if you'd like to go for that. Or, of course, don't forget... It's your Dame Panto earrings, everybody, that you can have. Or Elton John, eat your heart out. Uh, they will work. They will work. They are lovely. Uh, go for those. 30 of them. We've got some steals, everybody. We've got, <laughs> there's a phrase. We've got pumpkin head. That's how Meg just sounded there, by the way. Oh, these are good. I like these. You've even got the little grooves, actually, around the, down the sides. I'm liking all the detail on that. Perfect. Right. Uh, 11 99 only, 15 of those for your hanging pumpkin heads. Perfect because not that far away. We're getting more into Halloween, aren't we, as a country, as a nation? How's that in Q8, by the way? Barbara, what's the, what's the uh, deal on, uh, on uh, Halloween? Uh, 7 double three three seven three. loving those. If you're into your MDF. Oh, hang on, we've got more treats. Uh, ah, now, oh, now I was gutted about this, everybody, genuinely. In fact, can I have a, can I have a moment without any, without any music for a second, please? Just, just, let's take this, let's take this down a little bit. Cause... Serious bit. Sit. 
Stop the, stop the joking and laughing in the background. Put the coffee down. Put the gin down. Actually, pick the gin up. OK. OK. I really wanted this on the show. I've been let down by not having the sample made up in the studio. Because I think this is a project that you would absolutely love. And I feel bad that you can only see it in a pile. But let's look at that pile, everybody. Not that one. That one, that's it. Can you imagine how this goes together? You will get instructions. It's not going to be your only way of putting this together is to watch this or rewind and look at that pile and go, come on, I know it goes together somehow. But you can already tell with the detail that's actually on the bar itself there what it's going to be used to hang from, that can work with. The detail that you're going to find there once you've decorated there on the little roof part of that. I take it it's called the roof part, isn't it? Yeah, the little roof part there with it sort of bowed, almost sort of um, a sort of Japanese style sort of finish off the top of that, going into that as the ornament. Now, once you've got that together with your little um, LED light in there that you might have, um, might be just your decoration, that will look brilliant. It's a fiver off. Now, I suppose in terms of if this was racehorsing, all right, if this was any sort of gambling, this is the one I'd say take a punt on it. I know I can't show you a finished sample, but you can be the first to see it when it's all put together. It's only $9.99. It is the beautiful wall lamp, and I think that you're going to really enjoy that when it's put together. I can't give you any dimensions of the size. I feel really about. Do we. I've got. Hang on. Have we got any dimensions I can give you? If you watch the nine o'clock, you'll know my measuring is absolutely always amazing. The lantern. Right, it's 12 by 12 centimetres. Uh, what's 12, 12 centimetres? Uh, right, so with the hanging pieces on there, it makes it 22 centimetres. And so, um, oh, where's that? Have you got that ruler, Jack? <sighs> I've only got about eight minutes left. If you, so what's the 30 centimetres? I mean, you're asking a bloke to measure. Tell me where, you tell me when to stop at home. 30 centimetres. 22 centimetres. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, everyone. Let's find out how close I was. 22 centimetres. Uh, I don't think I was that far out. Tell you what, I'm not sure what this is about producer Meg, but she knew exactly what she was talking about there when she said 22 centimetres. Which is the equivalent of, uh, what's that? 22 centimetres. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Um, it's 9.99. That's a lot of centimetres for 9.99, uh, which is phenomenal. I'm just showing you, it looks like that guy. 9.99 for that ruler. Well, I think I've read those details wrong. Um, it's the wall. There we are. There we are. It's, now, go for it. It's, what we get, this is a new element of the show. It's called Scotty's Punt. 999-949-011, 22 centimetres, grab it. I think you're going to really love that. I'm just so, I apologise, genuinely, I'm so sorry. Uh, I said this to Meg, uh, she consoled me, she pulled me a Horlicks. We had a moment um, with a long tick of the arms and uh, we didn't have one to bring to you in the studio. But get it home, work on it, that will be a lovely project. I love that, I really think that's going to be great. Do, genuinely. By the way, it's a bit cold in the shoes, I put a vest on today. Anyway, moving on. Didn't get the reaction I was expecting. Uh, oh, uh, Seven Day Savers. Oh. oh. Ooh. Oh. Have you felt these, Jack? 100% leather. I think I need my M&S voice. I could do my Audi version. My Audi version. Eh, uh, 100% uh, leather swatches! 10 by 10. <laughs> ten, <clears throat> ten, 10 by 10 assorted colours. Six pieces in total. Um, the colours are uh, these. Tan, black, chocolate. Um, this has got almost like a sort of olive, olive, olive sort of tone to it. Olive greeny kind of tone, earthy tone. It's gone with there. Uh, I'm going to go with caramel, caramel colour in there. Oh, that is beautifully, beautifully soft. Um, 
I'm like the perforated one. Oh, in fact, that, I'll just, I'll, you know, it's amazing when you take your glasses off how much more you can see. Um, wow. Amazing. I just want to show you because I'd missed it when I looked at the start with. Can you see the, the pattern? Hang on. Can you see the pattern in there? Beautiful. Really, really lovely. Now, this genuinely, if you are working with, um, you've got your swatches of your lovely fabrics that you are creating and working with, and whatever side of project that you're working with, this has got a £35 saving. Now, when you are talking about um, genuine leather, genuine woodland leather, 100%, you know that you can pay a pretty penny for said that. I mean, it's not faux, it's not fake, it is genuine, and you can feel that that is. So that is going to absolutely bring your project up to top, top quality. A £35 saving. That is... 70% off for £14.99. Honestly, that is what we should make all those that are wearing plastic bags on their heads and feet and toes, not red, so, you know, in winter, for, we should chip in together, make ourselves a nice pair of gloves out of these or sock. £14.99, 70% saving if you want to go for the 100%, 10 by 10, six pieces of your beautiful, genuine, 100% leather. 632076, part of your Seven Davids. And these do end tomorrow, by the way, just so you know. Um, oh, another fact. Now, this fact, apparently, is a little NB on this one. Little, this fact sounds so unbelievable or, or, or incredible. It does sound maybe, possibly, made up. It's from, is it from Paula? Paula or Paula? We're just going to read it. We don't know. It could be Paula, Paula, it could be Dave. She says, okay. Stop it, stop it. You're having me on. Yeah, I just, uh, listen, does it say mug? It probably does, actually. Yeah, it probably does. Just say one more time so I make sure I'm absolutely clear on this one. Eat damn cheese. You got your, I've got you hooked. All right, Edam cheese was used. I can't believe I'm saying it. Edam cheese was used to make, yeah, cannonballs in a battle. 1841. Okay, now this is from Paula Stroke Paula. Um, wow, Edam was Edam cheese around back then in 1841? How did they make? How were they made Edam balls of cheese so perfectly round? 184 the Battle of Edam. Google comes up with it, then it's got to be true. Other, other uh, search engines are available. It's one we want to... No, but a battle between Uruguay. Uruguay. I mean, of all the countries to be involved in an Edam battle, Uruguay. <laughs> no. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't. All I can say, all I, I can't say that. Because I wasn't expecting that fact. All I can say is, for some fell, some fell. People in 1841, people fell by by an e damn cannonball. Now, all I will say is on that is, if you're going to go, what a way, you know. But you don't tell anyone. How did he go? Mm. In battle. In battle? Was he on a statue? Yeah, you can see him on a statue on a massive board of cheese. Um, <sighs> respectfully. Respectfully, 1841. Um, <laughs> I've got 30 seconds left, everybody. Listen, uh, I'm, I, I really, Paula, you win. You're coming. You are guest of honour. You're head table, by the way. Um, we've only got moments left uh, for those. Uh, listen, I hope it's been a happy hour. Uh, we've got another. If you want to come back, if you're in for this, right, bring your Edam balls with you. Be back at 7 o'clock and um, we'll do this all again. Um, and even more fun, hopefully, as well. Hope you've enjoyed it. Well done if you have got those genuine deals. Really fantastic offers. But you still have got five minutes to get those checked out as well. Thank you for your company. Don't go anywhere. We've got more on the other side of this. Have a good morning. Edam balls. Wow. Well, we can relax, everyone, it's because uh, Adam's going to be looking after you now and take you through LeBlanc on the one-day special. Then we've got the Crafty Roof first anniversary. Where's time gone? Oh, and I love a pearly wink. That's coming up later as well. See you soon. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. 
We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided that we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters' carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hotanda. Welcome to the wonderful world that is La Blanche, but also can be yours as well. What a beautiful vintage boutique this looks, but 
you can make this at home so very, very easily. So you can enjoy your jam and your preserves, but then you can keep those glasses and you can turn them into something quite extraordinary. And I'm sure throughout the show today, you'll be sat at home saying, wow, wow, wow. And that's exactly what myself and Jane were saying last night as we watched the launch of the One Day Special. Now, a One Day Special is launched at six o'clock every day here on Hochanda and is supposed to last 24 hours, but we have been very, very busy. We've got lots of demonstrations, lots of products lined up as well, and we've got the lovely Blanche with us. <laughs> How are you? I know. Everything is good. Thank you very much. Oh, it's lovely to have you here. Thank We've you. seen you on Skype yes, over the past few months, time, yes. Sorry. but socially distancing as well, yes, so we, we are we, kept apart, yes, yes. unfortunately, <laughs> uh, but for the safety of everybody of course yeah. but it's great to have you here and lots of demonstrations lined up as well so let's talk about the one day special everything will be dispatched on the 1st of October uh, sorry the 10th of October not too long to wait but as you see here these beautiful finished samples this is something that perhaps you go into those boutique shops around Christmas time birthdays special occasions and you search for those special gifts for someone but also attached to items like this is a quite a high price tag well not anymore now we're giving away dare we say the secrets of those people that place these in their windows and sell them to you if you want to you can make these and sell them with the leftover bottles and jars that you have or maybe buy them individually but let's show you what you're getting now on your one day special, £17.99, you are getting 18 foils. You get three of each design. If you've never seen how these work before, you will be absolutely amazed. But take a look at the beautiful, beautiful artwork that you've got on here. Uh, you've got that lovely vintage vibe. You've got Elizabeth Tower right there. The early days of the motor... Um, car you've got the steam train there and you've got those beautiful balloons so some would say a nice steampunk style-esque vintage could be early 1900s could be victorian times absolutely sensational i love the colors in here as well because you've got the lovely vintage designs but you also have the pop of color as well these will fit perfectly onto your glass jars and your bottles and it's going to be very very easy for you to put these together and blanche is going to show us through the demonstrations so your one day special let's tell you how you can purchase this we are going to have a busy show i can feel it right now now your number at the top of the screen that's the item number so if you give us a call it's 929096 you can also shop ahead on the website as well 17.99 you've got a 19 pound saving on there that's incredible if you want to multi-buy I suggest you do while we've got the stock I think these will make an excellent gift for Christmas if you're thinking about selling online as well here's the time to start recycle those jars and bottles you don't need to throw them away anymore and turn them into something absolutely extraordinary like we've got here in the studios you can see in the front and also around us as well it is like standing in a very very posh boutique store so with your shrink plastic the demonstrations that are coming up from La Blanche you can turn something ordinary into something very very extraordinary Right, shall we head? Oh, let's have a look at some finished samples before we head to Blanche for those demonstrations. But do, I do urge you to check out your baskets. Let's take a look.
lovely music for a Saturday morning. Right, let's head to the Blanche and let's have a look at those demonstrations. How easy is it? It's Blanche. very easy. You need only a pot with boiling water and nothing else. In this kit you get nine of the larger one and nine of the taller one, the smaller one, like these. It means you can cover vases like this one or the larger bottles like the sparkling wine bottles and you can cover smaller things like these. You see the difference between the two. Or you cut these and you can cover these kind like, like marmalade jars. Really small, really tall glasses. Okay, they come 25 centimeters high. And by the way, in Germany you, you pay for each of these shrink for 2.50 euros. It's like like two pounds. Wow. And you get 18 of these. Wow, it's that it, is true value it, for money. Yeah, it, it's, it costs you less than one pound to cover a jar you normally throw away. Yes, yeah, exactly. It, it's really upcycling and it's a wonderful gift for anyone. Okay, you wrap it over the jar, hold the... Uh, Pay attention that you have one centimeter more on the bottom and then to hold the shrink sleeve and the jar with your both hands, like here. Then dip it into the water. You see it shrinks directly around the bottom and now dip it as far as you can into the water. Take a cloth, dry the bottom and before I dip it into the water, I show you, now you see no wrinkle, it's only a second, you have the wonderful image, the glossy surface and no wrinkle. Okay, hold it with the other end, turn these and pay, pay attention because of the air which is inside of the jar and dip it slowly into the water. Now you see we have a lot of leftovers here on the bottom, I dry these. I take a craft knife, cut off all these leftovers and dip it again into the water and you see it shrinks perfectly around the edge of the glass. That's amazing. Yes, really perfect. And I will let show you. Now you can see the whole picture. There is no wrinkle here. You have the wonderful image, you have the glossy shining surface, no wrinkle and the, perspect, the per perspective Yes, yeah, the perspective yes. is perfect. <laughs> it really is. It looks like it's been painted on. Now you yes. know the secrets of these fabulous items. And again, you can enjoy your jam. It's like having your cake and eating it too. You can enjoy yes. your jam and then turn that jar into something quite wonderful. Okay. Now we do need to say, because you are using hot, if not boiling water, you do need to be very, very careful. Uh, and also bring your jars and your bottles up into war uh, room temperature is always a good idea. Yes. And then you avoid any kind of thermal yes. shock. Yes. But you can see here in the studio that Blanche is putting these together very, very easily. We just recommend at home you be very careful. Maybe use some tongs if you're heading towards that hot water, right Blanche? Yes, okay. Now we have a smaller one. This is the tall one and the shrink sleeves are 25 centimeters. So you see it's, it's, it's larger than the glass. Yet, then when it, it's like this, you cut these. You cut these down in the right size. Okay, I take here from the top a little bit. I wrap these over the jar and now the same one centimeters. Hold both, hold the shrink sleeve and the jar with your hand, dip it in the, in the water, the next, dry the bottom, turn these, dip it again into the water. You see, it's not perfectly around the lid because we have all these leftovers here. Cut these. Oh, this color is not so... <laughs> But no. <laughs> you do need a sharp knife yes, again, be careful. Yes, dip it again here, and now you see, it shrinks perfectly around the lid. Wow. I find it absolutely fascinating to watch. I really do. And every time, and I've seen this many, many times here at Hochanda, the first time I was just in, in amazement. And okay. I'm still in amazement seeing the same demonstration because Wait. it just looks so fantastic. Yes. Here I have a little bit too much on the bottom. You can cut this away that it stands better. Now it stands perfectly like this. And you have these rest, the rest of the uh, shrink foil. Now take the lid, try to position it in the middle of the shrink sleeve. You need on both sides a little bit of the shrink sleeve. Now you have to take a tongue. It's, it's, you need these. 
to hold these like here direct in the middle you see on both sides we have the shrink sleeve hold it dip it slowly into the water on one side you see it shrinks around and it fix the um, shrink sleeves on the lid okay now you can turn this like these and dip it really slowly you see now it's on both sides fixed now you can put it directly into the water and Shake it a little bit because of the, um, the hot water which yes, is inside of, of the lid. Shake it a little bit. Uh, now I can cut off the leftovers inside of the lid and can close close the glass perfectly. Look okay. at that. Now you can close these and you always have a small hole here on the bottom. Take a flower or something like these and you can decorate these perfectly on the lid. Absolutely stunning. It really is. And it is easy to do at home. It really is. Just be careful of that hot water. Yes. Uh, we do have the flowers available as well. So maybe you want to add those to your basket. You get 144 pieces. It really is true value for money. And those flowers, 144 pieces, um, they are only £10.99. It's absolutely uh, astonishing. Uh, they're beautiful as well. And uh, what we've got here is the opportunity to put them into your basket so that you can check out with all you need. Maybe you want to wait till you see the other items. If you don't want to wait, you can head to the website and you can have a look at all of the items available for you so you can choose wisely and then set up your basket and check on out. So only £10.99, 144 flowers in total, 829475. Absolutely incredible. Time and time again. Uh, and the fun is, with the bottles, with the jars, instead of throwing them out, you'll be able to to turn them into perfect Christmas presents, perfect gifts for your family and friends, but also have them around your home as well. Uh, we do have more to show you, and you can see all of the items on the website before we get there if you want to get ahead of the game, because we know we're always busy as soon as we show you the items available to you. Now, we've got some ceramic stickers for you now. These, oh my goodness, we've been very, very busy. Uh, let me just show you these. How much of the stock has gone? Over 60% of the stock has gone already. I absolutely love these. Now, if you've got uh, some candles that you've bought, just some plain candles, and you want to give them to somebody, you'll put them in a box and you'll try and make them look as nice as possible. You can actually take these and place them on the front of a candle, making that candle quite extraordinary. And if I bring this candle down for you, just to show you uh, right there, exactly what they can look like. So a regular candle, could be a battery operated candle, as this is, that's not a real flame, uh, it's a battery operated one, but that looks perfect. This is actually wax on the outside as well. So it will look and stick and adhere to the wax perfectly. Uh, decorative candles, of course, because we don't want to burn them behind there. But doesn't that look beautiful? And what a gift for somebody as well. Or maybe you're thinking about Christmas time. I know where we are. Uh, and maybe you want your home to look all nice and woody now the autumn is coming. Something like that would look absolutely incredible. Not just for candles, though. You can put these onto books, for example, onto your journals if you want to. And we've got lots of different designs in there, all woodland images, which are absolutely gorgeous. Now, we've got some rice papers continuing with that theme, uh, still with the autumn theme. And with these, you can, you can actually use these all year round. It's not just for autumn, because these are images that you'd like to have in your home all year round. Uh, now, with your rice papers, you get four sheets. They're A3 in size, but what you've got are different images on there. So you can cut into these. So you've got the four different elements on there. But with rice papers, as you know, if you want to, you can chop and cut into any of them and place them and mix them up if you want to. So some beautiful, beautiful vintage images in there. Gorgeous colors and this is the quality that you're getting from La Blanche each and every time let's turn that that way uh, these two are my favorite love these so you've got that vintage postcard effect you've got the fabulous stag there and deer and you've got the owl at the top there absolutely incredible beautiful colors as you can see there I think these would look fantastic on boxes on books maybe you're upcycling some furniture of course you can use your rice papers with that as well or just put these into a frame. I think these would make remarkable, remarkable images on the wall if you add a vintage frame around the outside. And talking of vintage frames, we've got something for you to help you make and create 
those vintage frames as well. So those are your rice papers, very busy for those. 60 GSM, uh, 458047 is your item number and you get four of those but remember you've got the multiple images within. Only £10.99. Now I did promise that we do have items for you now to help you make those frames vintage if you want them to be to go with those rice papers. Uh, this is quite extraordinary, absolutely love this. And uh, this is going to give you the chance to create some beautiful ornate uh, surroundings and also decorative displays on your boxes, on your furniture. Now, for the very first time here at Hochanda, we have brought you these beautiful moulding borders in black. And that black goes all the way through. And this is important because when you're using your metallic waxes, this is going to highlight those beautiful, beautiful decorative uh, designs so very very well. Now you do get a meter on each and we heat these up and that's how we can then start to bend them and shape them which is also a fantastic song from the 60s isn't it? Bend it, shape it any way you want it. Uh, beautiful designs in here. I hope we don't have to pay for that. I didn't really sing that. So you've got those lovely rope designs. I know it wasn't in tune. Uh, you've got rope designs. You've got Celtic designs. I would say that's like um, either a Greek or an Italian design in there. You get a meter on each roll. You've got the large one there as well. Just having a look at some of the samples that I've got in front of me. Um, these are incredible. Can we start with this crown? Oh my word. Uh, now I've seen these. You can pick these up. Uh, there are certain shops that will sell these, uh, so you can put some candles in the middle. But these now look quite extraordinary because you've got that beautiful moulding going all the way around. And that's taken, I think it's that one, let me just place that at the side of it. Uh, can I take it to the base? It's all about the base. No treble. Uh, is that a different one? Well, that's why I picked up that one, so I wanted to show you. And there's Christopher Baker telling me to pick up another one. I had it all sorted. Had it all sorted. Now you've just got to mix it up. There you go. That's the one that's been used. Um, and the one that I had was just above it there. Oh, there you go. So very, very easy to apply these um, and they look fantastic whether you're putting them on just a regular box or on a book, on a picture frame, uh, on furniture for example. Uh, we've also got, let me just bring this one forward as well because oh my word, on a regular book. But what we've got here is each and every one just going down on the front using some beautiful gilding uh, wax or actually no, it's using the wax paste that we've got on the show, that beautiful gold. Uh, we've got this available for you. Uh, and we're going to head to that in a moment's time. But doesn't that look absolutely spectacular? So you get one metre on each, you get six in total. They're made of resin and wood. Very, very easy to heat up with a heat gun or a hairdryer. Or you can actually put them into the oven. Just put the oven on, heat it up, turn the oven off, use the residual heat, just leave them in the oven. Uh, don't eat them, they're not edible. But when you take them out, they're malleable and then you can start to use them. Uh, right, so that's 184913, just £19.99 pence. You're saving £7 on that price for all six. Right, next up, you might be seeing around us all these beautiful samples and you're seeing the gorgeous colours that are on there as well. And this is an effect that you want to recreate when you get them home. We've got the kit for you, so we've got that all sorted. 919898 is your item number, £14.99. pence. you have got the paint set here, so you've got 50ml in the cream green, 50ml in the white, and you also have the remover as well, 20ml of the gold wax paste. Let me just show you how fantastic the white looks when you're using that with the black resin moulds. I mean, that is sensational. This is just normal black with the white over the top, but what an effect. Isn't that absolutely spectacular? It's very easy to create this at home. It really is. And if you want to sell this, imagine the price tag you can put on that. So you can upcycle old boxes, books if you want to, and then if you uh, have accessibility to go online and sell them, you can do. Give them as a gift to somebody, um, something like that. Well, they'd keep as an heirloom, wouldn't they? Or it could be a gift as yourself. Maybe if I turn it that way, that would make a beautiful jewellery box, wouldn't it? Be absolutely perfect. £14.99 pence for that set. And if you do want it, pop it into your basket, because I know we're going to be busy for that as well. Right, next up, I told you I had a lot on the show. Uh, next up, we've got a fantastic paper kit for you, oh my word, which is going to look absolutely sensational in your craft room. This is your circus paper crafting kit. My word, you get so many different elements in this. 96 
laser cut images to begin with. You also have 15 12 by 12 papers as well and 15 tags to boot. My word, just look, just take a moment to have a look at the images that we've got on here for you. Uh, beautiful vintage designs of a bygone era. Uh, circus days that unfortunately aren't here anymore, but when you take a look at these, they're just so, so thought-provoking um, that they're going to give you hours of pleasure cutting into and using maybe for your journals, using for your uh, book designs, making cards as well. Let's not forget card makers uh, cutting up to, into all of those beautiful tags and the laser cut images as well. Um, this is going to give you the ability to pop these onto cards. Now, let me just pick this up to show you. All of these images beautifully cut as well. These are laser cut, so you don't have to cut them out. So they'll come in your packages like so and then you'll be able to take these out. I think what works really, really well with these, if I just turn this to the side, they've all been foam mounted, so they just stand proud. So placing these onto cards, my word, they're going to be absolutely incredible. What's your favourite character? I think my favourite character is the clown just there. Fabulous. Uh, if you do want to get hold of this kit, it's only £20.99. pence. You're saving £7 on that price. It is an incredible deal, and everything that you get from La Blanche, of course, is going to be absolutely beautiful quality time and time again look at the papers as well double-sided papers uh, you get there so if you want to use these with your journaling your scrapbooking or indeed you just want to cut out the images and use these on cards for example place them in a frame and add other elements to them um, just create something absolutely spectacular love the colors in here love the blues love the red love all that vintage designs as well you've got the ephemera to cut out on those 12 by 12 papers absolutely stunning and incredible 20 pounds and 99 pence 528942 is your item number uh right we're going to head back to the branch now we're going to have some more demos what we can have a look at now Blanche? yes uh, the circus paper kit uh, the circus paper kit you get 15 papers you get 15 texts you get all these ladies are cuts and you can do so much and here I combine this with our shadow boxes we offer the shadow boxes with the feeds too here and the shadow box have the right side to cover these with the perfect images of the circus paper kit I start uh, with a curtain with one of these curtains I cut out the curtain you see and I cut these on one side and I start with the with the, the edges of the of the shadow box now just first like you, this one just why you glue that on uh, Blanche I just want to show everyone at home what you're getting with the shadow boxes because you're also getting your six metal feet as well this is an incredible deal the metal feet they're, in, they're beautiful and made of metal as well so you've got quality there nine pounds and 99 pence also on extended delivery if you want to add these to your boss uh, baskets baskets what's that uh, baskets please do so uh, and again you can multi buy three double four one four three and that's what we're demonstrating right now you also get the screws included so Blanche has thought of everything for you yes okay uh, these feet are good uh under boxes too, not only under the shadow boxes, you can work with these under round boxes because these feet are perfectly for round boxes too, not only for square boxes. Okay, now I put some foam pad and to be, get more 3D dimension and I apply the, the curtain here on top. Then I further, I cut out uh, these tent and I will position it with a foam pad too, like this. Yeah. Oh, I remove the foil here. <laughs> okay. Now I have a wonderful t circus tent. Okay. For the inside, I start. I think this is the director. Oh, and he looks really like the director. I start with the director on one side. He doesn't look like our director, Blanche. Chris, yes, we need a bit more hair for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I love these images, uh, Blanche. It's it's quality, isn't it? Yeah. And and the detail that you see it's, in there, it's... and the colours that have been used. Okay, and then the the both women here. I think they sit 
we can sit them here like 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 on a what's what's the name trapeze. for trapeze trapeze yes. trapeze yes like on a trapeze yes I do this and I fix them on the other side here with two f small pads like this and this I fix them on the back side of the tent yeah no, it's too too large now it works okay and this on this side yeah okay there you go. and now I fix them first here and then I put some spool behind these and I have to look I think this yes that's the right size and this okay. is where the shadow boxes really do come in and they're going to look fantastic and adding some LED lights in there as well some yes, fairy lights yes. very magical I like this because you can play so much with these you create really you create scenes yes uh, something okay. else which would look remarkable or okay, sound now remarkable see. now they they're sitting on the trapeze <laughs> would be a little you know for a musical box you can yeah, buy a little musical yeah, box yeah. just to place underneath it I think yeah. that would be lovely with a little sound coming from it this, on this side okay now we have a lot of small things here we in this kit we have all these signs of circus like this one I start with these and on the bottom of all the papers we have borders like this and on these borders we have ticket signs we have the circus sayings we have old posters everything is on these and you can cut out these and you have enough to 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 play with these on a shadow box like this okay now i take these two and we, i can bend these a little bit and go over the edges like this put some yeah tickets we have small tickets we have this poster here and I will s play with these here on the side then we can this is a little bit of gauze I use these gauze and go over this and take some of the flowers from the kit okay all these flowers have um, what's the name of this draught have a wire yes the wire back end and you can crumb these around the brush okay and that makes it easy to create little bouquets as well because you can take the flowers and you can have them collectively together by using that wire, can't you Blanche? Yes, I like to play with all these things. Yeah. Okay, here inside we can do something inside which what you do the... we have... S oh no, another man who's flying, we have some of these swimmer here in the back. Oh yes, we do. Oh, we let him spring on the top <laughs> yeah uh, I think we have a woman too yeah this one oh, they, we, they're we diving take. into a pool yeah we do this in the back no side. bigger than a washing up bowl <laughs> that's what they do at the circus isn't it they jump from a very yeah, tall yeah. height <laughs> okay we do this yeah I like this and if you, you want to decorate this, because this is a very strong paper, it's yes. a strong, strong paper, it's a fluorescent paper, you can add some, some stickles or glitter, glitter on top. I think for, for circus you need a little bit of glitter. Definitely. You know this. And if you want, you can uh, t put varnish on top too, if you like, because the paper is very strong and it's a little bit pleasant and it's very easy to work with these okay like this love that yeah i think it's enough oh, right? yeah <laughs> love all the colors love all the images yes, in I, there as well i showed like this perfect for your shadow boxes also perfect 
for card making as well. When you look at all the different elements that you're getting there, your 12 by 12 papers, you're also getting your tags and laser cut individual pieces, 96 laser cut images. The tags and the papers, they're all double sided as well. This is a beautiful sample. Uh, I also have another sample to show you as well because making and creating, hello, uh, making and creating, where are we? Uh, Pop-up cards. Uh, let me just show you this one as well, get this right. So we have the card on the front made from the papers but then as we open that up look at that that is incredible isn't it what a pop-up card that is again with this set all of your pieces individually cut with laser cut as well which makes them beautiful to use you've got um, uh, incredible um, value for money here because the actual designs that you see you have so many and these are double-sided as well I just get these cut them up and just keep looking at them I think they're absolutely fantastic and you're also getting your 12 by 12 papers as well all for just 20 pounds and 99 pence 5289 is your item number Right, let's stay with the theme of the circus. We've got some decoupage papers for you here. Uh, you've got 12 decoupage sheets for you and you've got four different designs. Um, love these. I recently started using decoupage papers to cover up books, to cover up journals. And you know what? It's really easy to do. What I love about decoupage papers is you have all of these different images to use. But what you can do is just take a small element of each of these papers and just with some decoupage decoupage glue start placing them together so you don't have to use the whole of that image if you don't want to you can cut into that I'm sure you know all about decoupaging at home if there's something that you do as a crafter look at the images look at that oh what's she gonna do um, we've got beautiful beautiful designs great colors as well and of course incredible quality and value for money 781972 is your item number for those now, we also have the decoupage glue for you, which is always handy if you want to do some decoupaging. Um, now, with the glue, you get the silky shine and you also get the glue for ceramics as well. So if you want to put that onto pots, then it's going to be perfect for you to do so. But the uh, super shiny one, I think that is fabulous. I've used something very, very similar and, uh, well, it makes all the difference. It really does. And $9.99, that is a fabulous price because you don't need an awful lot of it. Uh, and in there, you're getting 230 mil of the silky shine and also um, 100 mil of the decoupage glue for ceramics. Right. I'd like to introduce you to my mansion. Uh, we are live now from my home. I wish, I wish. Um, this is giving you an idea of what you can do with those beautiful, beautiful decorative borders. Uh, these are really easy to use. These are your natural mixed media borders, only £19.99, and you're getting a set of six. There's a metre on each one. Now, let's just take a look at this bucket. So, I know you can pick a bucket up like this. Uh, well, I went all Leicester then, pick a bucket up like this, very, very cost effectively, but it looks very boring because it's just plain. Now, if you take your mixed media decorative borders, just heat them up, look how you can shape them and bend them, and it allows you to place them onto uh, items that are curved, just like this, but now that looks very, very expensive. Let's take a look at furniture. Now, maybe you've got uh, a neighbour who's throwing something out, or maybe you're going to an antique centre, or maybe you've seen something on the marketplace and you're thinking, right, I'll have that, but what can I do to make it extraordinary? All you have to do is heat up those decorative borders that you see there, then you can add those beautiful vintage colours and it changes something that was perhaps very, very boring, very lacklustering, into something absolutely remarkable this is really easy to use and you can do this at home and then who knows you might be able to set up your own business upcycling furniture but the point being that these will be able to go onto buckets because you can curve them round they'll be able to go on boxes onto furniture onto candlesticks as well uh, you might have some candlesticks at home maybe you've had them in your family in your home for a number of years and you're thinking right I need to go and buy some new ones don't buy anything new let's upcycle that's what it's all about we've got the time to do that now and now you've got the products 19 pounds and 99 pence let's show you some more designs this really will blow you away this is a gorgeous hat box if you know anybody uh, maybe he's getting married. Oh, what a gift this would be. Do you know what I'd put in there at Christmas time? I'd put one of those panettone cakes. 
Oh, yeah. Because you buy them and they're in a very, very boring tin. You give this as a gift, this is a gift, and what's inside is a gift as well. Can I show you another couple of samples, please? Can I place this down? Um, here is a fabulous idea. Look at this. Uh, so once upon a time, this is probably a mirror. Now it's a chalkboard. Uh, just painted with some chalk paint. And then you can just get some chalk and you can write some messages on there. But the point being, that border has now been created using those mixed media borders. Just adding uh, the set of paints that we've got available for you on the show. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. I bet your minds are racing at home. I bet you're looking around your house now thinking, right, what can I upcycle? Let's get that. Let's get this. Let's get that. Um, it's fantastic. We are, we do have an extended delivery on this, but we're dispatching everything on the 10th of October. And your home too can look like mine. Oh, if only, if only. Uh, do check out your baskets and make sure you get those whilst we've got them. Now, let's talk about what you need to create those beautiful colours. We've got your laser gel. We've also got your decor paint as well. Now, I love these two colours because this just speaks vintage to me. Maybe Parisian vintage. And you also have that beautiful soft white as well. Together, these will create some amazing effects for you. £13.99, that's all it is. Uh, three, five, four, six, four, three. Incredible products, incredible prices. And you can make some incredible items as well. Take a look at this. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? And it's amazing to know that you can make these very, very easily at home. Uh, a reminder of your six natural mixed borders. They're there for you. They are available at the moment. £19.99, saving £7 on that introductory price. 968956. Let's see them in action, actually, and let's see how easy they are to put onto your projects. Okay, Blanche? Yes. Uh, I promise to finish this board. I, I start with this board in the morning and I promise the people to finish this. Okay, okay this is a cardboard frame. I put with the decoupage glue uh, one uh, image from the rice paper on top and I start on this side with the bendable borders to show you how it works. And I do now I do the other side. Normally the borders come like this. They are in a roll and they are really strong. Please don't try to unroll these because then they break. Take take a heat gun or put it in an oven. Okay. You can put it in an oven. Uh, to start you you see here start with a heat gun and you see it it oh, wow. becomes flexible and you see it rolls off. It's it's very easy to do these and when they are I, I Finish now. I have all these when they are on uh, off road. Yes, yes. okay. Yes. Uh, and they are uh, hot. They are very flexible, and you can bend it on any direction you like. Like these, you can see here. You can bend it on this one. You can bend it on this side. It's no problem. Okay. Now I start on this side and fix them on one side. I fix them first and then I heat these these both sides and bend it over the edges. Perfect. And you're just using regular hot glue there? Yes, yes. I pre but this is um, like wood. You can uh, stick them or glue them with any wood glue if ah, you okay. like. Yes. Or paper glue. Yes. 
wooden yeah. it's the same okay now you see this is a little bit harder I have to heat it again and okay I take this on this side and these on the other side. It doesn't take long to heat up now, to start using. Yes. So that's a very good point. Don't try to unravel them before you've yep. got your heat gun or hairdryer to them and you'll notice them start to stretch out so you'll know the right time to cut into them. And if you want to cut them the same, please heat them and then cut them. This okay. is very easy to cut them when you heat these for first, okay? Now I stick both sides now I heat first this side and then I bend it over the edges okay try, yeah, yeah. now it works this is enough I think these would be great on furniture or maybe if you've got an old headboard for a bed it'd be yes. absolutely amazing. yes I think you can decorate everything with these because this is not uh, only a decoration um, like like paper or hearty this is durable yes yes, yes. You can decorate flower pots with these and let them stand outside if you like. And they'll be, and they'll be okay to, to keep outside, it won't crack. Yes. And they look absolutely spectacular. I'll show you one in a moment's time actually. Really are beautiful. Okay. This side. And here I try to, to eat everything together on this side. And um, the furniture you, you show uh, five minutes ago, it's first painted with a white, with a white decor soft paint, yes. which is in the kit. And then we, we put the uh, country blue laser gel on top right. and wipe this away. And here, I like the, the color of the nature wood, of, the, of, of yes. the borders. I think this color is matching perfectly to the image of the rice paper. Well, because, it looks vintage. Yes, because of this, I do not... Uh, Put a layer of white. I, d I go directly with the laser gel on top of these nature borders. Okay. Now the gel you'll show us in a moment's time. The details for that is at the bottom of your screen. It's only thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Once you see it start uh, to be used by Blanche, I know it's going to fly. So pop that into your basket. Yeah, really. Three five four six four three. Because it's a gel. Blanche, yes, do we use right. a brush, a sponge? Yes. You can. Uh, I use a brush to to. I have to be cold down now. Yes, okay. I first cut these. As as long as it is hot, yes. it doesn't stick perfectly. Now I need to cool down to <laughs> that they stick. Now yeah, they stick. I like that you can go over the edges. I think yeah. it, it something happened with the picture. If you go over the edges yeah. with these, I like this very much. Okay, I try this one on this side, these and then great. I paint it. Be great for frames. Yes, on for mirrors. Frames. Yes, as for well. frames. Yeah. And when you hear these, you can cut perfectly. You can cut uh, on the edges like these, if you like. You can cut. Them. Yes, yes. You can cut perfectly these. Okay. Uh, the laser gel. Um, it's like a, like a varnish. You can paint these. Yes. And I always paint this and wipe it away with a with a sponge, with a humid sponge. Yeah. Uh, that uh, the the color over on, only sticks in the um, increases. Got you. So it highlights. Yes. It. Yes. And uh, but you you do, do not color this only. Uh, you you it's it's like like a varnish. You you seal this too. Yes. With it with this with the laser gel. You don't need any more varnish. Yes. I'm just looking at the larger one there. I'm thinking if you made the right shape, used the right tool, you could actually make a bracelet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That would look pretty cool. Okay. Oh, and this one. Okay. Now, please a little bit cool down now. That it sticks. Because of the hot glue, yes. both the oh. hot glue is fluid when it's hot. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Brilliant. Yes. We have both perfectly. Okay, uh, oh, we have enough time. Yeah. Uh, I was, before I do the laser gel here on the corners, I put the two component of crackling varnish here. Okay. okay. We'll put the details of that on the screen so you can follow the demonstrations and see what Blanche is doing and then add the same to your basket. You can also watch these demonstrations for free again. They're available on Rewind. So when you get your products home, when we dispatch them on the 10th of October, when you get them home, you can craft along with Blanche. Yes. 
Okay, this is rice paper and I do no varnish on top of the rice paper. It means the rice paper is very porous. Yes. Because of this, I, you see, I do a, a, a thick layer, a thick layer of the first component of the two component um, crackling varnish. Yes. Because this comes if, with A and B, yeah. and those are the details on your screen at the side. Ten thousand. If you do, do it too thin, I think the rice paper will soak everything. Yes, and you won't get the effect yes, you need. Yes, you, you don't have any effect. I think so. <laughs> okay, the, you can speeden this up, but don't do this with a heat tool. You need a hair dryer because the heat tool is too hot okay. for the crackling varnish. Okay, I speed this. It's loud, but it, it doesn't need so long time. That, that, that will dry clear, will it, Blanche? Yes. Hmm? It will dry clear. Yes, it, it dries clear, but before it dries clear, we put, we do the second layer of uh, the second component of the two components. Okay. I have to hold these. There are sticks there. Okay. You see. It needs not so much time. Yes. Could we use this paste on wood, on MDF? Yes, you can do this. But I think MDF soaks more than the rice paper. For this, if you want a w wonderful crackle effect, it's better if you do one layer of normal varnish on top. Yes. A lie like a heavy body gel with, with, with a lot of water or something yes. like this. You need a primer that the, that the surface doesn't soak so much Got of you. the first component of the one. Okay, now I do the second, the second layer. Normally, you need, it has to be a little bit drier than this. Okay. But if you want, uh, if you do the second layer of the two component now on this, you have really large crackles. Yes. If it's dry, um, as longer you, you give them time to dry the first component, as thinner are the crackles. Right. So the more it dries, the thinner the crackle. Yes. And if it's wet, you get a bigger Larger, crackle. Re yes, really large crackles. Okay. <laughs> now, I think it's dry here. What? This okay. effect is so, so popular in the mixed media and crafting world, getting that crackle effect, because it, it yeah. makes something You have a lot of samples here in the background. Look look here, the, the women. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll, yeah I'll, wonderful samples here in the background with the crackle yeah, on we'll, top. We'll take a look at that, because that is amazing. It looks like there's some metal uh, surrounding that particular frame, but I'm sure that is made up yes, of moulded flowers. Yes, these are, yes, these are moulded flowers. And on Sunday we have a new ODS and we present an ODS, I think, with six new moulds. Wow. Uh, I've just picked up a sample eight, from with the eight back. New modes, sorry, eight new moulds. Eight modes on new moulds. Uh, I've picked um, a sample up from the back and I picked it up very, very carefully because I thought it was going to be very heavy and metal, but it's not. And these are the effects that you can make and create using the products that we've got on the show. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Imagine that on your wall. Imagine getting that as a gift. Imagine giving it as a gift. Or imagine selling it on one of the craft websites that are all out there or auction websites. I mean, that is absolutely spectacular. And that crackle effect, oh my word. You can also use that crackle effect, of course, on the different tags and papers that you're getting if you go for the circus um, set, which would look amazing with that crackle on there. Now, we've got six minutes left yes, of the show. Yes. We'll uh, continue with the demos, but yeah, please do yes. check out your baskets. I, I, I start to c continue with the, the laser gel. This is the blue laser gel. And I put the blue laser gel here on the rest of this side, where I do the, the newer border and some on this side here. This we do later, finish this later, only for showing you how it works. And this one, and on this side. And so no gesso, just straight on? Yes, I, yes, yeah. I like this because here uh, the, the color of the natural borders uh, matching perfectly to the picture from the rice paper. Because of this, I go directly with my laser gel on top of this. Not perfectly. Now I take a, a sponge with water and I wipe this away. And I do the same on this side. I wipe this away from the top of the borders. 
back here. Now I take a cloth for the rest, like this, and whoop, and here you see. Okay. And it's really captured it in the grooves, hasn't yes. it? Wow, look at that. And I dry this shortly, yes. We, we and what's, what's great about these shows from, from Blanche is that everything that we have matches, it all goes together. So this is your one stop to get your rice papers, to get the shrink plastic, to get, uh, sorry, the shrink sleeves, to get the paint, to get the gels that all match the papers and ephemera that you're buying from us today. It's perfect. Okay. At home, please let it dry, really dry. Yes. Not like I do now here on the side. Okay. I try. Yes, it crackles perfectly here. And can you leave it naturally to dry? Yes, to crackle? Sure, yes. sure, yes, yeah. sure. I do it only to speed it up. Okay. Now I take the gold wax from the antiquing paint kit and I go with my fingers over the top of the, the borders, like. Now I know you've been doing this for many years, Blanche, and you're so talented, you really, really are, and you amaze us every time you come with all the samples that you put together, but you also show us just how easy it is and how accessible it is when we get the products home to build and create designs yes. just like you do. It's, it's, it's really easy to do these and you get wonderful results every time you get wonderful results and everyone crafts different. Yes. I like this. Yes. If in, in, I have a blog, www.labange.eu okay. and there is a bottom, it's called Mitmachen. Mit machen. machen, yes, mit ah, machen. And what does, oh, is that mixed media? Uh, no, 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 it's, uh, the people can um, send their pictures of their own craft projects. Really? I can send these and you can look there how different the people crafts yes. and send all the pro, all the pictures of their pro craft products there. Well, if you've got any pictures at home for the next show that we've got together, yes. uh, four o'clock today um, send your pictures in because I'm sure Blanche would love to see what yes. you've been up to I'd love to see as well and people at home to encourage them would love to see what you've done that looks incredible okay this is wow. it's, you see the crackle I want to show the tra crackle before we finish with the show okay only on one piece because it's not is it isn't dry now I think here we have a point you can see oh this. my word look okay. at this I take what you you apply this with a soft cloth yes. and you wipe it away with it like like a paper tile towel oh. now you can see this now you oh. have all these perfect crackles here that's amazing and, and you see the matching color of the this is the color of the rice paper and here you have the laser the laser gel in combination with the nature, without wow. any primer, yeah. with the nature of these uh, wooden borders, and it looks really, really beautiful. If you like, you can combine some of the flowers here. Wow, uh, that's, in that's incredible. Um, and as crackle goes, my word, that's some of the best crackle I've ever seen. It really, really is, and it's achievable, everyone at home. If you've seen people demonstrate Blanche, um, Leone, uh, Joe Channon, and they create wonderful <laughs> effects with that crackle. Now you can do it at home with your Pentart, and it's only £10.99 to get that kit, 849061. My word, each and every time, absolutely love it. Right, your one day special, let's talk about those shrink sleeves, let's talk about changing and upcycling those jars that you've got at home, those bottles that you've got at home, uh, making decorative pieces to give as a gift or maybe to decorate in your home as well. I love the designs of these because you've got that lovely vintage vibe to them and something like this would be fantastic all the way throughout the year but also with the Christmas vibe as well. So you've got your shrink sleeves here, 17.99, 18 foils in total, uh, not just for glasses and jars, for decorative glasses as well. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Uh, more demonstrations coming up for you at four o'clock. Remember, if you have any photos of your projects, please send them in. Uh, Blanche, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. It was you a are pleasure. amazing, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and we will be amazed yet again at four o'clock with more demonstrations. Thank you, uh, right, we do have more coming up for you here on Hochanda, but I do urge you to check out your basket to make sure you get what you want and not to miss out. Right, 
it's Crafty Roo's first anniversary here on Ho Chanda. Looking forward to that show. Pearly Winks after that, and then we're off to Art and Craft Glitter Greetings. heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, newsletters, competitions and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the S with the S. And that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achanda. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche.
Yes, indeed. Good afternoon, one. Good afternoon, all. Oh, yes, I'm here. Uh, it's Crafty Roo Designs. And look, we have balloonage. We have wands on the table. Well, it can only mean one thing. It is birthday celebrations. Woohoo! I love... That's one of them, you know, one of them things. I did that the other day and it didn't look right, but we're going to one of those. Uh, it is a little party popper. It's Crafty Roo's first birthday, everyone. <laughs> yes, indeed. And it's the first, well, it's the first anniversary with us, not birthdays. It's anniversary celebrations is what we're, what is the first anniversary? Is it paper? I don't know. Uh, so, uh, I'm not alone. <laughs> Anniversary, what is the first one? Uh, I'm not alone, no, the lady's here herself. Uh, the lady that is, is the only guest that actually, forces is the wrong word, I have no choice in the matter, uh, to craft along. Yes, anniversary special, I shall be crafting in my own demo area, he says. <laughs> this is my, this, this is my own area. We are two feet away, we're still demoing, I'm not alone. Uh, be upstanding if you can, it's the one and only, the author, the founder, the CEO, the managing director, I think, uh, of Crafty Room Designs, it's Kim everyone, yes Woo! indeed. <laughs> are you clapping in the gallery, I'm loving this. Uh, first of all, happy anniversary. Thank you. I'm loving this, I'm loving the sets and what you've got, but you're, it is the first year, and what a year it's been. I know whole year. Where's that gone? Gone by. Too fast. It really has. Because <laughs> I remember doing my, I think it, was, it must have been when you just started, because I just started as well. We were about two weeks, I was about two weeks in. <laughs> um, and you got me crafting straight around. And I've still got the work that you did then. But this time, now we're a year in, not only are we getting brand new things on the show, you've also thrown in, as it's an anniversary special, a free stamp as well. Yep. But we couldn't go without marking the occasion, could we really? This is any order on this show. Now, I must stress this, this show and this show. If you're watching this back on repeat, you will not get one of these. It's only the live hour. And this is not a small stamp in the slightest. Look at that. It's not, and it's a really useful one because you get all those little words with it. So you, you tailor it to what you need. I yeah. love it. So you get your big celebrate, which is perfect by itself. You can use it all on its own, but then you just add those little words in and you can just... Well, it just adds to it, doesn't it? Well, it is celebrate together, celebrate today, you, us, let's, let's celebrate. Um, so that is a free gift, gift with purchase for the live hours and live hours hour only. Um, but I'm going to get straight in with these now. You may not have seen poly plates before, or if you have, they're square or they're round. And then you think, well, I can't really do much with a square. What do I do with a square poly plate? This works on exactly the same principle, doesn't it? But they're just shapes. Yep, they're just, they are just a big stamp, basically. Oh, so they're made from the same photopolymer as our stamps. Um, they're just a shape, so you add your inks to them, you add your um, distress oxide to them, paints, anything really. And this has come, the first one, which is the large leaf design that we're looking at now, this has come from recommendations, this has come from requests from people that have bought other stamps, and it's word of mouth. Um, this is why, um, and, and you've listened to them. We do, well, when we're working, and, and designing things, we always like to listen to what people want, really. And I had a few requests, we need some leaves, we need some leaves to go with the little leaf set that we've got on in a little bit. Um, and then I thought, well, why not just make a big one too? You well, I love well. it. Uh, tw you're loving it as well. 20% of the stock has already gone. We are three <laughs> minutes in. They actually told me that two minutes passed, uh, but I'd asked this question, I thought it was rude to chip on my own question. <laughs> uh, 12 pounds and 99 pence is what you're looking at with this. Not only do you get the large leaf, you're also getting the sentiment stamp in there as well. Uh, change happens all the time. This is very true. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to see the beauty. And again, that does not do it justice, because that's saying You don't get the not actual size, by the way. Uh, yeah. You just get uh, the stamp. <laughs> and that stamp is huge. It is a really big stamp. No, it is. Look at that. Uh, if I put that behind... I made it, it no is, clearer. It's a big uh, but it is a big stuff. So in theory, not only are you getting the large leaf, you're also getting your sentiments. I will also throw in as well, celebratory special. Uh, you're saying you are getting all of that for twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. In theory, you're getting it all for a tenner because that alone is two two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Yeah. Two ninety nine. So in theory, these two for £10, 725-189 is your item number. It is the anniversary special. It's flying out the door, I'm being told. Brand new today. If you want this one, 
40% of the stock now has already gone. 40% of the stock has already gone here. Now, if you like this, you might want to go for the little ones as well. Now, once again, these are brand new today. A third of the stock has already <laughs> gone here, and I've not even showed you. Uh, if I was you, I would shop ahead of me. If I was you, because it is worth having a look. Now, these are brand new. Brand new to the collection. Once again, they're poly plates again. Stamp form. They're just stamps. Don't they be are. scared of them. Yeah, there's nothing you can really do to harm them. The worst thing is baby wipes, because they've got degreasers in them, or washing up liquid, um, or a pair of scissors to them. That is the worst thing you can do to them. I Otherwise, you just use them, play with them, have fun. So you can see them, you can see at the back now, just the, the stamp that you got there. But then you can go for designs like this, okay? Now, apparently I will be creating something along these lines during the hour. Stay tuned. You will. But you're thinking, well, where's the detail come from? I'm not very good at the old freehand drawing. You may already have these. I'm just going to whip them in quickly. You may already have the stamps. I've got them back on the show again. They sell out time and time again. Um, go, shop ahead of me on the website for these if I was you. But the stamps fit work perfectly with the poly plates. They do. The, the stamps came first and... Everyone kept saying, well, hang on a minute, we want that polyplate look behind it, so how do you get those lovely techniques? And what I was doing was I was stamping one of our bigger polyplates, then stamping the leaf on it and cutting it out, and I thought, you know what? I want those shapes. I want to have that, that control, yeah? So that's what I did. I just designed them that size. And you're getting them now. So remember, you are getting the leaf slightly smaller, and you're also getting the free gift in there as well. And it is an anniversary special. Uh, the free gift only comes with the live shows. £11.99. Um, I've got so many samples to show you, Brian. I'm going to rally through because uh, we've got quite a bit on the show. Uh, so that is your details. 107263 is your item number for the smaller leaf poly plates. Now, if you're thinking, now you've seen Kim use these time and time again. Again. And you've had emails after email saying, where can we get them from? This is a wild stocks last. Once these have gone, these have gone. £9.99. I'll put it out casually. A third of the stock has already <laughs> gone here. You are getting your rectangle. You are getting your square. And you're also getting your circle as well. You will see me using these. And you'll see Kim use these as well throughout the demonstrations that we're about to do. Well, you can see my little TV monitor in this one. That's what I look at, look. Uh, but you are a third of the stock already gone. 271760 is your item number. £9.99. Um, will fit most of the stamps that we've already seen. The stamps that are coming up as well the leaf stamps will fit perfectly on these you can't have enough acrylic blocks you can't and the beauty about these is they're three millimeters oh what's the beauty of three mil they, they flex a little bit oh. so if you've got dodgy thumbs like me you can get in on that detail or if you just want a little patch of um a little party stamp especially with our texture stamps you just pop it in and you've got that control with your thumbs uh, yeah. Two thirds of the stock here now already gone. <laughs> two thirds of the stock already gone. Uh, two seven one seven six zero is your item number. We think it's going to go. Three quarters of the stock now has already gone. <laughs> Nine pounds ninety nine pence. Three quarters of the stock now has already gone here. And this is a case of once they have gone, they have gone. Something else that you're loving. We've bought them back. I use the royal way. I I've done nothing but. <laughs> I just turn up. Um, that's a bonus in itself. Uh, you are getting the leaves that fit with the poly plates, remember. <laughs> You're also getting your sentiments in there. Uh, not actual size. I will show you the actual size of the sentiment as well. Let me lift that up. I don't know if you... Oh, you can see it. Uh, so that is the actual size of the sentiment you're getting. Uh, what does it say? I hear you cry. It says this. Uh, time you enjoy... Uh, time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Oh, that's poignant. Very deep, that the one. time you enjoy wasting is not wasting time. No, I suppose it's not. That's like anything we do, and if other people think it's a waste of time, for you, it's time, it's good time, it's quality time, is what you're looking at. Uh, and then you've also got the, uh, the little dots on there. What would we use these ones for, like the little ink splatters? Texture. Oh, you said that with some, some grit in your voice. <laughs> no, the thing with, I like is to add layers to your cards, and those little dots, they are just perfect for adding into the backgrounds of things. So behind your leaves, if you're cutting things out, if you want to pop them in, um, it j just adds detail and texture to your cards. Like there you can see, splatters in the background. It, it, it does It'd look lovely that. without them, it would. That card would look lovely. And I think actually, going back nearly a year, you made one of those cards with me. 
The acrylic blocks, <laughs> I'm going to tell you now, your acrylic blocks have now gone. They have now sold out. They are no <laughs> more. They are now gone. Congratulations if you got them. Uh, it won't be a phone call that we make because I know once these have gone, they have actually gone. Next time we come down the counter, they will not be there. Uh, something else that we've got on the show as well, texture stamps. We love a good texture stamp because once again, this fills in a gap, doesn't it? It does. And it, it adds depth to your card, but it doesn't add depth, if that makes sense. So you, you can get... No, it doesn't really make sense, does it? No. Um, it, it adds <laughs> those la layers into your card, yeah? Without yeah. adding the, the depth. So if you don't want a, a big fat card for posting, perfect. But you still got that lovely texture, that grit. I know, that I, to I totally understand what you mean. I know, but it, it doesn't make any sense. No, it does, does it? make sense. It gives you... <laughs> the depth that you're looking for without giving you foam tape, without, without doing your mats and layers. So it, for that example, perfect example, you get this coffee cup in the background, but you've also got the coffee cup that's also there. Yes, that is using your foam tape, but normally you'd have to do layer upon layer upon layer. With that, it gives you the text because you've got three coffee cups. You've got the ones, the really faint ones, which may be your third generation of stamping. Then you've got the next one in front of, then you've got the one in front of that. Mm -hmm. It's the layers, it's the speckles, and they all work together. Because you've got the speckles in there, you've got the speckles here. Honeycomb's always honeycomb. Honeycomb's always a, a true favourite. Yeah, and, and with those right. the little dotty ones, um, it's a great one. I'm, I, I'll admit it, I am frightened of white space. I cannot do white space. White space on a card to me, I put a big inky pinky mark in it and that, that's me gone there. So those little dots, perfect, because then you can just cover up your little... Inky pinky mark. No, it there. is. Uh, this honeycomb as well, is it a honeycomb? Chicken wire. We'd, Jimmy in my ear literally said, oh, it looks like chicken wire. I thought, oh, I'm not going to say that out loud. But then the chicken more wire. I look at it, the more I think, yeah, it's chicken wire than honeycomb. Yeah, it's chicken wire. It's chicken yeah. wire. Uh, you can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy knows it's chicken wire. <laughs> we won't go into why. It's something what he does over weekends in tied up to it. Uh, but you are getting your circles. Uh, you saw your coffee cup stain that's sort of there, your chicken wire, and you also get your, your dotties, your ink splatters that's there. It could be stars in the sky if you wanted it to be. £12.99, £119. I had Jimmy's on one now, bless him. Um, <laughs> That's beautiful. 119197 is your item number. Right then, moving down is what we're about to do, because we've lost Jimmy now, he's in a world of his own. Um, poly plates once again, but this time slightly bigger, start with sort of a jaggier look, teared edge that we've got. Yeah, this is where our story here on Achanda really began. Oh, this is the on. first ever one we brought to you. Was this the first this ever poly plate? This was the first one, and those texture stamps as well. So this is, these are my favourites, I've got to admit. If you ask me which is my favourite texture stamp, my favourite poly plate, it has to be that distressed rectangle. It is just so useful and it's big enough that if you want to create, and like I was saying before, I'd have to stamp a poly plate to stamp those leaves over the top to get that yeah. poly plate effect. It's a great one for that because it's so big, you can, oh, you so can virtually stamp most things into it if you want to cut it out. Uh, uh, look at that. But you can go from really simple to something really quite effective. You really can, and that, thing, that really incorporates everything uh, that you've got on there as well. You can really go to town. Something so simple about that, just a sentiment and a cut-out flower, and it just brings that focal point. It just frames it your does. work, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's where the story we began 365 days ago uh, was right there in this poly plate, um, and then you also get the sentiment as well. Every day is a new beginning. Oh, I Filling up here. Yeah. Uh, Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. <laughs> that is true. Every day is another telling off in my world. Uh, four four two four nine four is your item number. It's where the journey began. Um, also, where the journey began as well. Once again, we're talking polar plates. We're talking circles this time. Nine times out of ten, you can't get perfect swimming. You normally have to get a square poly plate. Then you have to put your templates on top and do it that way. With this. You're good to go straight away. You're getting your sentiment in there as well. Happiness is not out there. It's within you. Oh. Happiness is not out there. It's within you. And once again, these are all true. And these can be used for any cards. They could be used for birthday cards, like the centres of birthday cards, if you wanted them to be. Yeah, that, that's the key with our sentiments. I, I try to stay away from the happy birthdays and um, congratulations and things like that because it makes your card... A specific card so you're sending it for a happy birthday whereas if you pop uh, like that happiness it's not out there it's within you on a card you could actually pop that in a frame yeah you could yeah it doesn't i love these 
It doesn't it? put it to a certain time, if that makes sense. No, it is. Like, there's some, something quite planet-esque about these. And you start using yeah. all your inks and your oxides, and uh, really, you can't go wrong with any of this that you've got. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Nine nine six two six seven is your item number. Uh, right then, we're moving to the back. Uh, I'll stand in the middle once again. You look at it and you think, well, what, what am I going to do with that? But once you've got it and you start stamping it out, there's so much you can do with it. Look at the texture that you've got there. There is so much texture that you've already got that you really can achieve. Things like, I do my own effects. Things like this. Simple, three colours, a mat and a layer, a sentiment that's already in there, that is perfect because it shows you the size of the sentiment that you've already got as well. All of that, and you can create that. A bit of a pen around the outside, you are good to go. £10.99. 589234 is your item number for all of that. It is a beautiful, beautiful bundle. Get it while you can. And then we have. The oval, we've got the oval on the cards as well, so you are getting your oval poly plate. Uh, then you also get your sentiment that's in there, and once again, what is it going to look like? Nearly knocked the shelf off. Uh, it's going to look a little bit like this. That could have been terrible. Uh, very, very busy is what we are across the board. £11.99, pence, one eight seven uh, four six two is your item number. The quickest and the easiest thing to do is jump to the website. If I was you, everything is on the website. You can shop ahead of me on there. I really would, especially for those new ones. We've already had one sellout already. Um, the other two look like they're going to be sellouts as well. Get in while you can. Uh, who knows what will be here by the end of the hour. Um, poly plates galore. Don't forget your free stamps as well. Uh, your free stamp only for the live hours. The only way you're going to get it, add it to your basket, um, and it'll be there. Uh, let's, let's do it for you. So there's your, there's your new one, £12.99. pence. We'll, uh, we'll, pop, we'll pop that in. Limited stock. Limited stock for the big leaf. We are limited stock... And then down at the bottom, look, there it is, free of charge, worth two ninety nine. It adds it for you. you. Haven't even got to think about it. It's just a nice little free gift, is what we're going to pop in. Uh, there you go, sixteen pounds and ninety four pence. And agree to the terms and conditions and go straight out. Uh, and if you're a uh, freedom member, it takes away that delivery as well. You can't go wrong. Right then, here we go. The only time I ever start to sweat is when I have to demo. And now, and now, two feet away, so you can't even help me if it goes wrong. It won't go wrong. I've got my own bin and everything. I know, well, I know you're quite messy sometimes when you're crafting. Excuse me. <laughs> well, you know. Messy? Right, are you ready? Oh, hang on. Oh, are we rolling his sleeves up? This is a rarity. Business. Are you, never see a, you never see my forearms on telly. They see, were I, I don't like sleeves. There's a reason you don't see them. I look like Yanis. <laughs> right, here we go. I'm ready, I'm right, with you. You ready? Right, brush out. Brush out. Squat it on the table, just a little tiny bit. Then we're going to spritz it, because we're going to create a lovely little background, a bit of a colour wash. OK, get, put your pin back in. Yep, make sure you put your pin back in. And then you're just going to pick it up on your big fat brush, and then rub it on. I don't think I've put enough on for mine. But you don't want to cover your whole card, you just want like a little splattering in the middle. We're being artistic here, we just want a, a splatter. So can you see that? Oh, wow. There we go. That's really showing up. Perfect. A little splatter. Yeah, a bit of a... I'm there a, a with me splatter. in the background. There we go. So, when you're done with that, yeah. you just want to wipe your table, and we're done with our brush out. And then, oh, clean Science. your table. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> yeah, squeaky table there. I'm going to use my dotties. So this looks nice, and we could use that. But I'm going to use my dotties, and I'm going to go for a bit of a paler brown ink. So I've gone for my toffee ink. You should have one in your box. I have. You were ever so kind. You sent all this to me, like, weeks ago. <laughs> Bless ya. Um, so, we, so it could all be wiped down and all that and all that. So it's it's all it's. I love this. And I had to be planned ahead. I've just been staring ahead. at it for weeks, going, "What am I going to be creating?" No, I had to plan ahead. So all I'm going to do is just splatter that into the background a few times. We'll so just ink him up. Anyway. Anywhere you want it. What into the splatter? Into what you've just done. Oh, I like That's these it. acrylic blocks. The good aren't they? The nice shape. I find this longer one. Um, really good for like your sentiments and things. 
because it's quite a nice one to hold. So when you've done your dotties, I'm jumping ahead and on to my oh, next I'm one. I smudged. Oh, don't worry about a smudge. You're not going to see most of it anyway, so don't worry. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm now going to move on to my chicken wire. So move that one out of the way, and we're going to go for a grey with our chicken wire. So just rip your stamp off. Remember, you get your dots and your chicken wire. And, and your coffee stain. Your ink spot stain all in the same group. You do. Because they're such a nice group. They're a nice set. These are... I shouldn't say I've got a favourite. Oh, I've just realised how dirty my stamp is. You've got nice clean ones. Look at the state of mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are my favourites. You can tell how often I use these ones. Same colour? Um, so, uh, I've done it in smoky grey. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Oh, sorry. Smoky grey. Right. Smoky grey. We're just building up layers, really. So I'm going to stamp one here. Ooh. Okay. One down towards the bottom. Give it a good press all over. And the thing is with these thinner blocks you don't really have to press that hard. Have you noticed it's just like gently yeah, no, pressed? It's like, yeah. yeah. It's fingertip pressure. It's not well having done. to... If you, if you got these blocks, I know I'm rubbing salt in wounds if you didn't get one, <laughs> but... Um, they, they are oh. they're lovely to work with. Oh, look at me. See, you do. Right, so we're inking up again and then this is the tricky the um, trick with our chicken wire. You can actually line it up so you can extend it. So all you're going to do is hover over the top Oh, perfect. Hover, hover over the top so you've got a few lined up and then stamp it again. And just press around. How have you lined it up? There you go. So you can just line it up with your Y's. Got your little Y's. Do you mean Y's go on Y's? Yep. Yeah. You don't have to worry too much because we're going to put a leaf over it. So. Oh, okay. I'm just going to go for it. But you can line it up. There we go. Oh, yeah, I understand I that. can just see now. <laughs> <laughs> I think once you've done it once, you get the idea of how to line it up. There we go. Perfect. I got this. Isn't it? If, you, if you ever I need now, you a know. demonstrator, <laughs> I'm there. I go. I'll only, leave for the building. only for chicken wire, though, and dots. And nothing, dotties, yeah. Nothing else. But that's the thing. These ones, they work so well together. You don't actually need, you know, to do much more with them. So I've got my coffee stain. Coffee stain? Yeah. And I'm going for browning this time. I, I generally do my coffee stain in brown or red. Bit of red wine. Coffee stain. Yeah. Wine stain sometimes. Yeah, no, it's very true. Mm -hmm. What colour have you gone for? I've gone for uh, vintage sepia on mine. Oh, I've got those. You should, I hope you've got them all. Uh, I've got the right <laughs> way yet, so vintage. If I hadn't planned it properly. Bit of vintage sepia. See, this is really testing my planning skills, isn't it? It really is. As I said, <laughs> I got these weeks ago, which I'm loving. I've just been looking at them. So, I've stamped one. I'm now going to second generation my other one, but I'm going twist it, to twist it round a bit, because you don't want them both the same, do you? No, you don't. Sorry, I can't, so I just, I, I can't present and craft at the same time. <laughs> so just twist it round a little bit like that. So that, in itself, I could now grab a... Oh, there we go. I'll use that one, because it's already inked up. I could just grab a little saying and pop it on the bottom of my card. See the beauty of me having dirty stamps, you can see see them on my cards. <laughs> so I could just leave that and we've got a lovely card, but I'm not. I want to do a bit more detail on it. Okay. So I'm going to grab one of my pens. I'm going to go for my white one. Oh, that's looking cool. You have so, to, you, you I do so, know I, dance I get so happy. happy with myself when I do <laughs> things like this. So all I'm going to do, coffee stain looks really nice stamped, but just give it a little bit more of a... Oh, crusty end on my pen there. Um, give it a bit more depth because that's what we're all about, isn't it? Just start to go the into the leafy some... poly plates. Sorry to chip in, Kim. One of the brand right? new ones, the leafy one, the large leaf one has now sold out. We've bought it back on extended delivery now from the 2nd of October. So it's back on extended delivery. If you want that large one, uh, the poly plate that's there, it is back. <laughs> on extended delivery is what you're looking at now. Um, get it while you can. And the next one along with the leave, the mini leaves, 80% of that stock has now already gone. So get in while you can. We're very busy hour. Wow. I know, very busy. Wow. Um, so all I've done is I've popped a little bit of white pen onto my coffee stain and it really does just give it a bit more oomph. See, look at that. And then I'm just going to go in. If you wanted to really go to town, what I would also do is come in on my chicken wire, just like this, and put a little bit of shading in there with my white pen. And soon, if I just do a couple, if I do it here where it's a bit more noticeable, yeah, you'll start to see. You see, it just at, wow, look at that. Oh, that way. There we go. 
it just adds so much depth to it. Really does give it more texture. Yeah, yeah. Yep, you're busy. I'm That's in a, fine. I'm in a world of my own. That's in fine. On. You keep going. So, just to finish off my background now. Yeah, I'm yours, with you. Yours is looking good. I'm gathering my bag, my black pen. Black pen. Because you can't do a card without a bit of doodling. And I'm just going to drag oh, it around the edge. This. What do we do? There we go. Just drag it around the edge. I find if you pull the pen towards you, you get a much nicer line. So just drag it around, just like that. And use your card, because mine's a little bit wet, so it spins really easy, because its bottom's got a bit of a dip in it. Like that. Give it a few little squiggles and a bit of a dot in the corners. I've gone a bit... There we go. So there's my background done. Okay, I'm done. People always struggle when it comes to um, doodling, because I think people try to overthink it. Just go for it. And if you drag the pen towards you, hey, look at that. See, that is a card in itself, oh. isn't it? Look at this. Yep, so that is your background for your card. Yeah. Next, we're going to move on to our lovely big poly plate. So I've got some pattern paper. Nothing special, just out of my kit at home. So I've got some pattern paper there. Yes. And I've got my big poly plate. Big so pot. So this is where we're going a bit different. Okay. Because this is the one that's sold out. It's back on extended delivery. Right, so we're going a bit different. I'm going for more muted shades, but I thought you'd like brighter ones. Yes, yeah? I love so it. I love go for your paler color. ones. So in your case, I think, I can't remember, I think it's um, Carved Pumpkin I sent up for you. Uh, Carved Pumpkin hey, there we and go. Seed Yes, you're right. There we go. So am I stamping both of them on? No, you're going to stamp one colour at once. Because we're using oxide, you only do one at once. Dark or light first? Palest one first. Palest one first. Yep. So would that be if, orange? Yeah, that's your orange one. So if we were doing this with our distress inks, not a problem. Whack them both on together. Not a problem at all, but because we're doing it with our oxides, one at a time because they will contaminate each other. And that's a very expensive mistake to make. So I popped a, a covering all over and I'm just giving it a quick spritz. And the key is you don't want too much on there. So if you look at that, you've kind of got like bubbles on your plate. Pardon? Bubbles. When you oh, spritz it, you want bubbles. <laughs> I thought you said something else then. <laughs> okay, not asking. So what? So my spritz Give it a nice spritz. And again. And again. Uh, Bubbles. I need my binoculars. Yeah, that should be fine. <laughs> and then I'm just going to pop it onto my plate, onto my piece of paper. Oh, paper. Yep, yeah, so you've got your lovely pattern paper. Which way have you gone? Anyway. Anyway, just whip anyway. it over. Yep. Yeah. I suppose it depends which way you want your um, leaf to go on your piece of paper, doesn't it, really? I have actually cheated for you as well. What do you mean you've cheated? Well... I, I oh, have, I can see. <laughs> uh. I didn't think you'd want to stand and cut out. Oh, bless you. Right, so I've wiped that over. When you're wiping your poly plates, just make sure, especially when you're using your oxides, um, not to leave them too wet. So mine's fine. There's, there's no water left on top of that. Now. You are going to need a new kitchen roll. I'm, I'm going through this like it's going out of fashion. And I know they're, they're hard to come by these <laughs> days. <laughs> You'll be fine. Um, so <laughs> I did send a, a good roll up. So right. Oh. So, I now want to put, that looks lovely, but I want to put a bit of a frame to it. So, okay. what I want to do is I'm going to start on my pointy bits. So, think about your leaf. Where is it going to start to um, turn the colour? So, around the edges, mine's just like that. Get in there with your points. So, with my points. Yep. This, I've got to admit, this one's got a lot of points, and so it really does test you when you're um, edging it like this. But it's well worth it. And make sure I am forever forgetting to ink up this little stalk. It's the one bit I always forget, so make sure you ink up your stalk as well and get all your points. So always ink your stalk. Yeah, get your stalk inked, otherwise you end up, well, you'll notice on any of the samples I've done, I've got like half a stalk. It's like, right, the amount of times I've had to colour in the stalk because I forgot to ink it up. There you go, right, so mine looks a bit of a... How much have you done? Oh, you've gone in quite a bit. Yeah, I've just let the ink pad go where it fancies. It's actually easier. Is it easier to do it the other way? Yeah, pop it on the table and take your ink pad to your poly plate. Oh, and I couldn't... Oh, oh no, oh no. It's okay. Oh no, I'm getting nervous. Because <laughs> I think I know what's coming up. <laughs> I'm going to have to line all this up again. Yes, <laughs> you'll be fine. We'll, okay. get th we'll get through. Right, so we're going to spritz again so that the two colours merge together. So give it a quick spritz. And again, you're looking for those lovely little bubbles. What two colours? I've only got one colour. On my... Oh, the colour on the paper. The colour on the paper and the colour on your poly plate. Ah, yeah. see. 
Then we're going to line okay. these two up. See, that looks lovely by itself. It does, you know, you, you don't have to do a second one, but I just like giving it an edge. So I'm going to line it up. Best way to line it up is on the stalk when you've, stamped, when you've actually put ink on it. And then you just drop it on. Just give it a good press around the edges. Well, only where you put your ink. There we go. And then you just lift him up. <laughs> there we go. Just need wow. a hitch more water. Oh, I didn't spray it. That's why. Oh, there you go then. That's why I needed more water because I didn't. I didn't give it a. <laughs> I didn't give it a smudge. You didn't give it. A, you I didn't give it a spray. Well, there you go. Uh -huh. Just so what's happened is when you put yours on top, it's had. It's not had much room to merge around together. Mix the two mixed together. Whereas if you're giving it a spritz, what would happen is the two would just start to merge and get a bit. Oh, there you go. Yeah, spritz it. And go spritz it and give it another go. Oh, the big pools now. Look. Oh no. I've, I think I've messed this up. Right. Well, just dab it with a tissue. Oh, dab it with your cloth. There we go. Just dab it a little bit. There we go. And then line it back up. Sorry, people at home. I think this is good because it shows all... No, it does. if it I can do this, people could do this as well. I wasn't going to quite put it like no, that. No, go on, I don't mind. I'm, I'm a big boy. But it, it also shows some of the... Um, see, look at that. You're starting to get those colours mixed in. Some of the, the times people will ring me and ask me questions and it's like, well, did you spritz it? Did you do this? And it's like, okay. That's yeah. good, right? It, it's Fine. those little steps sometimes that we just miss out. So, to finish mine off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my black um, doodle pen. These are the jelly rolls. I know you have these on the website. Yep. They're amazing. I love my jelly rolls. We've got a secure show on yesterday at 7 a.m., so they'll be there yesterday morning. So, I do love these. And all I'm going to do is just doodle around edge and put a few little squiggles on it as well. There we go. Oh, and it's, right. I know it looks a bit of a daunting one to doodle around, but it's not actually, because if you look at it, the way I've drawn it, it's all just like little circly, um, just, just like little it. swooshes. So it's actually really easy to go round. There we go. And it doesn't really matter if you... Are you doing your stalk? Yeah, you're doing your stalk. Of course I'm doing my stalk. Your stalk's the important bit. According to my little lad, it is. Mm -hmm. It's what holds it on the tree. Right, there we go. Going right, going so I've just gone round mine like that. Look at that. Look at them claws. I'm actually quite pleased with that. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> and then I am just going to start chopping mine out. Uh, we're very busy across the board on this hour. Uh, this big leaf is flying out the door. It's sold out already. It's back on extended delivery for the second. Um, rid ridiculously busy. So if you do want the large leaf, get it while you can. The little leaves are now limited stock as well. So if you do want uh, the littler leaves, um, really do start thinking about it now for the sheer fact. I don't want you to miss that because remember it works with the stamps. So if you've got your stamp form, it now all works together which is absolutely amazing and you're also going to get the free gift as well so what more could you ask for you're getting your free gift you're getting all your stamps that are in there at, at ridiculous prices may i say for what you're getting and as i said and this is live this is not but as i said earlier this was sent to me and i've just been looking at it. it's been sitting in the boot of my car um for a few weeks now for the sheer fact i was like well i don't know what to do and i'm not going to start messing um, so I was like, right, what are we going to do? And I didn't really know until I came into prep today. I bought all my stuff in. I was like, right, what am I actually doing? And I've seen the cards we're about to make, and I thought, well, I'm never going to achieve that. But it is, a, it is achievable. Look at me, sleeves rolled up, and I'm, I'm on it. I'm in it. Mm -hmm. To be fair, it would have been a little bit more helpful if I'd have sent you a heat gun as well, because we would have dried that off, and it would have made it a lot easier to cut that out. But, you well, know... Postage I didn't think postage. that far ahead, did I? No, <laughs> oh, it's all right. <laughs> so. Uh, we're nearly there. That's fine. So I've, cu I've just cut mine out really, really quickly. You, you are, see. you're like speed cutter. How do you cut that out that quick? Well, just don't look too closely at it. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, go so on, and you move to the next. I'm going to do I'll my next little bit. Up. You see, I am really impressed because I had already cut one out for you. You had, and I totally forgot you had. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay. I thought, oh, he's <laughs> determined here. He's going to get a... No, I, to I totally card. forgot you'd cut one out for me as well, otherwise I wouldn't have done this. Right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my celebrate at the bottom. 
There we go. And you see, you, you're determined you're going to do it all yourself. I love I'm, that. I'm a big boy. You can do it. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to stamp my celebrate across the bottom. Oh, I moved my card then. Did you notice? As I stamp then, I move my card so it's going to be a bit ski squiff. I don't want to In black? Yes, yeah, in black. black. I always do my sentiments in black. There okay. Go. Didn't stamp that very well, did I? And then what I've got is a little piece of hessian. So we're going to pop this onto a base card. I've got my little piece of hessian on here. But if you notice, I frame the edges on my hessian. But don't be throwing that away. Oh, okay, why? Because it makes nice little bits for tying and great for, you know, like putting behind your, um, if you just go like that and then put it behind like a sentiment or something like that. Just oh, adds a bit of texture, okay. a bit of depth. So I'm just go, all I'm going to do is tie it into a bit of a knot. Whoops, I've got my finger stuck then. Stick it around my stalk. Well, stick the hole around your... Yep, pop, the, pop my stalk through its hole. <laughs> okay. It's yep. like um, that programme that used to be on when I was a little girl, where they had lots and lots of challenges and she used to run around in a helicopter. Oh, um, Challenge Annika? That's the one. I used to love that. I don't know whether I could say it, that's all. Ah, go on, you with me. <laughs> <laughs> Live on the edge. <laughs> so, I put my Hessian down. I have actually got tape on the back, but I'm not going to faff with that now. So I've got my Hessian there, and then just to finish it off, I have got... My little leaf, he's going to have to go that way because that's the way I stamped him. And there is my little card. So then... Wherever you want to pop it. That onto there. I'm watching Adam now. That onto there. There we go. Obviously, it's not stuck up, but if I hold it like that... Look at that. You can achieve... See, so all you really need is you need your, back, you need your background stamps, yep. your large leaf stamp, um, and Hessian that you're going to have in your kit anyway and a bit of cardstock and you're good to go. Yeah, so all I've used, yeah, literally a little bit of cardstock, um, Hessian, and I've used some pattern papers there. There was someone earlier today, I think there was, some beautiful like maps and things. Yeah, there was this they morning. They were beautiful with those. Um, you can go to town, look how quick and easy this is to achieve. Uh, well, your plates are all there, your leaf poly plates and your sayings as well. 725189 is your item number. We are, we are very busy. We're going to do a quick recap and we're going to try and put in another demonstration as well. Uh, so, that is on extended delivery. The first leaf that you're looking at now is on extended delivery. We sold out and it's now back on extended. Remember as well, it's Craft Drew's sec first, second, the number one right there. It's the first anniversary, so you are getting your free stamp in there as well. And it's a big old stamp is what you are getting. Um, it ties in with that beautiful word, that sentiment that's along the bottom. Look at me doing my own finished samples to bring in. Uh, so you've got all that beautiful cards that are already there. So you've got those celebrates, which is absolutely phenomenal. And you're getting the other one that's included. So in theory, you're getting everything that you see here... For £12.99, 725189 is your item number. Right then, then we've also got the mini leaves. These have just sold out. They're back on extended delivery. 2nd of October is what you're looking at now. Uh, we'll bring in the details for your mini leaves that we've got. So your mini leaves themselves, they work wonders with the next one, which are the stamps. These are your mini leaf poly plates, £11.99. And, and remember, you're going to get that free stamp in there as well. 107263 is your item number for your mini leaves, is what we're actually looking at in this set, which is absolutely phenomenal. It really, really is £11.99. Something that goes hand in hand, a perfect partner for your mini poly plate are your stamps that we've got as well. So now you're not only are you getting your stamps um, that work with the poly plates that you've just seen, because they are, let me show you, exactly the same size that you've already got in there. So you are getting the leaves in there. You're getting your sentiments and you're also getting your little splatters in there as well. Two thirds of the stock has already gone here. 191131 is your item number, 12 pounds and 99 pence for all of that. It is beautiful what you can achieve when you get it all together. Then that, then now I just use these in that demonstration. They are work once, they're worth their weight in gold. They really, really are because once you've got them, you can do, I'll use my own sample, it's fine. Uh, once you've got them, you can do so much with them. I'm just gonna say, you would never know. You'd never know Muggins here did this one. Look at these. I'm not that good though, look at that, that's amazing. That. 
Well, if you want me as part of your designs, you know, I keep putting it out there, but no one takes me up on the offer. <laughs> uh, 12 pounds and 99 pence, 119. Half the stock here now has already gone. Is this your only show today as well? Yep. <gasps> only show today. <laughs> Get it while you can. That stamp is only valid for the live hour. I thought there was one later. Uh, that free stamp is for this uh, show and this show early. If you want your free gift, you're going to have to get it this hour if you want anything. We've also got poly plates on the show. Are we doing the poly plates as well? Uh, we've got the poly plates on the show as well. This is where everything started. This is where the journey began 365 days ago uh, with this very poly plate. Simple backgrounds. Real simple backgrounds, but they have such an impact on them. And put your sentiments over, put your the coffee stains there again. They work wonders. There's so much you can do. Um, there's so much you can do with them when you get all of this together. Get it while you can. £11.99, 442494 is your item number. Then we've got the circle on the show as well. Not only do you get the circle, you're also getting your sentiment and that extra sentiment on top. 996267 is your item number, £11.99. Um, beautiful circle, perfect circle as well. Trying to do a perfect circle is uh, quite difficult, but it's quite easy to do when you have the right tools for the job. Then we have the panel one. This is very, very busy. Really busy, okay? You are getting the stamp that's just next door. So you can see the signs of the stamp that you're getting there. Then you're also getting your poly plate, and then you're also going to get that free gift included as well. Uh, 589234 is your item number for this one. Uh, there is nothing to choose from uh, from this. And then we've also got the oval as well. Uh, you can't go wrong with the oval. A perfect oval every single time to create some beautiful, stunning cards. Uh, the quickest and easiest place is jump to the website to see everything that we've currently got on the show. Remember, you've also got your free stamp. Your free stamp will be popped into your basket automatically. Do not worry. It will all be there for you. Uh, check out some of your five-star reviews as well uh, while we're on the show because it's five-star after five-star after five-star. Right, and that's enough from me. Let's get back to another demonstration. I love how you're carrying the one you've just made round. It's yeah, like I a have, trophy. Literally. I took um, it from another pack shot and <laughs> took it myself. I was like, we'll have that here. I'll finish he's that keeping that one. He's keeping it with him. Right. We are going to play with our mini poly plates this time. Okay. Get them sleeves rolled up, and we're going to play with distress inks. So, oh. I have got four distress ink colours in front of me. So, I've got a yellow, an orange, a green, and a brown. Because if you think about those colours that our leaves go through, this time of year, it's a beautiful, um, it's such a beautiful colour palette. So, let's it use is. It is. I like yep. autumn. So, if you look at your mini poly plates, if I bring them in, we have got a fat one, a short fat one and two skinny ones. Okay. So perfect. If you think about now how we're going to make our piece, because we're going to stamp all three of them onto here. So you don't really want to do a fat one and two thin ones. Think about the balance of your card, is what I'm getting now. Yeah? So I'm going to put my two skinny ones at either end, and I'm going to put my fat one in the middle. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with one of the skinny ones. Well, actually, I'm going to start, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to start with the big fat one for the middle first. You're going to do the middle work. first. Yeah. So, looking back at my inks. So my first one, this side, would be those two colours together. My palest two. Yeah. My middle one's going to be those two together. And then my last leaf's going to be those two together. So you can see how we move our inks oh, okay. around. Yeah. So my middle one, I'm going for my two middle colours. So I'm going to start off with my orange. And I'm no good with colours here because I can't quite remember what you've got. No, I'm just going to copy you. Yeah, so I've got my orange and then I've got a green. Have you got your green? I've got a green, a crushed olive. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Ooh. And then I'm just going to start popping, like we did with our big one, um, just around the edges. And because this is inks, we're not worrying about them contaminating. As long as you go paler to darker, you've not got a problem. And then we're going to spritz. And it's exactly the same as before. We want those nice little bubbles. I'm making the most of having space at home. I have a teeny tiny little area I work in. And here, I get whew, space. I know, there's a lot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's right great. So I'm going to pop that on there. So I'm going to eyeball it so it's in the middle ish maybe and then just pop it down and just lift him off and you should get look at that for color and okay it looks a bit splodgy and a bit um dark at the moment but I as like it starts it. to dry you will start to see those lovely colors it looks nice mixing. so just wipe your plate over and then we're going to move on to one of our skinny ones okay oh i like yours oh bless you yeah looking good so i'm going to move we on to move on to my birch leaf, and this is going to be my first one, so I'm going to go for my two paler colours first. So I've got fossilised amber and that ripe persimmon. I can never say it. Permissimon? Right, that one. yeah, that, that one. That one. 
The orange. That's the one. See, I'm not alone there. Can't say that one at all. Well, we've got ten and a half minutes. Oh, we'll be fine. Plenty of time. What, round the edge again? Just round the edge with your second one. See, you're a dab hand at this now. You know what you're doing. Well. I, I really can go, just go home. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> and then I'm just going to pop this one towards this edge. What, spritz again? Spritz it again, yep. Now, if you wanted to, you can see how I've got little dots all around my plate of ink, yeah? Yeah. You're a very tidy crafter, so you're moving all yours so you don't um, get inky marks. I'm just going for it with mine. Where are you going? You're going on the angle. Yeah. I'm there we go. So we've got that one. And then we're going to go in with our lovely oak leaf. There we so go. Last one. You're very frugal with your kitchen roll there. I know, it's back in my pocket now. <laughs> do you know, I'm such a tidy crafter, do you know why I'm a tidy crafter? It's having, it's having little ones. You have to tidy as you go, otherwise you, your house looks an absolute state. Oh, I don't know. Um, anyone who's ever um, been on one of my Facebook lives where my little lads joined it, it it's just, oh. <laughs> Everything's oh, blue. <laughs> yeah, we've just got um, a dye machine. Well, a dye machine. Well, I've never seen so many bits of paper in my entire life. There is stuff everywhere. <laughs> and you hoover up, the wife comes home, oh, you two have been crafting again. Well, how do you know this? There's still stuff under uh, the it. tables. <laughs> the dog's got glitter in her hair. <laughs> Bless her. No, my little laddie just, because um, he helped put the desk back in my little crafty shed. Um, it's now his crafty shed too. <laughs> so he now rocks up every now and again to join me on my Facebook lives, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Have you gone to the same? No, yeah. I've gone to the one. Sorry, I've stopped no, telling no, you no, what I'm doing now. No, no, no. see the angle. There we go. Right. So again, I would probably spritz that. Look at your colours. Your colours look nicer than mine. No, yours looks beautiful. Mm. It's not I sent you the good colours. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to go on to. Ooh, um, the leafy doodle set now. Okay. And then we're just going to stamp over the top. So actually, I'm going to do them in the order I did them before. So I'm going to start off with my maple. And this is where I get really picky with my stamp bases. So I was happy to use that one for my poly plate. But now, when I want a bit more control, I go for this one. So that I can put my stamp at one end and I've got, I can hold it at the other. Yeah. So I can yeah. do all my positioning and stuff. And my hands away from my stamp. Have you gone for the big one first? Yeah, just because it's easier, because it's in the middle. And are we going first part in, Claire? Oh, should we do... Should we go black? It's, in, it's entirely up to you. I'm following I your think, lead. I think we'll go black for this one. Black. So really black show that is detail. ox black. Onyx black. Got a lovely little... I love these little ones. They're just a brilliant size. They don't take up much room in your crafty box. No, I like them. You can do a lot with these sorts of stamps. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got to line it up again now. I knew there was something coming. I thought this was too easy. I thought this was too <laughs> good to be thrown. You don't have to be perfect. There or thereabouts, to be fair. Um, there we go. And bear in mind, we are working on top of wet card. Um, so you might not get a perfect, perfect image. <gasps> yeah. oh, I do. I need a pair of binoculars. That, that, looks, that looks really cool. Right, so I'm onto my birch leaf now, and I'm just going to ink it up again. Oh, I love this. Can you, you, can, you, can come back, you can come back whenever you wish. Oh, I'm back in a couple of weeks. Oh, are you? I think it's two weeks today I'm back. Anything, anything you can tell me? Anything that's... Well, we're sticking with this autumnal theme. Oh, we're sticking with autumnal theme. Mm -hmm. um, is it something that will work with my leaves? If I'm going for the leaves poly plates, will, is there something there that will work to hand in hand? Oh, I think so. <gasps> so if you are going for your leaves, it's well worth... Uh, oh, that's in the way. <laughs> um, I can't present and craft at the same time. It is um, a skill. It is, and there'll be <laughs> Facebook comments going, you should just stick to his day job. Uh, I think you, you're doing really well. It's it has been a while. It has been a while. So I'm going to line up my last one. But you can see... Pretty simple card to do. No, it is. It's. Can I come right, hang on. There we go. Oh, it's, I've got a slight double print now, only for the sheer fact I tried to be clever and go back in. I wouldn't worry. The very nature of the way that I draw and I um, design the stamps is they don't have to be perfect. It's very doodly, it's very free. It's um, with the poly plates and with our stamps. It's not about being perfect, it's about having fun and just creating and crafting and getting the ink on there. 
See, I love things like this. And I love doing, I've got a small set of stamps. I've not got a large collection, but I've got a small set. And you know when you mask off and you do things like that and you just stamp randomly? Because mm -hmm. um, they're Wonderful. quick and easy cards. And that's what me and Molly do all the time. Well, that's it. With the, like, especially the texture stamps, you can see how quickly and easily you can make a background. And then you just pop anything on the top. And with the poly plates, it's just about getting that colour down. I love this. So all I'm doing now is I'm just going back in. I look. I can't make a card without putting a bit of doodling on it because it's just my thing. This is where I go to relax. I get my little doodle pen out and I just start to add a little bit of doodling around the edges. There we go. And then just this last one here. Actually, I was starting to think I didn't quite like this green one because I thought it was a bit too dark. But actually... He turned out all right. Oh, it's nice. He did turn out all right in the end. Right, so I've just gone in with my white pen. Oh, you, you're already there. You're doing I'm it. I'm there, I'm following you. Last time you. I was looking, you were about a stamp behind and you caught up. <laughs> so then all, all I'm going to do now, just to finish this piece off, is do a bit of doodling around the edge. Oh, doodle around the edge again. Yeah, because I know you love doodling. This is the bit that's a bit scary because you think you've done all that nice work, but it's a case of just going for it, Go isn't for it. it? The key is, for me, always start at the top and drag your pen towards you. If you're trying to do this, it, it's harder and you're putting too much pressure on your pen, whereas if you're dragging it towards you, like literally no pressure at all, it's just let the pen do its thing. You can see? Just like that. And if you're really nervous about it, and it was my little lad that taught me this, you just lit, you, you don't hold your pen properly and just go for it. So you've got hardly any pressure on it. Oh, yeah. So take the pressure away from it. Ooh, I've been a bit... This hour's really gone. Um, how long have we got left, guys? We've got about four minutes left. We're nearly there. We are. So I'm just going to put a little bit of a, a squiggle in either corner. Then to finish this one off, you should have in your set... You've got a lovely big base card here. So I've got an A5 base card. Oop, I nearly put my card down on the top. I love craft, I love um, colour on colour matting at the moment. So I've got my white mat there. I'm going to pop that on there. I might do a little bit of distressing around the edge if we've got the chance. So I'm literally just lining it all up at the moment. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment down at the bottom here. Oh, and nice. oh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to use time you enjoy wasting. But I think I sent up a change happens. Yeah, I've got change. Yeah. So. Let's put it on the longer poly plate. If you've got these poly plates, you are in, um, you're in for a treat. And if you've also got the um, acrylic blocks as well, they are absolutely amazing. So I'm just inking up my stamp. And then I'm going to stamp this on. And then we might, if we've got a chance, we might just do a little bit of distressing around the edge of our... Oh, I didn't ink that up at all in the middle. Can you see how it's gone a little bit blotchy in the middle of my stamp there? Yeah. It just shows I haven't quite put anything ink down. So just go back in. And it's not, I know it sounds daft, but it's when I turn my stamp over is when I find that I can see I've not put enough ink on it. From the you can see through it. It's amazing. Yep, so just give it a good press. There we go. I've got finger smudges on now. I, my hands are covered. <laughs> But that shows you've been having fun. So all I'm going to do now to finish mine off, if I've got a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah, go on. Oh, We've got two, uh, three, four, five, a minute and a half. Oh, perfect. So all I'm going to do is just grab one of my colours. So I'm going for my peel paint, a little bit of screwed up kitchen roll. Pop it onto my mat first. Ooh. And then just very gently drag in around the edge. Oh, around the edge. Just around the edge. Just give it a quick distress because we've not done any distressing really today, have we? We've just played with our poly plates and got lovely and inky. That's the key. Oh, stressing with distressing. Yeah, de-stressing with your distressing. And then I'm going to go around my mat as well, because I think this will look quite nice. Could have used any of your colours, really. I do like peel paints. It's one of my, um, my go-to colours. Just last bit around the edge. Oh! I'm loving this. We've got a minute 15 left. I've got green. I'm covered in green, but... I've turned you green. There we go. And then all I would do to finish that off is I would grab my foam pads, pop my foam pads in the background so I get those lovely layers. Look at you go. I know. I just want to get... speed crafting. <laughs> <laughs> so that would go on there. That would go on there. Yep. And then you just pop it onto your base card. Oh, oh. 
this is upsetting. Right, pop a piece of kitchen roll on your mat. Good idea, good idea, Kim, good idea. That's, what, that's, that's why you're paid the big bucks. <laughs> We're up, we're very busy. Jump to the website to see everything that I've currently got on the show as well. Um, you're only going to get that free stamp for this free hour as well. Um, you're back in two weeks' time with something that's going to go hand in hand. Yep, with our leaves. With your lip, and trust me, it does. I already know what is coming up uh, in two weeks' time. It will go with the leaves, and it's something cute, it's something cuddly, and it's something that will go hand in hand. 15 seconds left. Thank you very much. It's been oh, an thank absolute you. Have you had pleasure. Fun? No, I've had an absolute blast. <laughs> Two cards that I will finish and I will photography and put them on the websites as well. I'll put my on my Facebook page. Don't you go anywhere, there's so much more to shop for. Thank you again. Oh, what a ball I've had. Yes, indeed. Oh, here they are. Well, there's only one of them, which is quite upsetting. I was but I was hoping for both of you would be in. But it looks like you're both here anyway. Pearly Winks are in, don't go anywhere. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on her channel. Flexi Order has arrived at her chanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Achanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echander Shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Nextdoor and Crafts 2. 
I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. Afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Pearly Wings show this Saturday afternoon. Lovely to be with you all. I hope you're having a fantastic day in the company of all the team, of course, here at Hachanda. And uh, we welcome into the studio again now the wonderful Simon is here from Pearly Wings. Hello. Good day, sir. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, good. I'm very good, thank you. And we're just speaking uh, before we, uh, we went live as well and said it's the first time for you back in the studio for a few months. About six months, yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah. Has it changed much? Uh, so a bit of dust everywhere. Yeah, a bit of glitter. All the uh, one-way system. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> change. It's like hello, uh, the one-way system, the two meter distance, <laughs> the markings on the floor, which we have to abide by, yeah. obviously, it, which is which is strange. Great, not getting up close. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. And you were saying you was with Fiona last time when it was in the studio as well. So you've um, probably seen her more recent than I have. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Donna was last month as well. <laughs> yeah. No. Exactly. Exactly. Well, it's, it's lovely to have you in the studio Thank with you. us today. Um, and now, if you are a big lover of colour, then you're going to always love what Pearly Wings brings to you because they bring you obviously the best way again of getting some fantastic elements and beautiful colours to go and tools that do the job that you want them to do so um, I know we've got some demonstrations coming up of exactly what we uh, we are going to be looking at but I thought we'd start with because uh, the flick sticks now I've not seen the flick sticks before I know you had them on last time I think it was with the white that yes. was on and people loved it because th this is a great technique and it's just there bottled ready to go and now we've expanded as well with more of the rainbow of colours yeah. there just for those that maybe missed it when you launched uh, the flick stick for example can you just talk us a little bit exactly how this works and what we've got um, so basically what it was we've been everyone's been saying can you make a white ink and I just couldn't figure out how to do it um, and Anyway, about a year and a half after trying, I figured out how to do it. Um, and because it worked on white, and everyone was saying, oh, can you try colour? So we decided to do colour ones that will work on black card as well. Ah, I've got you. I've got you. OK, so literally you just re you refill. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the bo each, bottle com e each pen comes with, uh, it comes empty, um, and you get ten refills out of a bottle. Oh, right, OK. You get an awful, that's a lot, lot then, isn't it? When it you think is, about yeah. how sparingly you use it as well during that technique. Yeah, you don't need a lot. No. You don't need a lot. But you get ten refills uh, from one bottle from yeah. doing that. That's ten brilliant. Refills. That's great value, actually. That's really good. So you fill up, and then are you going to be demonstrating? And, uh, I'll show uh, you how go to fill it up. We will show, <laughs> he's going to show us how to fill it up and how to use as well. Um, but we're getting those lovely effects because you've got some beautiful colours that are down here uh, that are available as well. So you've actually got your white, you've got your blue, uh, yellow, pink, purple and you've also got your teal and you've got wet slate as well that's uh, that's in there but if i just give you a, a little example so you can sort of see and do you know what the the effect sometimes say sort of um uh, less is more with it and that yeah. effect that you see with these it just helps fill that white space as well doesn't it around the image that you're working with it does yeah and every, everyone's doing this flicking at the moment yes um so we thought we'd bring something out just to make it a little bit easier and it also the colors that are used to make those colours are actually the work alongside our colours that we already have in the spray oh, forms. Oh, brilliant. Great. So, yeah, you're not going to contaminate. You're going to keep them separate as well. You refill and you know that you've got those as well. Yeah. Already loaded, you know, when you've done your refill. And someone's going to show us how to do that for yourself anyway. But they're already loaded. So, again, nice and easy at hand, straight away at source that you can then just obviously just pick it up and then basically uh, have your flick with those and then you've got them and just keep them loaded up ready to go. Uh, so there are all your colour options. All of those colour options are on the same item code. That's 328 
117. It's only uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence. Now there is a huge amount of array of colour that's available on the show for you. Now the website, of course, is the place to go to. Have a little visit, have a little look at there, and you can click along there, and you'll find all the fantastic pearly wings. Now we are back in stock, by the way, as you can see here. Beautiful. It's copper infusion. The first edition sprays that are there. Uh, now last time they was on, they sold out twice in the show. Let that be a warning. Uh, maybe you've used your stock if you got them last time. Maybe you missed out on them last time because they'd already sold out. And today's your day to make sure you stock up and you don't miss out a third time on those as well. So plenty of items on there for your colour as well. We'll go straight to Simon now to see some lovely demos. But again, please do shop ahead for all your colours that you're going to get uh, from Pearly Winks as well, which is lovely. Uh, right, so are we going to start off with the, uh, with the flick? Um, yeah, yep, lovely. So first of all, I'll show you how to uh, fill this flick stick. Um, so you'll get your 30 mil refill and your pen will come like this. So it's already... Oops, wrong end. Oh, sorry, someone's put the label <laughs> directly over the opening. Yours, uh, yours won't come like this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and if it does, just remove. Yeah, just, just remove, remove and label. replace. <laughs> 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 right, hopefully I've just... Yeah, right. So the top will come inside the brush will come inside the lid, so all you need to do is you get your refill, just give it a shake first because it will mix everything up. Uh -huh. You'll probably notice that there's some white sediment somewhere, just give that a good shake. And then I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's like a little line. You just fill this with the ink up to the line. It's Think. quite free flowing isn't it on it? Yeah. yeah. It's like a fluid paint. And then just pop your top in, like so. Just to push you straight in, that's yeah. it, yeah. And then just at the bottom, you just need to give this a twist until you see. I do it this way because if you do it the other way, there's still an air bubble in it, which oh, right. you want to get rid of the air bubble. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, and you'll just be able to see just the I can the see that already there, coming through there, yeah. The black is coming through, so just keep going until it's quite through. And then either just pop that down on there just to wet the entire brush then that's the only time you'll need to do that to refill it once it's empty I'm not going to do it now because I'll end up covered in ink you just pull the top off and then twist it so that the um, it's like a little mechanism what pushes the ink through okay yeah just twist it the opposite way and then that'll go back up and then close it Re repeat again take the top off and then refill Great. which really is Great. To do. Um, so so it loads up really quickly actually doesn't it? It is, it's really quick. Once you've done it you don't need to do that again. Yeah. Um, so I'll show you on white. So to get more ink just twist this and then just oh, use some nice scissors or something. Nice and easy. It's really easy. You can even use your finger as well. Right. And just give it a tap. And is it a case the more that you sort of turn that at the end there to sort of the fill it up more, the, the, bigger, the bigger your flow will be for those? Yes. Yeah. Um, you can paint with them. It does give you a thick line. Yeah. As well. So that's the black. I'm not going to show you the black on black because it really won't show. It's not actually black. It's a wet slate. Yes. Um, right. But it's an almost black. It's as close to black as we can get it. Uh, okay. Um, okay. When you're using your pens as well, just give them a shake. They are lovely colours as well, all the colours. I know you've got the, uh, the white this, and you've got the wet slate. But. So this one is your teal. And nice and if easy. there's less ink, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but there's some tiny, tiny little splats. Um, that's because there's less ink on the pen. Right, you can see. Got you. So again, once you twist that, you can you can hear. I don't know if you can hear it clicking as well. Actually, as you, as you twist it through, but then that loads the brush there, so you do get those more free flowing, bigger spots that go with it as well. Um, you can, the techniques of you've got warming well, warming your brushes up are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, what you'll find as well, if you let that dry, yeah, it'll dry lighter. Whereas oh, if you okay. dry it with an air dryer, a heat gun, a heat tool, it'll dry that vibrant. Right. Um, so just pull some more of that through. So you can actually change your tone of what you're going to be getting. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? Isn't it? Looks like a starry night. So I've actually used these on some of the 
things that I'll show in a minute a different technique. That's in. And don't forget, these demo. colors will match as well with the other colors we do have on the show. So if you want to use the other colors for other um, elements of other ways of um, adding your medium on, but to have these already preloaded uh, in your refillables. So this one's the purple. What I'll do, I'll show you with the pink. Yeah. I'll let them one sort of dry naturally, but then I'll show you with the pink because the pink's really, really vibrant. Oh, right, okay. Um, yes. Just how vibrant it'll be if you dry it with the heat tool. The pink is a nice vibrant pink anyway, isn't it? I've actually got it in the, uh, in the bottle here as well, and it, 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 it is. It's a really vibrant, beautiful pink. The blue's really nice as well. Got a really sort of nice sweet feel about them, actually. Candy colours. That one's the blue. And then we've got... That one's the black. I've already done that. Sorry. The wet slate. I keep calling it black. Oh, yeah. Wet slate. In brackets, black. <laughs> right. That's a nice bright one, isn't it? This one's beautiful on black. Yeah. In fact, they work together like that really nicely if you can go for them. I'll do. So just pop a bit on there as well. Yeah, you can see. But on the black uh, and the so white as well, see. they really come through. So they're heating up on the, is that on the pink you're changing, yeah. Yeah. They don't take that long to dry naturally anyway, but if they just um, left so that the colour goes through, um, the colour will absorb into the card. Okay. Ah, you can see that, yeah, yeah. So you can see on the... A lot of the others will still have had the ink on anyway, so it wouldn't have absorbed into the card before it dried. No. no. Um, but you can see it dry nice and bright on black as well. You can actually, if you've got a stamp, sort of like run that, whoops, run that across your stamp and then stamp with it. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll be able to stamp onto black card. But again, if you want to have a bit more control over you getting your spots there and, and that effect around your image that you're working on as well, you know, sometimes you've done it with brushes in the past and it all comes out a bit too heavy. Don't forget, you get to control because you basically load up the brush by twisting the back of the mechanism, actually, and then pumping the actual brush with the colour and then flicking um, and then just reload it as and when you want to as well. So it's nice to have that control over it. So that's on black. Lovely. There we see. Oh, brilliant. So, the colours, thank you for that. Simon. And it that's doesn't brilliant. really bleed either. No, no. So, that's a good... We'll stay if you were to do it with the inks, yeah. you would probably get a bleed, especially if you wet it again, Got whereas you. with these, you shouldn't you get should a bleed. You should get one. No, no. brilliant. Uh, a, lo a lovely effect, and again, more often than not, you've seen that technique used a lot in a, a lot of demonstrations that happened here. Now, to have the tool there to be able to do that with, and have them already preloaded to go, and to be able to refill for yourself as well is perfect. The options you got here, again, which we had the white when it was on once before, done really, really well, and now, of course, you've got that white again that's back in, plus you've also got the fabulous blue, you've got the gorgeous yellow really vibrant sort of candy pinks that are in there beautiful plush purples in there you've got your teal plus you've got your wet slate which is the cloakage you can get now the bl uh, the wet slate I nearly said black as well then the wet slate and the white uh, at the moment are edging away so you're going for your monochrome looks with these but all those lovely colors as well will match as well with what else we've got for you three two eight Double one seven, just fourteen pounds ninety nine pence only for all of those, which is gorgeous. Now again, let's work our way down to even more fabulous colour that you can see here, and and these are lovely. And it's always lovely when you sort of see the great strength of colours we've got here, because I've got l so many samples about to show <laughs> how these are worked on, which is always great. Uh, this is your wink spritz that you've got here. You're going to get in four of your sprays. Each one of those sprays are thirty mil each, and you've got the gorgeous red, yellow blue and you've also got it is actually called black uh, on this one as well uh, 12 nights on i uh, took us through a little bit here and I'll, um, I'll i'll show off a little bit about what we've got uh, with some of these in fact if i show the swatch first of all um just talk to a little bit about where we're going to use these projects uh, and what sort of style um so they'll work on um any porous surface you can mix it with things like glue um gesso um so that you can use it on non-porous surfaces as well um so those are just the color palette of the spray themselves, you can mix them to get your purples, your greens, your browns, right. your um, orange, 
Um, so you can mix all the colours together. You can mix any of the sprays together. It doesn't really make a difference right. um, to get different colour palettes as well. They, they, I mean, they're, I mean that yellow. There's no denying that. That is lovely and bright. It's a lovely it? bright yellow. Yeah. Really, really lovely. Really lovely in all of these actually. So again, if you're looking for that strength to work with it, and were these done the same on them as well? So those haven't been done with those colours, right. um, but it's just to show that you can mix it with things like resin. Oh, um, I normally see. Normally water-based products won't mix with resin, but ours do. Um, wow. So you can see that it does give a nice colour to Yeah, them. it really does, isn't it? You get a gorgeous amount in here. There's all, wow, these are beautiful as well, these. Let me just put some of these down and show um, how, again, this will all mix and work. The same, same principle again. Is yeah, it? so yeah. that one would have been done with the, I think I did the red Let's the blue this, uh, and the black bit of, bit as well, the right behind. and oh, to get, we use the red and the blue to get the purple tone, and then the black as well. They are marbled it through. They are gorgeous, absolutely fantastic. Again, but the strength of the colours that you are working with is brilliant. They've got that lovely and that sort of that that lovely edging that we can see. So that's the red, and that's also got the glitter pearl over the that top of it to give that it that sparkle. That is really, really nice. Uh, that's gorgeous. We will go through more of the examples as well as we go through, but just to introduce you around, make sure you do take advantage of these ones. Twelve ninety nine, and you are getting all four for that. Zero six three two one four, and again, you get the idea. And I never think that, uh, and this is not, 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 I'm not setting any directors here. Uh, it's just that I don't think you ever really get the true worth of any colour that you see on the show until you see it up close. But they really are vibrant colours that you're looking at. They're really beautiful. It's gorgeous. Now, uh, taken away from that side we've got more the vintage style again here so we're sort of just looking at a sort of a, a, dark, a darker sort of feel regarding these yeah so they'll give you a vintage feel um shabby chic um, we wanted something that wasn't as bright and that would give an aged look um, i love that color so we that's brought really those nice out. sage green that's really nice so depending on how you put it down as well like you'll notice there's darker shades and lighter shades yeah so you can build the colours up, you can dab the excess off so you get a lighter colour. Um, so they can be used in all different ways. You can um, paint with them as well. Um, so if you want to take off some of the colours to do highlighting and shade, which I'm going to do okay. shortly as well. But they are really, really lovely. I'll show you a few more examples as well of some of these that are coming through. Um, work with. Wow, actually we've got some beautiful ones on here. I'll show you that one to start with. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? It's coming through. Ooh. There we go. That, these are stunning, these. That's the, the black wink spritz uh, that we've got has been added onto this as well. Um, working with that. That's lovely. Really lovely. But the colours are fab. In fact, whichever set people are going to go for, these are your vintage uh, that you can see as well. You've got dusky pink in there. The aged teal uh, that's on the, uh, the outside of those, which is lovely. And then we've also got the sage green on the inside for those as well. They are really lovely. Sort of s a subtler colour, aren't they, really? Quite yeah. soft and subtle um, that works with us really nice. 702521, only 12 99 again for those. But again, if you're going for both sets, you get a lovely combination there. You've got lots of lots of options at your fingertips to work with, which is gorgeous. Uh, right, let's look at our silver lining. Uh, now, when I saw these, well, looking through these earlier on, I love the effect, which is absolutely fabulous. Now, you are going to be getting here um, the beautiful colours. We've got the uh, Buttercup, the Sapphire, and the Fuchsia. Now, I'm just going to tilt this one. This is your um, Sapphire, but if I tilt that, hopefully you can see that effect. Can you see that coming through with that lovely silver lining uh, that you pick up? Now, that really can have a big wow factor on a project, can't it? Yeah. What card she's used on that, but it actually looks a bit like an alcohol effect. Right. Um, the inks are not alcohol; they're water-based. Um, but it does give that sort of effect, and it's got it a lovely sheen it? to it as well, depending on how you hold it in the light. They are gorgeous. So we're just trying to uh, capture that buttercup as well uh, that you can see there. We can see the, the the effect of it coming through. But I mean, beautiful colour anyway. But that effect really, it really is quite magical actually. When you see the light catches it, let's bring in also. Look at that with a fuchsia. You can see the silver that's running through there. It's like a mercury vein that's running through the actual mm. colours itself, isn't it? They, can, uh, actually, they can actually be mixed together as well to create different, like all your purples, your oranges, because you've got your blue, you've got yeah. a pinky red, you've got um, yellow, so you can use all your different... Um, Mix them together to make all the different colours. They are. They are right. They are, I mean, they are lovely. There you go. I knew it's, uh, <laughs> it's another, another live hour. 
Just want to show that uh, no, no, no inks were actually affected in the making of that bit of footage. Uh, 169179, you do get your three, each bottle there, 30 mil each, you get in all three, uh, for 999, that is a phenomenal. If you haven't worked with that before, with that silver lining technique, what would it do, what would it bring to your projects when you're working, that little extra magic that you might find, that's what you're going to get in those three little bottles, absolutely fantastic for you. Uh, right, now we've also got our copper infusion that you can see. Now, it was actually on before it did sell out last time uh, but now <laughs> back in stock so this is your four bottles uh, that you're looking at here and if I just move this as well so you can see the names try to knock anything over see the names but you can also see that lovely almost like little um, copper inclusions uh, that are within them as well so I love that that is fantastic again with all the colors Scarlet Rose is pretty your yellows and the beautiful sunrise here, they really are bright. Yeah. They're fabulous, yeah. those. The, uh, um, those ones actually, um, sorry, the last, the silver lining copper infusions and the next ones do have to be um, shook before you use them. Right. Just so that all the mica mixes up with so the colour. Yeah, and then you will get that, you won't get that sparkle without that. No, so you do need to give them a, a nice mix up so you get them all part of the same particles working together on those, which, which is lovely. In fact, there was a show here also. Just give you a little idea as well. This is there, you can see all done on the mount board itself there, but that's got the um, copper infusion there with the scarlet rose. Um, if I just tilt that, can you see it there? And it's, it's a little bit like that holographic kind of feel. You, until you get it on the angle, then you get hit with that lovely colour that comes through of that, of that copper. Uh, 1299 uh, 094815 is your item code for those as well, which is lovely. And last but not least on the counter, a little hint of gold uh, that you can see here. So we've got uh, six bottles, and you're going to get all six for this price, which is fabulous. And let's just see this. But these are lovely, really lovely. Uh, what do you find that these lend themselves to nicely, Simon? Um, most people use them for like your elegant projects that you want a bit of class to. Right. Um, great for Christmas, because there's a great Christmas palette in there as well. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. And just anything you want a bit of sparkle to, really. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, which is always always opportunity, <laughs> always opportunity for some of that. But they really do have a lovely effect with the way that they play with the light and the way that your eye catches them. You know, you, you really do get something nice and surprising for it. It does add a nice value, a sort of depth to the project, mm. I'd imagine, as well. Um, but that lovely iridescence that you're going to get is gorgeous. Um, only 17.99. You do get all six bottles. Each one of those bottles, as you know, 30 mil. Oh, that's a beautiful colour as well, isn't it? Really lovely, and again, if you are thinking about that sort of magical, maybe oceanic, it might be coral kind of mermaid kind of feel about that. You want the glisten of the light to, to play with either water surface that you might be looking at, or the sparkle of a, a festive time, of course, uh, then these would be absolutely perfect. Brilliant price as well, only seventeen ninety nine for six bottles. Uh, 130795 is your item uh, again. And again, one of those, again, that you've got to give that uh, a, a, nice, a nice shake as well, so you can see see all that if I did there we go once you see it look at that shake the bottle wake the color not wake the drink I think that was another advertising slogan uh, <laughs> but you can sort of see there that once you're given that a shake and you apply that what effect is that going to have on the project that you are working with they are lovely those one three zero seven nine five was great uh, now I know we've also got a couple of others now some of the mount board and we've actually looked at in fact we've got some of these that have actually been used with the mount board I've got some other examples I'll show you in a moment um, but if you want to go for this this is your 15 by 14 sorry your 14 by 6 inch on these one uh, that you're looking at these are your black and cream lined mount board 900 GSM uh, is going to give you 15 boards of that for just 9.99 so really lovely perfect again great way of uh, backing any of your projects to work with as well which is lovely uh, we've also We've also got the larger size available, and here you're going to be getting 25 of your 610 GSM mount board. This is 267 by 193. Again, great price when you think you're getting 25 here for under £10, just 9.99 for that. Uh, lovely that. Now, if you want a mix of sizes for your different variable projects, then you might want to go for this bundle here, and you get an even bigger amount, 30 of these of your assorted mount board sheets to work with, and these are only 18.99, and that's 305. 920, uh, perfect for all those projects to work with, but they are gorgeous, the boards. In fact, I'll just show very quickly, this is one of them, it's on one of the, uh, the first of the sort of size we looked at, but again, you sort of get an idea then 
of the full size in scale with my hand, but lovely for backing all your projects and to work with. And they really do allow your colours to pop through as well, don't they, with that? But really got a great op opportunity for those, really nice and solid also. Uh, right, so we've been down said counter. Uh, what are we going to be looking at next? Um, so I'm going to show you how to, um, quite similar to the these ones here, just where the flit sticks are. Right, um, I'm going to show you how to do those um, using the inks rather than using ink pads okay. um, to get the watercolour style background. Oh, lovely. Um, I'll just line my stamp up right. Right, so first of all, just wet your card. So I'm using watercolour card for this. It's a hot press card, um, which just makes it a bit flatter. Um, and I'm going to use... Dusky Plum. So the Dusky Plum's from the Vintage range. Ah, the Vintage, right. Okie dokie. We'll bring the details up for that for people. And I'm just going to spray directly onto the stamp. You know what, I've done that wrong. <laughs> just oh. ignore that one. That's now you do it. Ignore that one, everybody. We'll yeah, lose just, that in the just edit. Just ignore that one. For that one. <laughs> I'm doing a different technique. <laughs> ah. So we'll, 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 we'll watch that and rewind for another technique another time. We'll give that another label. But as you well. do just spray directly onto your stamp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, right, right. So you, uh, you, wet with the, you wet the card the first time around, wasn't it? That was yeah. It. So you don't need to do that for this technique. So that will give you. And did you have to shake the bottle again for that one, no. or was that one straight on? So the um, the vintage winks you don't need to shake the bottle. Right. I'll just leave that to settle in a minute. Yep. How long have you been doing crafting yourself, so? How long um, did you start? I started properly about six years ago, but I've been doing it all my life. Mum's a crafter, so we grew ah, up crafting. Right. Um, Granddad was uh, used to make things out of wood. My dad started uh, making pens. Oh, really? Yeah. So uh, he started making pens, which we sell in our shop now. Right. Um, and everyone seems to love them. Oh, wow. Wow, uh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. So we're all really crafty. And then there's Donna and myself. Um, and is it in the genes? Has it been passed on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'm just going to line my outline stamp and I'm going to use a normal ink for this. Oh, right. So an ink palette. Plate the pad. The even. pad, yep. <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's the weekend. We'll have, to, we'll have to get a bit confused. Oh, that looks lovely. It, it does have that, uh, our producer just saying as well, it's got a lovely sort of watercolour feel about yeah. this, uh, this style. Well, these particular stamps are made to look like watercolour, but yeah. just using the inks over the top, it adds to it and it takes away all the... I can't use watercolour myself to right. watercolour and um, do something like that, I wouldn't know where to start. Right. Um, but it just gives you... It does. A really nice... Really lovely effect on that. ...finish. And just pop a sentiment on. All good things are wild and free. Lovely. And then I'll grab a purple flick stick. So again, good to give them a shake beforehand as yeah. well, just to just to just to mix it all up. Mix it up. Just swad. That is nice and simple. It's lovely and easy. A little bit of colour. Quickly dry that off. Is it still our white and wet slate in the lead at the moment with our um, flick sticks at the moment? Or Ooh. Oh no, we've gone we've gone white and teal now as in the lead as well. Teal is the best colour. Yeah, the teal I is, love is me beautiful. Teals. Uh, they are, they are. But I mean they are all gorgeous colours to be quite honest. You know, they are they are lovely. Um, that's out here. I'll give me that little shape as well for you so you can see. Um, and this is the teal that we get and look from that. Really, it's a very soft lens itself as well, doesn't it? To the, to like the watercolour yeah. feel that you're going for with those and those colours. Um, They're all lovely. So, 
you, you'll be able to see like the purple that I've used for it. Um, it does go with that, even though that's a vintage colour, it still goes with that. That'll still go with our um, purples across the other ranges as well, because yep. we've used the same blends, but just different okay. amounts of different colours to get those blends right, right. within. Um, so you will, all the colours, um, like the purples will go with all the purples, the yellows will go with the yellows, Got the you. orange will go with the oranges and stuff like that so all the colours do mix together. Perfect, so you can be confident if you are going to go for some of the other colours in the range that you want to be adding into it of course then actually once you've got these loaded up into your flick sticks as well and you've got those they will complement the other colours that you've got for that and don't forget the other colours you get the really lovely other effects as well whether either the silver lining or you're really going to go with the copper for example but to know that you're going to be able to create more of those backgrounds in that same colour palette Really nice. 328117. White and teal at the moment are in the lead for those ones at $14.99. Now, of course, you can. There's loads and loads of lovely things, of course, here from Pearly Winks. You can shop by brand if you go to hachanda.com. Just put in there for the Pearly Winks and uh, have a little look. And uh, all those wonderful different ways of getting that colour onto your project are all there for you. So do take advantage of all of those. There's so much up for grabs. Uh, to be quite honest on those but you're getting some really lovely lovely effects with your colors really good prices as well and don't forget a lot of those uh, like for under 20 pounds you're getting either all six or all four of the bottles for them so really good packages really good deals to be had uh, right uh, what are we up to next then uh, Simon so be that. next I'm gonna use some colors to do a sunset oh right okay um, so I wasn't gonna use this color on this demo but Beautiful sunrise. You, you, wow, it says it on the tin. <laughs> um, why not? It, yes. Uh, so I'll just pull this through. So I'm just going to start popping some yellow down. I'm just going to brush that across. The yellows do really seem really lovely and vibrant. There was something about the yellows that's uh, in your collection that's come along. But My page. I do love the yellows. Yeah. Nice and then bright. I'm just going to pop this down to create a mask and then I'm just going to use the wink spritz. Oh, the wink spritz. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's, that's just red. the red wink spritz just to add a bit of colour. And then I'm just going to go across my page. Like so, take off my circle. And then I'm just going to. Ah, it's lovely that. Drag across. You always know when you've had one of those kind of sunsets, Sapper, because everyone takes a shot and puts it on social media <laughs> and says, you know, oh, a lovely walk in the evening to sit tonight. Look what I've seen. <laughs> it's usually Janice that does that. <laughs> it's, well, ja yeah, Janice does one of those as well. On. Jump one of the, I did one of those during lockdown and took a photograph and. Um, so, uh, I, it was a photograph. I managed to. Uh, one of those on my own. You know, left the kids. Went out for a little bit of walk. Left the for a bit. Didn't leave it. You know, just went out for a walk. <laughs> that's not. That's not stirring anything up there. Uh, went for a bit of a walk. So I thought I'll get a quick shot because it was a lovely sun uh, sunset that was going on. I had to prop my little phone up on the on the fence to try and get that. And the shot of it was sort of looking up my nose though which is a bit of a weird one, but then with everything behind, they went, if you ever put an album out, that would be your cover. It's one of them. <laughs> and uh, one of the producers said, kindly put, yeah, the best of Scott Walsfold on an album. Um, <laughs> only my mum wanted it. <laughs> there you go. Nice picture. Nice shot of the nose. <laughs> right, so I'm just flipping my card over, and just to cover up that side. And then I'm just using the Blue Wink Spritz. And then I'm just going to drag that across as well. A nice coating of it. So, as I said before, if you only wanted to light it light, it's probably going to make it too light now. But you can right. just dab off your excess, and it'll probably leave an imprint of the tissue. Which might be nice to print. <laughs> <laughs> so you can dab off your excess and yeah. then you can go on and do another coat if you wish. Yeah, but it's a lovely colour coating across that across that on the paper, isn't it? Really nice. 
Yeah, you can get really nice blends with it as yeah, well. Yeah, the blending and the mix of it is really lovely actually. And again, that was literally just a, a, a couple of little sprays. So, so little actually came through, but you get a lovely covering with it all. Yeah, it is. It, you so do I'm thinking really your bottles nice. will go a long, long way. Yeah, you don't need a lot. No. You don't need a lot at all. Right, and I'm cheating now. If you're any good at drawing or painting, you can paint it. But I'm not. <laughs> so I'm going to cheat. No, I love a, I love a cheat. Uh, which one's which? I think I'm going to like this, even just seeing it actually on the stamp itself. Now, if you see some some that Donna does, she actually draws them on. She always goes, I can't draw, I can't draw, but she, she actually... He's really good at them. Uh, and she'll do it with all the inks and stuff. Oh, uh, see. Oh, wow. That is great. Ah, uh, you see, I wouldn't want to lock down there. See, and that's... That looks fab. Really quick. Can you just turn that round the other way so it's facing you? There we that go. Way. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's a lovely. So, that's basically just three colours. That was just three colours, yeah. It was the um, Blue Wink Spritz, the Red Wink Spritz, and the Beautiful Sunrise in the Copper Infusion. Copper Infusion. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous, that. I love it. And, and I it love that effect on the sun as well. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. Thank you so much, Dita. And that's fabulous, that. Um, taking me away uh, a million miles away now from looking at that. We'll just have a little recap, if that's OK. That's just let fine, people yeah. know exactly what you are uh, up for grabs in this hour. It is the only hour we've got pearly wings for us today, so please do make the most um, uh, of, uh, of the trip down to the studio uh, to be with us, of course, and to bring you all these um, things that have sold out on previous shows. So if they're back in stock today, do grab them uh, while we have got Simon here and Pearly Wings for you as well. Now, the white of the flick sticks that is there, uh, a third of the stock has gone with that. Now, it did go last time pretty much, and so now is your chance to grab that if you would like to go for those. Your sticks here, they are 30 mil uh, with your refill that you're looking at, uh, and that's 328117. It's 1499. So, you've actually got in here your, uh, if we go from that end there, we've got here, you've got your um, wet slate, which is the closest you're going to find uh, to the black itself, but that's your um, wet slate. Then we've got the fabulous, beautiful pink, really lovely and vibrant. Uh, we've got the fabulous purple. I'll give them a little shake as well, just so you can see, because um, I don't want you to look at that and think that's them, but you do get the actual, you'll get more of a colour then in the bottle that you'll see once they've actually sort of been uh, shaken and, and woken up a little bit. You might want to give them more of a vigorous shake than I just did. Um, uh, there's your blue, you've got your purple, your blue, and then you've got your teal, and then you've got the fabulous yellow as well. 328-117, choose whichever one you want to go for that, but that technique again, you do get that, and again, those for the get for the uh, the refill, really nice and simple itself for how all that works together, um, and perfect for you to uh, to have three two eight one one seven, uh, fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. Right, we've also got for you the wink spritz. Uh, now you've just seen some of these uh, working, of course, and these are your lovely primary colours. And you've got your blue, you've got your red, you've got your yellow, and you've also got the black. But these are lovely. They really are gorgeous and give you a lovely effect again. Um, and you get all four of these, as I was saying, you know, with regards to all of these. Um, but again, lovely again for blending and for working. So give a little idea as you can see all these but really lovely ways of bringing that colour um, into any of your projects that you're, that you're working with, um, but they are perfect for that. Oh, that's really nice as well. It's too on on to, um, there we go. We've got your photographs in there. I wonder if I was to open that, I'll find all sorts of, there we go. Yes, I thought we would. Uh, look at that. Lovely projects there, actually, with all these wonderful colours. Uh, maybe for floral as well, uh, for wildlife. We've got some of the beautiful butterflies. These are beautiful projects. Uh, really, really lovely. Again, all of these, looking at from what you're going to get uh, with the colours across those four. And let me show you one more here. So that's, that's got to be seen. Out at sea. Uh, again, we get a lovely coating. Again, great for blending, as you heard uh, Simon talk about. 0650. 
three two one four just 12 pounds and 99 that's your blue that and gorgeous gorgeous colors there some of those mixed in also with your vintage uh, which is what we've also got for you now um which are which are fabulous again and these again are more sort of um a sort of a, a subtler subtler kind of looking for those which are Fabulous. We're also going to bring to you, uh, there we go, we've got the coppers. Now, copper was one of them uh, that Simon was using and looked at. Uh, almost half the stock now of these already now allocated. We've got 20 minutes left on the show, but almost half the stock already gone. So, 30 mil each one of those we're looking at. Um, getting all four, which is, which is fabulous, uh, but really, really lovely price. Only £12.99 if you want those. I just want to just tilt that as well, you're looking down that, so you can see the effect effect there we go uh, so you can see that now real full effect coming through with those little lovely copper infusion throughout again don't forget really important that before you do use these ones again that you do give it a good shake again to get all that working together uh, so you can see all the elements in fact just giving that a little shake you sort of see how it sort of wakes it up a little bit there and brings it all to life for you to work with uh, lovely. All four of those are yours at £12.99. Uh, we've also got some others that you may be interested to help with your projects, of course, that we can bring to you. Uh, if you're looking for some of your card stock, how about your A4? This is your matte silver card. Uh, it's a single-sided in this one, but it's a lovely GSM, 250 GSM, and that will give you 50 <coughs> sheets of that. Now, it comes with a £15 saving right now. This does end, by the way, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning, so you do need to take advantage of this right now. It's only 9.99. Uh, if you'd like to go, I'm sure they will take these colours beautifully. Um, only one we had some lovely projects, if you're looking for your LED lights, how about these? Four, each one of those is two metres long, it does come with a battery as well, and each of those uh, 20 um, uh, LED lights that you're going to get with those, but four of those two metre ones as well, £9.96, only 726248. Right then, Simon, uh, been down the counter again. We've got, how long have we got left there? 15 minutes. This is how it's by. What are you looking at next? Um, so next I'm going to do some painting um, and show you how to paint a character. Oh, great. And do In fact, background. I'm looking at something similar. We just showed a couple of those on uh, <laughs> some of those examples and then you can see how to, how, how to do them. Lovely. Right. So, for the background, all I did, I'm just going to cancel these just to show you that they can be painted with as well. You don't need as a lot. So, I need red, green. So, to get the green, I'm going to pop a couple of drops of the yellow down. Right. And then just, oops, another drop to then. <laughs> And then I just want a tiny little bit of blue, so just one drop of blue. I like it with the pipette. I feel like I'm in a science lab. <laughs> <laughs> and then I need some black as well, because the black's going to be the grey. Oh, right. You don't need that much. No, but the, one of these, like, one just little droplet, this goes a long, long way, doesn't it? It does, colour? yeah. So I'll just pop my lids on before I throw them everywhere. Because I will do, because I'm one of the no, most yeah, clumsy people in the world. to be safe and so <laughs> Well, you've seen me. I've already knocked over something on the on the on the show already this hour. So, uh, no, it does it, happen. It does it, happen. It does come off. To be fair, it's only water based. It's not going to cause any issues. Yeah. Right. So I'll just mix my green first of all, just to make sure it's a green that I want. That's give us a nice green mm -hmm. for the strawberry top. Might be a bit bright that, but we'll go with it. So, I'm just going to paint straight on with the green. And then I'm just going to let that one dry, and then I'm going to go straight in with the red. And um, don't forget, this is uh, someone's using a mixture of the different sets here all together, actually, to sort of create that. And I think that's the, that's the beauty about these, because they are... You know, you are getting six bottles of one, four bottles of one, and they're all really, really good prices. So hopefully it is achievable for you to get this lovely mix of all these together to be able to sort of work in the way that Simon is with those, uh, all those different products right across the board for yourself to have them. And like I say, great value for money, but a little goes a long, long way with these colours. Yeah, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm just putting a layer of it down. I'm not... Um, you might find it easier to do small amounts and then take away or you might find it easier to build up your layers it's completely up to you you'll find your own way of using them right 
So, I'm not going to use that one. So the juicy strawberry. So then, if you should be able to see that it's a bit uh, darker on yes. one side. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so that's just going to create a bit of a shadow. All oh, right. Yeah. Just so it's darker on one side than the other. And if it's not dark enough for you, just go back in, add more colour, add right. more colour. I like the way of just sort of, you know, doing the whole thing across and then just taking half away, <laughs> rather than trying to top up one <laughs> other. Well. Yeah. If yeah. you want to take more colour off, wet your brush. Leave it for a second or two. And then, again, dab off a little bit more. Nice way of getting that shadow effect on It's there, good for mistakes it? as well. I make a lot of mistakes and it's really good that you can sort of like... Turn it into a constantly technique. go off the edge, and I'm like, no, <laughs> really didn't want to do that. So I'm just going to pop a bit more green in just to make that a bit darker, and then this is a different way to do it. So I'm going to wet the paper first, right? Because I don't want a black, I want a grey. So I'm just going to wet the paper. That's where I'm going to paint. Is, this is a Tracy Hay stamp. Tracy nice. Hay comes on the Chandra as well. Really lovely. That's so many of the stamps, they're absolutely brilliant. And they work so nice with our sprays as well, because they're yeah. really fun. Yeah, yeah, yes. Really, colours really come through for it. Um, and then I'm just going to go around the edges. And then I'm just going to drag that colour <laughs> down. He's sort of saying, don't you dare take, what, this strawberry? My what, strawberry. My strawberry. <laughs> um, my strawberry. So it just gives the illusion, because it's darker on the outside yeah. and lighter on the inside. And then I'm just going to, again, lift some of that black. Keep going to put my two paintbrush in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so his ears will be darker. Too dark. Very cute, yeah. And then you just you can lift the colour back out, as yeah. I say. You don't even need to use your tissue, you can just use your paintbrush. And it will lift that colour out. Lovely. A little bit, they just go a long way. My bracelet's really noisy, it keeps clanging. <laughs> Should have took it off. <laughs> Get shouted at in a bit. <laughs> uh, I always I have when I'm doing my lives on Facebook and I just sort of like sorry or other social media. Um, <laughs> and I always think I really should take that off. <laughs> wow. Don't want to stop you now. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then I'm gonna give him or her. Just pop a little bit of yellow on there. So she's got yellow boots, or he's got yellow boots. <laughs> and I'm not going to put my water down. If you put your water down, what will happen is it'll lighten the colour, it'll dampen the colour. But I don't want it to dampen the colour. I want nice, bright. Yeah. Bright I think boots. That's, that's what's lovely about all the colours you brought here and the different si the, the sort of effects that they have with it, whether it's the, the copper that's going on with the silver, etc. around those. But the colours are lovely and vibrant. They are lovely and yeah. bright. And I think that's what they bring to any project when they work with them. Um, but you do have that option, again, if you don't them as strong, you can take them down a little bit, which is it's better to have too much to start with and take them down than trying to get more out of them, isn't it, really? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So all I've done there is I've just sort of like, I've added some water and then I've just added a tiny little bit of red just to give it pinkish cheeks. Ah, uh, yep. Lovely little right. boots. So that's that done. That's that part. And then, snip that off. And then to get the, f the hearts, yep. all I've done is I've just popped some of the spray onto some cut and dry or type of foam. And then I'm just using that as a oh, stamp pad. Okay. So that's then bringing that red into a stamp pad as well. So it's the same red as so what I've used right. on that. Blends. So you're just bringing it through that's um, nice. onto the rest of the thing. So I'd pop that on there. Oh, that's very cute. You could also use it for your borders as well. 
So I'll show you what I mean by that. Yeah. Love you very much. <laughs> so you can use this then. Oh, just straight straight from the actual what you were taking from the stamp anyway, yeah. To do your borders. So if you wanted to mat and layer like on that um on this piece here. So all the colour that's on there has been used by the sprays, so it all started off as white card, so even like the background pieces here. I've created my own orange using the oh, red and the yellow. Oh, right, clever, yes. Um, so everything, sort of like, all the colours do work with each other. Got you. So Got it drags you. it into each picture, sort of thing. Yeah, really nice. Love that. It's a lovely, lovely idea, actually, to work with. I'm hoping that's inspired as well for yourselves to work with. But again, great way of seeing the, the mixture of all the different options that are available for you in this hour uh, with all those. Um, have we got a chance, very quickly, uh, to have a little look again of the flick stick? Of the flick yep. stick? A um, lot of interest coming through again for the flick stick, so just to demonstrate, because we did see them at the beginning of the hour, uh, but in case you missed it and looking, just to give you a little recap again. Is there um, any specific colour, sorry? What colour? What, uh, well, teal was doing very well, um, uh, or, or uh, the slates, or the white. Um, what, 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 whatever you feel you want to have a play with on those. Right, have I bought my white? Have I got my white? I've got my white. So, so that, it took quite a bit of working out how to get these to. Yeah, I just couldn't bring out how to get a white ink because every I, I thought there's no such thing as a white ink. Come on, don't be daft. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then it actually turns out there is such a thing as white ink. It was me that was being daft. <laughs> um, so I think someone actually used these to do like a galaxy, um, using all different colours, the blues and the yellows. Um, it looks like little stars shining in the sky. Right. Right, if you get the clusters, um, but the actual sticks themselves that, they're, that, they're, that you're filling up to, for you to get those created again, we took a little bit of technology beyond the beyond the scenes of quite a while to bring it to work. Yeah, we weren't well. We weren't sure what to put them in. I wanted to put them in these sort of um, brushes that you can pre-fill yourself. Don't yeah. I wanted to put them into um, the pipette bottles, so they've oh. got their own pipettes on them, so got you can use them like that. Got you, yeah. Um, Tracy Hayes actually asked for them in pet bottles as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it might be something that we 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 do in the future, just that. to give people an option because yeah. not everyone wants to use them like this. Might want to use them in a different way. They might want to use them to paint with. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's a couple of the colours. I'll just try and see if I can. Damn. Yeah, we're good. We got we got still got four minutes. We're okay. Yeah. Um, I need to find the stamps now. <laughs> so I'll just show you. They're all there at the beginning of the show, but somehow they've just like, they disappeared, don't they? Chuck them anyway. The show. Um, so I'll try the yellow. It's not going to show very well on the black because it's pushing all day. Don't forget, you've got all the colours that you can uh, select from uh, to work with the Pearly Wings flick sticks, of course. You've got your wet white, you've got your wet slate, pink, purple, blue, teal, and as you can see, it's being used at the moment is the bright, beautiful yellow. Uh, choose from any of those. Uh, item is 328117, and they're only 14.99. but loads and loads and loads of fluid there for you if you do your uh, work with your refills. Um, plenty of there, but what a lovely effect again. Just so that little bit of that splatter is lovely. If you take your time and don't rush like I, do, I am, you'll get a perfect stamped image as well. Yeah. So you can use them on your stamps. Um, what else can we do with them? Um, they were really just developed so that you can add that splatter to, yeah. your, to your art project because I know a lot of people, does it, like Donna's done it on here, but she's not used the flick stick, she's actually used the, the inks. So you can see they've slightly bled a little bit. Oh, I see. Um, so these were created more so that you can do that sort of thing and add it to your projects. It doesn't got need to even be used with our inks. It can be used with anything you right, can use okay. on top of your acrylics. Or but your once you've got the tool, the proper tool to yeah. work with it and, and to do that. It's, it's a lovely card, though. Really lovely card. Um, uh, what colours we got in here? This Is this from the vintage? Was it from that one? or? So that one's from your that's vintage, yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Um, 
That is stunning, that. I love you, that. Well, I'll give you a quick recap again then, just to, just while uh, Simon, you, you trying to get one more little project out there? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Just do a couple of techniques. We've got about a minute and a half, he's thinking. Oh, yeah, the challenge is on. 328-117-1499, if you'd like to go for the Pony Weeks flick sticks. Uh, but he's on, he's on a challenge, he's on it. He's on, the momentum is kicking in. Right, so you can use things as a... Stencil. Oh, all right, yeah, that's cool. Household objects. But then don't just stop there, rather than throw that bit away that you've stamped through, uh, sprayed through. Use that to create yeah. a different Lovely look. thing. You can spray onto stuff like you. Everyone must be getting parcels at the minute. <laughs> Lots oh. of packaging. Yep. So when you shake these, shake them like that, not like I've just done. Um, because it can, the mic can go up into the tube. Um, I'm not saying that it will. What you can do, just spray different colours. That's nice for your different textures as well, isn't it? Across. Lovely finishing one. Oh, that's good. Oh, that, what a brilliant idea. There we go. You've got a great um, way of working with it to do that. Um, we've got literally down to a final few seconds. So, when do you know when you're back in the studio? We are back in, I'm not sure when it is, it's in. November. In I'm November. Not sure. I think it's mid November. Mid November time as well. Well, so. listen, thank you so much for coming to the studio today with thank us you. as well. Always lovely and fantastic colours again and, and brilliant ways of working. Don't forget, make sure you get everything uh, checked out of your basket. Uh, but carry on looking through everything that's available as well from the Pearly Wings as well. But thank you so much. Lovely working with you today. Thank you. Enjoy that time. Thank you. Safe journey back to Manchester. Thank uh, you. Thank you very much indeed as well and enjoy when you get them as well. See Bye. you soon. So get ready everybody, Art and Craft Glitter Greetings, everything like a sparkle, then you'll love what's coming up then. We've also got a LeBlanche One Day Special, then we've got the Dewey Jumbo, I'm looking forward to that, all coming up on your Saturday with the Chanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop and we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings. And we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks. And we also have our range of laser cut some catches and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on her channel. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think 
other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on her Chanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch her Chanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on her Chanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dyes, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Good afternoon, everyone. Now, who doesn't like glitter? Nobody. Nobody. We all love a bit of bling. We all love glitter, especially around the festive season. And we have got a fantastic show lined up for you. Plenty of glitter, plenty of bling, and a gorgeous guest, too. We've got Julie. Oh, How are you. you, Julie? Yeah, really good, thank you. Nice to see you. Um, we are socially distancing here in the studio at Hochanda, so we're trying to keep everybody safe. So we are we a are. metre or so apart. Mm -hmm. That's a trap door, so if yes. you do step over it, Julie. Oh, gone. I don't know where you'll end up oh. at the other end. I well, promise I won't press it then. So don't, don't, yes, don't take a step to your left. <laughs> uh, but it is great to have you company. What have we got lined up for the show? What can we expect to see? We've got the brand new Christmas designs. So I want to show you, if you haven't done them before, yes. if you have, great. But how easy they are to apply to glass and to cards. Yes, you can use these on all kinds of different projects mm -hmm. at home. Uh, I've got some lovely samples of bottles, as you can see around us. Julie and I have been very busy this morning, emptying the <laughs> bottles, I mean, um, getting the bottles ready for the studio. Um, and these have got little lights inside, but that really does enhance the glitter that's then on the outside with the acetate. Looking at that now, you yeah. uh, well, I can't see that that's on acetate. It just looks like it's directly on the bottle. And that is, again, that's the beauty of the acetate. You can't see it. Um, and I'm going to show you which glue to use. And the fact is, it's acetate, it's glitter, so they're translucent, so you can actually see the lights. Ooh. Think about it, if you was putting something in, that, that is the beauty yeah, of, of glitter course. and the acetate is because they're translucent, so that's why it works really well. Do you know why we like glitter? Well, one of the reasons sure. why we're attracted to glitter, because it reminds us of water and how water glistens. Oh. Yeah, I know, don't believe everything I say. Um, I do, <laughs> I'd, like to, <laughs> I'd like to show you a card and um, a bottle just to show you that the same acetate looks great on a card, fabulous on a bottle. Imagine those two. That's your gift to give someone for Christmas and that's the card that you give them. They look great together, don't they? And it doesn't cost a lot because this deal we've got for you, you get 12 designer acetates. You get various designs on each one. Some of them have four on, some of them have three on. Uh, and you've got six different glitters. You also get the glue as well. It's the right glue, and that's really important when you're using glitter on acetate. And also, you get the anti-static bag as well. Dare I lift this up to show you? No, there you go. Um, and that's really important, especially when you're using glitter, because you want to make sure that the glitter sticks and stays and doesn't get everywhere on your projects. Also, you have an information sheet that's going to give you details on how to correctly apply your glitter to the acetate. So you get all of that information just there, including uh, a telephone number at the top for help and advice, 
I won't show you that now, but it's on the paper, so you have to wait till you get that home. And that will get you help and advice if you need it. 503852, that's your item number. You can head to the website and see all the other items we've got available for you if you want to stock up. Uh, but I think this is a great way to introduce yourself towards Christmas. Now, uh, we've got the designs at the back here. I'm going to lift these up to show you. Although you can see them at the front, it's nice to get an idea. Now, I'm going to ask a question because I've just turned that around. Is there a right way and a wrong way to the acetate? Um, I will explain that in the demonstration, okay. but I'm going to say mainly no. Okay. But if there's writing on it, and then it's going to be a, a yes, there is. You're of only course. use one, but I can definitely. Sh can I? Do you want me to just just say, show you from the examples what I mean yeah, by that? Yeah, you can do. Yeah, definitely. Because you'll be glittering on one side, yep. so we don't matter which side. But this particular design, whether there's writing, of course, of when you turn it over and the glitter's on the back, that would be only you'd only have the option of doing it on one side. Yes. Um, and then if it was something like the bell, which I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply the glue and glitter. So glue and glitter, and then you turn it over. So the bell will then face this up way. So not that the bell so much, but there's sometimes where you want the snowman facing one way or do you know what I mean? So you, you. actually you do determine which way you want it facing, yes. like the robins, you might want robin facing one yeah. way, snowman one way. So that's when I actually decide which side I do it on. Excellent. But writing definitely only the one option. Yes, true. And we've got some lovely sentiments as well. We've got the lovely wreaths just here with Merry Christmas in there. I mean, that's going to look fantastic with glitter, isn't it? Absolutely marvellous. Turn it around. Uh, 2020, what kind of year has it been for you? Well, we, we do know, don't we? Um, but of course, I'm sure there's been some lovely times throughout the year as well. Can uh, I just, just say two of them? I've just become a, gra a nanny twice. Have you? In 2020. Oh my yeah. goodness! Harrison was born in March, and Hugo with my son's wife in July. So how good's 2020 for it me? It certainly is. Two. Two grandchildren. You yes. You don't look young enough. Oh, you. Old enough, I mean, <laughs> but I don't like saying that. Um, that's amazing. That is a good year. Yeah, that's congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, so the first grandchild came in when we went into lockdown. Exactly. I know that because it was my birthday in March. March the 23rd. Oh, 12 Harrison was born on my great nan's birthday. Oh, how lovely. And he's a Pisces then. Exactly. Yeah. So Harrison. Yep. Oh. oh, Harrison, <laughs> if you're watching. And you're... <laughs> <laughs> That's baby language for I hope you're well and having a nice time. He will get that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been told never to do that again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Babies around the country are now going, no, yeah. again, again. Um, this is that lovely design. Remember, I showed you this on the card and on the bottle, which is lovely. I'm trying to get through all of these designs to show you um, on this blank background. So let's just turn that around. We've got Merry Christmas, which is lovely. Again, we've got the Christmas and Merry in uh, dark black, which will make, I think, Julie, mm. the glitter really stand out when you put the bling on. I've not mm -hmm. stopped. You see how much you're getting for your money mm. here? Let's turn this around. Oh, isn't that absolutely gorgeous here's another question could we put these on a candle that we're not going to burn a decorative one or an LED one of course you can Ooh. I would have reservations for that because how do you know who where the candle might end up and somebody might True. put it on so yes but and what I have got and I haven't done and I, I probably will now so thanks for that you know you can buy those ones that aren't real wax ones yes. and they just put the lights in the yep. pretend ones yes they would look good on there. Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Yeah, don't put them on. Um, don't put them on a real candle, but an LED one. Perfect. Yeah, they would look so uh, there's Father Christmas, Santa Claus, Saint Nick's, whatever you'd like to call it. And then, oh, drop one on four. Sorry about that. You've got the bells, which is brilliant. You've got three of them. And you've got three of the holly. And again, just turning that around there you go perfect uh, which is beautiful this is great value for money bearing in mind you're getting all of these designs and you are getting the glue and you're getting the anti-static pad as well making cards at Christmas time they're gonna make such a difference now if you do want the acetate on its own uh, without the glitter without the anti-static this is a good way of 
topping up actually uh, details at the bottom of your screen 11 pounds and 99 pence because that will get you some extra designs in there pop those both into your basket and then you can check out if you want to absolutely stunning aren't they 24.99 is your item number right we have got something rather spectacular and there's a lot of them coming up next to add to your basket uh, these are your sticker sheets um, these really are remarkable because when you take each sheet, uh, one of them, there was, I think it was about 170 elements on that particular sheet. Uh, when you take your sheets and you start to use the different elements, that one there, the green one that we're looking at, uh, those are individual borders, individual strips that you just, uh, maybe use a pokey tool, Julie, or something like that to take them off. Yeah, if you find that's easier, to be honest with you, I don't have any trouble, so, but yeah, yeah I know some yeah, people like with there. Yeah, fingernails, pokey tool, yeah. little craft knife, do be careful. Uh, really easy, they're self-adhesive. So we've got some gorgeous samples again with the bottles right here. Not only we have fun getting the bottles, do drink responsibly. <laughs> um, and then you'll have a lovely time just sticking them on because that's how effective these can be. Yeah, and you're saying about bottles, not only just the lead up to Christmas, because as we start, drink, like, you know, sort of have more bottles after Christmas, yes. again, you start saying, oh, that's a lovely bottle. Can I have that one? And I'll start yeah. doing that because you, you know, can be doing them after Christmas as well. So, Do you know what yeah. I'm thinking of as well? Maybe you've got mm. some little dessert bowls at Christmas yeah. time. Yeah. Stick a few of these stickers on the outside um, and then serve up those lovely desserts, which would be quite fun. That's, that's nice, yeah. <laughs> but, and one. obviously, like, can, and like you said, although it's like candle, like tea hold lighters. Yes, yeah, definitely. So, and on cards as well, not yes. just for decorative pieces. You could also use these on cards as well. It's absolutely fine to do that. So the different designs that you've got here, uh, we've got stars, we've got snowflakes, we've got flourishes, we've got uh, leaves in there, we've got bubbles. Won't be Christmas without some bubbles <laughs> um, and holly leaves in there. Absolutely stunning. Lovely colours as well. Ideal for Christmas and beyond. You get 12 sheets in total. £14.99, pence. Five five two nine eight three. Now, something else that's uh, new today. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some stamps for you. Oh, these are lovely. These are gorgeous. Uh, clear stamps for you so you can use these with your stamping blocks uh, you can use these with your stamping platforms as well cute images in there you've got the family of snow people you've got your robins in there the Christmas tree you've got your snow person because we don't say snowman or woman anymore oh. but who knows um, and then you've got your holly and your love hearts you've also got the post box as well and you've got the family of bears right there. Are they penguins? Yes. Oh, I love it. And you've got that sprig of holly as well. Uh, I've got some samples here to show you. They look gorgeous when you stamp these out. And maybe use some of the decorative stickers that we've got for you on the show to go around the edge. So you can really make your card stand out and give you that gorgeous Christmas effect. Look at that. Happy Christmas. Then I wonder, do you send cards anymore? Julie, send them in post. Yeah, yeah. I love that image. I love, I love the image of a post box. And you know what? Over the years, so then you, you know, the people that actually do have start to appreciate them and still got them out or, or keep them, don't yeah. they? Do you know what I mean? And some people frame them, so yeah. Some people recycle them and send them back to you, but just stick a piece of paper on the inside. I'm never. <laughs> 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 but, or is yeah. that just me? Oh, I'm sorry. You. No, but they look good in frame. Some of these cards. You yeah, know? they do. They do. Talking of frames, I mean, that's a gorgeous frame around the edge of yeah. that particular card oh, isn't it lovely when you stamp an image out you've then got the choice to color it in paint it uh, you could use these as backgrounds as well which is lovely um, but they're a staple aren't they for the Christmas period which is absolutely fabulous 745372 it's only 11 pounds and 99 pence and you're getting 13 stamps in total perfect right We've got some extra glitter for you now. If the glitter we've got isn't enough, let's have some more. 24 bags of glitter, uh, between 8 and 10 grams per pack. So there's plenty there. And a little glitter goes a long, long way. A little bit like sand when you come off your I holiday. I can actually show you if we want. Hang on, like some people aren't familiar what 8 to 10 grams like. So if we just open a bag. Oh, we'll see that in a minute. H hang on one moment. Oh, wait, Ooh, stop. Wait, Julie. Wait, Julie. We're so excited. <laughs> um, and then we've got, I just wanted to show everyone at home these, Julie, because these are fantastic. 12 strips of bling. 
They're approximately one meter each. You can cut into these, yep. and these are going to add that extra detail. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, now, are they self-adhesive, or do we need the glue? No, and that's what I was just going to say. Not only are they, because obviously they go. I put them on bottles on cards. Yep. Very popular with cake makers, so they're cake decorating. Oh. So then you wouldn't <laughs> you'd use what yeah. they ever use their their cake, or just literally. So f for cake decorating, textiles. So you can sew them on your textiles. How about making bracelets with them? Oh, so I meant that one as well. In fact, I didn't usually. Sometimes I wear them, but I did forget my bracelets. Um, my friend Charmaine, she makes the bracelets with them. She does a beautiful job of bracelets. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. yeah thanks these for reminding are, me. These are stunning. Uh, and they also make a great curtain for the caravan as well. <laughs> this is, do, you, do, you know do you remember what? those? Do you remember those? To stop <laughs> the flies coming in. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember them? Oh, oh, they, yeah, they still have them though, don't they? Because it's important. Gorgeous. That would be yeah. Yeah. And as you just said, like once you cut it, and I'll show you how easy it's to cut. You're actually going to get your 36 meters of 11.99. Yeah. I think it's superb value for money. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. One meter of each. So you've got purple, red, blue. Uh, you've got lovely gold in there, and green. All kinds of different colours. A whole rainbow of colours. That is superb value for money. I would. Do you know what? I would. I'd probably multi-buy on that. Just so you've got mm. it, because mm. I think when you get something like this home, you find it so gorgeous that you use it a lot, and then you run mm. out. Mm. Um, Eleven ninety-nine. It's going to be up to you, of course. Zero four six seven nine six is your item. No, I could play with that all day. Mm. Shall we have a look at how much glitter you get in those bags? This, so it's between yes. eight and ten grams. Yeah, and when I do actually use it on the acetates, it does go a long, long way. You hardly use any. But if I was to say how much, so we just pour that on. There you go. So that's between 8 and 10 grams that's what, of that yeah, white glitter. That if you've just tuned in, it's white glitter. Beautiful. Look at that. And that's what I use for my um, snowman, Father Christmas oh, beards. Look at the spark. I can see the sparkle from Ooh, here. Oh, you want to do um, that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Right. Um, if you've got any questions about anything, about applica uh, applications of glitter to certain surfaces, then please do email in. We have Julie with us. And if you've got anything you want to show us, maybe you've blinged something up. In fact, go and find something in your home hmm. that you have blinged up that looks absolutely sparkly and beautiful. We'd like to see it. Take a picture and send it in. It's studio at hochanda.com. I mean, look at the, some of the items we've made here with that 2020 with that glitter on. Oh, aren't they lovely? And like you say, mm. because they're translucent with those lights in the background as well, it really illuminates, doesn't it? And adds to that sparkle that's already there. Exactly that. Yeah. Lovely. Nothing. Right, Julie, mm. what are we going to have a look at first? Okay, so shall I just show you the simplicity of actually applying the glue and the glitter Please. to the acetates? So, and then just to recap, this is the one that I've actually done on this oh, bottle wow. here. As we were saying earlier, you get three on a sheet. So it's great that this particular uh, bottle, I was going to say, it is a whiskey bottle. <laughs> Hi, Dad. It's like this. Is, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but of course, it's, it can go on your labels as well. So, doesn't matter which side. We're going to glue and glitter on one side. Yep. The glue will then dry crystal clear. Yep. So you can leave it overnight for, say, you know, so just sort of rather than put a time on it, because it's going to be dependent how warm it is in your room. And then when you turn it over, all the beautiful, the, the, the uh, white blue will dry crystal clear and then all the colours will come through. Do you need certain scissors to cut out? Can you no. use a craft knife, for example? No, nice. You, you can. So I know people like to use their craft knife, um, craft knife but uh, big scissors because also when I cut one out just to show you yeah. how you don't have to be intricate because how you pointed out earlier, Janice, that you don't see the outside, you see. No, so you don't, another you're way. Right. Like so you don't have to get exactly our, just beyond no, the, the, the black No, if you're a precision lines. cutter, then, you know, you can be. And if you're not, because don't forget, children are going to want to have a go at this as yeah. well. So th that's so you don't have to worry too much on that one. There you go. So again, with the Merry Christmas, it glued and glittered. And we were saying just stick to that side on that side there. Okay. Okie dokie. So the bit you want to know, always use your anti-static pad. And once I've applied the glue and then the glitter, I'm going to show why it was important. So you can just do the one that you're working on. Of course, you could cut one of them individually out to start with. Or as a safety, just do the whole sheet because it won't hurt if you have to go back after it later. I've got a question about the anti-static bag. Yes, please. Um, does it lose its anti-staticness? Yeah, it will do over a period it? of okay. time. 
Okay. Yeah. I mean, I know quite, you know, my customers that have actually run it, I know how much they're working hard with it and doing. Yeah. And uh, so, yes, after a period of time, but it does go a long, long way. Yeah. Great. Yeah, a long, long way. I'm talking literally... Um, you know, a customer said recently, I need one. You know, I've had it two years. Ooh. I'm sort of, it does do it. It's obviously yeah. depending on how much you use it. But yes, it's not something you're just going to use it a few times. Okay. It, a little thing to remember, and it's actually on the instruction sheet you kind of point, pointed out earlier. You do the lightest colour glitter last. Oh, why? Because the darker colours would show through. Ah. Now, that wouldn't matter because, um, as you know, on the uh, Ho Chandra website, I do like cats and animals and things like that. So if it's an animal, it wouldn't matter because that gives a nice effect. Okay. But on the snowman, uh, Father Christmas beers, when you want it that crystal clear white, and actually on that next, I'm um, just looking at it now, reminding me. So when you want white and you don't want any colours through, do white last. Okay. Yeah. But that's why, although they're not like instructions, they're little, just little reminders perfect for you it doesn't matter which bit you do first so yes I am actually going over the black so you've got because it's on the back of course and you don't need you see the beauty of this glue nice easy squeezy plastic and I think you'll especially if you're doing it for a while you don't want to sort you know so just apply it really easy and you need very little and it flows beautifully that's when I then decided to take it over to the glitter pot. These would be nice, actually. You could make decorations for your Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I'm going to sprinkle that on, because I've used the anti-static pad, see how easy now all that glitter just comes off. Perfect. Had I not used the anti-static pad, the static would have still wanted to retain onto the acetate and it would stop me then going on to my next colour. Got you. And that colour comes in the kit. That yes. Gold, yeah, that's like an orange that's gold, nice, isn't, isn't it? it? In fact, just... And that is the beauty. I could leave that there, come back to it later. Yep. Uh, or I can just carry the, the whole thing. I, what I'm saying is I don't have to wait uh, to wait to do my next colour. Okay. So although this, this is going to be the same colour, what I want to show you is because it becomes the gorgeous... But messy side so all colors won't will all blend and look messy on this side although it's a gorgeous mess but it will be perfection on the other side okay so and then I can just do the nice so over the black lines because that seems strange when you first do it just like really am I doing this right but just keep you reminding yourself this is actually on the back and how much glue do you need to use yeah exactly no no more than that yeah now we've had an email in from, is it Soraya? I hope I've pronounced your name right. Um, and she wants to say hello to Julie. Oh, She's hi. used the amazing um, glitters on, men, on several projects and they are the purest quality and her basket will be full by the Brilliant. end of the show. So <laughs> thank, thank you. you yeah, thank in. you. Thank you, Soraya. It is because the micro finest that makes a... a Get that like, yeah, little that, glitter on it. It's, that's a good point to make. You know, there's glitter and then there's glitter. Yes. And the finer the glitter, I think the better the detail. Definitely. So again, I'm just going to go all over that bit, all over the black. And those anti static uh, pads as well are absolutely perfect. Um, because glitter can stick, can't it? Can yeah. Stick. I'm sure it'd be a, a detective's uh, <laughs> dream <laughs> if crimes were committed with <laughs> yeah, glitter. glitter. Because they'd, they'd lead them straight Wouldn't it just to the person. Exactly. So you can see how little amount that is actually on there. I don't suggest you lift it up, but I have just to show you. If, if I have, because I appreciate I look, do a lot of like classes and things. I've seen people as if they, well, if not locked in the strip, it's like, no, start again. Do not let that glue drip. Right. Yeah, and this is, as I say, it's opportunity. It's nice coming on the show today because we only got told that we won't be at the NEC and Exeter next week. Oh. So I'm going to miss all my valid, like customers that oh. I've seen for years and years. So it's, it's, it's a difficult time at the moment. So hi, basically. Cope. This is my chance of coming on a and say hi, and I'm going to miss you all. Oh. Well, if you want to say hi to our lovely Julie, then email him. She'd love to hear. You. Yes, please. So I'm going to again once sprinkle. Now see what I'm doing, this is the bit where people can't get their head around sometimes, is actually put the 
one colour on top of the other. Yeah. It's fine. So that will then tip off. Have a look at that. And I will carry on with all the other colours. And it's not until it's completely dry. So again, it's quite exciting for adults and the children because you say, wait. And then when they turn it over, completely dry, all the colours come oh. shining through. And you've also got that black detail in there as well. We're not losing That's that That's what detail. shows, yeah, because yeah. you have to turn it over. If you look at it the next day and think, oh no, where's the black? And it's not too turn it over. And you think, oh, yeah. silly me, of course, I forgot to turn it over. So I can do the little red berries and it's just we know colouring is just a nice relaxing thing to do isn't it it's satisfying as well because it's yeah. so instant yeah I think gift tags they make fantastic got gift nice tags. gift tags to show you as yeah. well if we get time in the show because yeah the gift tags was yeah Sorry. and if you wanted to when we stick the acetate mm -hmm. to bottles mm -hmm. or MDF we mm -hmm. we if you excuse the pun mm -hmm. we clearly want it to dry clear exactly um, what <laughs> glue would we use this same glue same glue same glue Brilliant. and you get again it's going to go a long way because you don't need much don't yeah. start you know piling it on just limit it because it's extra industrial strength glue great so again fill in this and remember, Side. in in this particular deal, you get twelve designer acetate sheets, and you get six glitters, and you also get the glue, which you can stick the glitter on with, and also stick the acetate onto your projects with, and you also get the anti-static bag. All of that for twelve uh, for twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. And on some of the sheets, you've got the image, which is on repeat, uh, which is fabulous. So you've got three of the Father Christmas, you've got three of the Holly. Um, leaves with the ribbon you've got three of the bells one that uh, Julie is doing now you've got that lovely uh, scene of the trees you've also got baubles which are fantastic you could even cut those baubles out and hang them on your Christmas tree mm. see I forgot to do a leaf and that's like anything as I say you could have left it come back you could have gone out come back done something and that glitter will come off so you can you know do it in different parts if you wanted to that and then I've used in the light colour last. If you did forget, because in keenish you grab that snowman or that fo that's not anything with white on. Yes. And you put the white on, and you're like, oh no, Julie. And it was in the instructions she told me. It's still rectified because basically then you would have to leave it alone, put it to a side, yeah, till it's completely dry. And then the next day you can apply your colours. So don't despair, just put it aside, but don't put any other colours on top. Got you, got you. I mean, you can use alcohol markers to paint on the, the back of the acetate. You Glass don't paints. Have, yeah, you don't have to just use the glitters that it comes with. And I've got a nice little tip and technique. If you, one of these designs, when it's something a bit in, more intricate and you're thinking, oh no, perhaps I don't want to be so... Uh, patient with that I'm going to show you how easy it is just to use one color glitter silver is my preference yeah. and had to use it with your uh, peel off marker pens as well Ooh. what's the time <laughs> I always go so quick on this show it time so let me just fly. put this bit on because people at home might start asking yes yeah, that's all very good Julie but how does it get on the glass <laughs> yeah. so I want to just put that last bit of color just to remind you light is color last Oops, and I've still forgot one bit, but that doesn't matter. Once again, I can just place that on. And would you always decant your glitter into pots? Yeah, I've got into that routine now. Yeah. It's just I find it a lot easier and neater to keep it that way. Yeah. And also the excess glitter just goes straight back in. That's it, more job cute. done. Because so, it's so extra fine, it goes a long way. Exactly that. So I'm just going to leave that to the side and let that one dry. Okay. So when we're applying it to our glass, so one I did earlier, and I've actually sellotape it on because it's going to go around a few curves. If it's flat, it's fine. But you're going to get different shaped bottles, different curvatures. So just use a bit of sellotape, which I did on that one, and then just hold it down. If you've got any residue, which I can slightly see on that one, just get a, like a, a wet one and just take the residue. Excuse you me. could use washi tape, I guess. I haven't never used that, but if ah, that you're thinking... I if, wonder. 
Yeah, I, wonder. I mean, even with a bit of residue, to be honest with you, wet one, just wipe it off, yeah. gone. Yeah. So, but I do hold it down with a bit of tape when I go yeah. around curvatures. Okay. An example of that as well. So, if you've got, this isn't, this isn't too bad to hold flat, but something like that with a bit too, uh, triangles put together will allow you to keep it flat. Oh, good idea. Cutting out, you mentioned earlier, Janice, that you're right, how do you need, what sort of scissors? I've got friends that use the scan and cut as well. I just go for my big scissors. One, I can always find me big scissors. <laughs> I, li I like what you've placed that bottle on. I'm just thinking that would be a good idea. Two triangles, make, yeah. Yeah, to make a little um, wine stand at Christmas. Oh, or nice. Time, yeah. And then glitter it. Yay. <laughs> Probably, probably won't remain there for a long time, but it looks nice <laughs> to present it in. So again, so just cutting round. Acetate's again really nice and easy to cut through. And then I'm just going to... And on a sheet like that, mm -hmm. you'll have some of the acetate left over that you could use for other projects. You could use your beautiful sticker peel-offs that we got. Yeah. Or your stamps. Put them on and your stamps, if exactly. You stamps, yeah. So you've got that extra acetate to make your own. So that's all you need. Again, so apply in the same glue that we use the glue and glitter. Don't need to, you know, heavily, heavily apply in. Just a little bit. Maybe even a little bit more down the sides. I'm like so. Place it on. See, if it was flat, I could just leave that. Because it's not, where's my little bit of tape? And because the glitter is on the side where you're placing the glue, mm -hmm. because it's so fine, it's not going to lift it away from the bottle. And that's the advantage of having ultra-fine glitter. Mm -hmm. So I can leave that. You see what I mean by just adding the tape, holding it down till it dries, lifting the tape, perfect. And that will go all round holding if you lift it, it hasn't stuck because you didn't put a little bit of glue there just put another little bit more glue down and then leave it again so just yeah. you know if you miss it just go back on there because like there i'm thinking oh didn't see i was doing that i'm inclined to just leave that now and then put it on another time so it's entirely up to you perfect what a great way of upcycling your bottles um upcycling uh, maybe some of your jars as well and, and placing them onto your MDF projects and also making cards as well. Now we do have some more glitter for you, a whole array of colours at a great price as well. 19 99 24 bags of glitter, approximately between 8 and 10 grams in each bag. And we've got some great colours as well for you. Lots and lots of sparkle in that. Wow, look at that. It's absolutely stunning, doesn't it? So you've got your blues in there to be using with your... Uh, maybe water scenes, Christmas colours in there as well, summer colours. Glitter isn't just for Christmas. Any time of year when you want to add that bit of bling or add that sparkle. I mean, that. look how that's capturing the lights. Even that looks great, doesn't it? 19.99 though, it's a lot of glitter for you. 887.10 fine. And it's ultra fine as well. Ultra fine glitter, which makes all the difference. It really, really does. And if you are making those cards and you're using or buying more acetate, then these glitters are going to be absolutely beautiful for you, giving you that extra bling to your card when you need it. Uh, details now are changing because we have another set of acetate for you. It's the same kit, you get your glitter, you get your glue, and you get your anti-static bag, but we've got different designs in this one. So we've got some lovely baubles there, and Little Angel, $24.99. Uh, for all of these, we've got your holly in there, which looks gorgeous. So you've got your holly and your love hearts, which is fabulous. We've got the penguins in there. Oh, look at that. You could use diff it's a whole football team whole football team uh, of penguins which is a good idea to give a card to somebody with football colours on uh, you've got your snow people family so your snowman snow woman uh, snow daughter babies the snow family which is there which is gorgeous and you've also got more penguins so you've got a little cluster of penguins I'm not sure what a group of penguins is called I did know but now I've forgotten uh, a waddle a hoddle a group a herd we'll find that out for you so you've got your little penguins there 
Um, and then you've got your post box and your door. Look how lovely they look when they add the glitter to them. You do get your glitters and you do get your anti-static bag and your glue. Look at the robin. Oh, a group of penguins on the water is called a raft. A raft of penguins and uh, on land they're called a waddle. Oh look, look at the bears, look at the bears. What's a, what's a group of bears called? Not a pack of bears. Oh, I don't know. It's not a set, they're badgers. Oh, it's called a fluff or a sleuth. Oh, there you go. A sloth, a sloth of bears. Oh, or a sleuth. Oh, it's a bit, something a bit different. Um, oh, look, is this a favourite? Is, is this a, this is a favourite. Um, there's your penguin. No, not your penguin. That's your snowman. Uh, right, 258110. Remember, you also get your glitters in that kit and your glue as well. Uh, I'll leave those there for now, actually. Now, we've been very busy for the bling. I knew we would be. I knew we would be. Almost a third of the stock has gone. When you get these home... Shall I... Oh, I'll get... Do you want me to move over? I'm moving over. I'm moving. Let's move that over as well. There you go. Can I can I lift this back, please? Okay. Thank you very much. Because it's really nice when we get that and just lean it over. Look at that. You get approximately uh, a meter of each, and you get twelve different colours. Aren't they spectacular? That would make a great curtain for the caravan, <laughs> uh, but more bling for your cards. It really would. Um, you could actually make a bracelet out of that if you get some faux leather and put that all the way around the edge that would be really nice because you, you can actually cut in the little squares in between that's where you can get an intricate pattern yeah oh yeah you can uh, so all of this you can cut up if you want to this is great value for money it's only 11.99 and you get 12 strips i'm being told we are getting very very busy for this now and even, don't miss out and can i show you how easy it is to cut uh yeah oh go on then Julie, just quick. <laughs> thank you yes so as we said if you want to make it into 36 meters and you want to use it as a small just look the tip there and that will literally look just cut through and on the bottles, I use it singly and as two, so it just cuts really easy. Oh, very easy. So you can have them individually and you can have them in patterns as well. Oh, we're busy. 11.99046796. If you give us a call or head to the website, you can pop yours into the basket and make sure you don't miss out. Now, if you are on the website, you can go and have a look at our seven-day savers. Or you can give us a call. Our call centre will take you through them. Uh, this is the last day you can get these deals. They will change tomorrow. We've got phone pads for you. My word, guess how many? 8,800 pads in total. That's a lot of lifting. When I say that, you know, lifting up of your designs. Wow, 8,800. I wonder how long it will take you to use all of those up. Saving £20, £9.99. Uh, next up... We've got a wood colour. Oh, this is fabulous. Now, there's around about 590 pieces. And you, can, oh my goodness, for your mixed media, for your card making, uh, those pegs that you've got there, we've got buttons, we've got pegs in there. Pegs like that would be great for your journaling books or for your little signs. We've also got the pegs that look like the peg dolls that you used to make when you were at school. Um, we've, got, oh, we've got all kinds, a plethora of wood for you to build and create your own designs. It's only $13.99. That is going to be a great gift. Uh, 722325 is your item number, saving £7 on that deal, but the price will be going up tomorrow morning. At, is it 8 o'clock when we look? Yes, 8 o'clock. Uh, right, back with Bling, back with Julie. Um, if you want to pop your acetate designs along with the glitter and the glue and the acetate bag into your basket, it's well worth doing so right now because we're getting busy. We always are. At this time in the show, 503852. You've seen some demonstrations and you've seen just how easy these are to use. Easy to turn into beautiful cards at Christmas time. Maybe you're stuck for some inspiration. Let these become your inspiration. Not just on cards, you could use these on your MDF projects. You could also use them on bottles as well. And these look absolutely fantastic, especially when you add some lights to them. Um, this is beautiful. Let me just show you a card that will go along alongside that so you can see there use them on glass and use them on card making as well I think those two look fabulous together 24.99 503 852 is your item number
Ah, oh, um, actually, I was thinking, you know the mirrors that you used to get? We used to, we used to get them in Skegge, in Skegness, and they had almost like glitter on them. You could take some of these designs with the glitter and maybe place them on a mirror. I wonder what that would look like. Give it a go. Give it a try. You're getting enough designs to experiment as well. 2499503852 is your item number. Right, let's head back to Julie. What are we going to have a look at now? Okay, a lot of questions sometimes people say to me, but how do I actually apply the glitter to the glass? One simple step. Literally just apply it with the glue. I can just make it smooth there with my finger. Go all the way around if I want for demo purposes. Just make this quick because I, I realise there's so much more I still want to show Ooh, you. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to stick to that bit and then apply the glitter. As you see, I didn't actually use the anti-static bag so much this time because I'm not only putting the one colour on. So when that's thoroughly dry, I can just wipe that off wow, as well. Wow, so that adheres really well, that, doesn't isn't it? Isn't that how strong and so like that solid sort of, con you know, the glitter inside of that? That's so when great that coverage. Is, it is, exactly, that was the word I was using, looking for the good coverage there. So that will hold fire and stay onto there. And then the bling that we cut, we can then decide, because it make, the bling makes it nice borders. Yeah. Rather than the just sort of that uneven finish, decide whether we're going to actually put a two or a one, see, or all three. That's we're, your... we're half the stock of the bling gone, Julie. I'm not surprised. But yeah, we've been it's, really you know, busy for that. Yeah, yeah. So when you're applying that one, as I say, cake decorating looks good on the on the cakes as well for your with your bling. Jewelry making, you yep. could add it to fabric. Fabric looks jackets, great. Jackets, put a bit of bling on a jacket, denim yeah. jacket or something across the top of the pockets. Put them on bags, yeah. they're just so versatile. And that would just sit nicely because the glue is strong enough now. Now I could probably, if I was at home, I'd probably I'd, uh, just go through the whole lot as well. So, I, But you could just do one bit in time, however yeah. you feel comfortable with. But I just wanted to show you that's how you apply. Okay. Just before I get on to my next bottle, because it's quick and easy to show, and you mentioned when you had this design for the candles, you might look at it and think, Do you know what? No, that's not me. It's too many colours. I just want to keep it simple. Simple like the next one I'm going to show you. But I actually love the intricate detail. It's satisfying to do all those different colours. But you could just put the silver glitter on. That works the easiest. Silver gives the better effect. Allow it to dry. And then get some permanent markers. And then just colour in. And the I, glitter. I Do you know what? I like the look of it without the colours. It looks, it looks yeah, lovely. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. But this is a great that's, idea. That's going to be your choice, yeah, with all with that. And you can see now what happens is the glitter comes through. And what's great about it is the fact that, yes, you're getting glitters with the acetates. However, um, you might have favourite colours you want to use or colours that will accompany decorations in your car or something. A car? What am I on about? house yes um i don't live in a car by the way if anyone <laughs> um that accompany your decorations in your house so you can use the colors that you want but it looks like it's the glitter that's the yeah. color oh, so, you see, so for that for simplicity it's great for coloring in so i did want to try and get that in on the show for that. and do you know what that's a great idea for younger members of the family as well you could glitter it up and then you could hand it over to them and they yeah. could color it in i'm thinking you, now you're talking sort of the four or five year olds will yeah. actually be a place with that i'd be able to cut it out and put it on the glass and whatever so yeah and, and once they add the pen and it starts to sparkle um, yes it, it'll just be it, they'll think it's magic yeah we it's like fantastic. that don't we simple yeah. nice gorgeous yeah. on that one so i'm glad i got a chance to just show you that one Okay, let's move on to another design. Oh, I like this that. is yes. This is uh, does that show up on the white? It does all the black. I can put the lights on there. So Aww. we've got the Merry Christmas and the lovely nativity. Oh, isn't that lovely? And this is where you're just going to simply use your white glitter. And it's not so much the fact that you're putting that particular image on an alcohol bottle. It's the fact that you're putting that image just on a. a decorative um, bottle which is lovely I think it's absolutely gorgeous 
Um, can I just remind people about the strips of bling? Oh, we're approaching limited, everyone. We're approaching limited. If this is the first time you've seen them, this is what has been very, very busy uh, throughout the show. Let me just show you these. You can cut into these, you can chop into these, you can cut them up very, very easily. Um, they are beautiful. Let me just get those in the right way for you. There you go. It's just I like just putting them on my arm there and just <laughs> drifting them through because they just feel so wonderful. Limited stock approaching. Uh, 11.990.46796 is your item number. Love those. Right, back to Julie. Okay, so another the bottle I was just showing you there with the nativity. So we're actually gluing glitter again on just one side this time. You can't have the choice because you've got your writing. So I would now to achieve that all I've done is gone all over and put the iridescent white glitter on so when you're using larger areas same applies whether you're doing even smaller small areas too don't go flooding or using too much keep it controlled you can go up to the black line and over if you want it doesn't matter because it's not going to show okay. but you're going to go all over your writing so you could sort of save on the and not go up onto those you could go round, or if you went on the top, it wouldn't matter because it's not going to show. And even though it's a larger image and you're going to mm -hmm. cover it in glitter, that glitter goes a long way because it. it's so fine. I'm going to apply that. So I appreciate this is just for demo. I would do the whole lot. Okay, I just wanted to appreciate you don't have to go on it and you go over the writing. Yeah. <laughs> and when we cut, so that one's glued and glittered, dried, cut it out. I can see why that white glitter is your favourite. <laughs> yeah. And you do get that included with your six glitters for 24 99 along with your acetates, which includes this particular design as well, 503852. Got a whole plethora of designs for you. You get 12 sheets. And then you also get your glitters, the glue, and the anti-static bag as well. So lots of different designs for you to work with. Um, I'm afraid the bling is now limited stock. Oh, my goodness, we're down to single figures. If you want to get hold of this, you can multi-buy. Get in quickly. 11 .99. Oh, it's so, so gorgeous. And, yes, it would make some nice. Hello. I might use these later for the if they're still here for the uh, deal wheel we could open the show yeah hello <laughs> yes <laughs> oh they're gorgeous <laughs> oh we're technically sold out sorry everyone technically sold out so do check out your baskets you could go back to <laughs> <laughs> i don't even think i was looking at the right camera then <laughs> Those awkward moments when they leave you in shop, do, do they? Do, the, do, <laughs> do it on my own, do it on purpose, don't you? <laughs> so with this one there, so again I'm going to put that one on that. Sit on that bottle. Put it sitting on there. Put it round. I'm just looking at that, it looks great on the bottle, but also if you had some card yep. and use that as a template, yep. you could have that actually standing up as a card. Oh you know, like yeah, a three, three part, and you could actually just like a love it because there's nothing stopping you, sort of bending it. Yeah, and getting some little LED tea lights behind there. Look at that! That's how easy. That's what you're talking about, isn't it? Yeah, and putting it on there as well, and then having Always some little tea lights behind there, and that's a little nativity. So you are you're you going for another Christmas decoration, aren't yeah. you, on that one? In your window at Christmas time. Or oh, cutting them gorgeous. individually into three as well and doing that sort of thing as well. But yeah, already we started to... Yeah, just turn it... There you go. Yeah, that would be lovely. And then you could put a tea light behind that. Yeah. Isn't and not even lovely? put it on your bottle. Yeah. Yeah, for that nice window effect. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? We really like that. Really and it's just to, not, yeah, to show you how nicely that will crease and you that gives you that That's great. ability to do that. If you're placing it onto your bottle again what you do you put all the glue on and this one will just hold it down once I put the glue on and you can put a little bit of sellotape to hold it down perfect oh isn't this great what a lovely project for you to start when you get your kit home and also with younger members of the family as well when you're working with them especially the effect 
of already putting the um, the glitter on and then getting the children to use their marker pens and then when they start to colour in especially using the white glitter it all starts to sparkle through so it'd be like a magic pen uh, you've got 12 acetate sheets you've got various designs and on some of the sheets you've got a repeat of that design as well so you've got your father christmas here now we have put some glitter on these to show you what they look like but when you get your father christmas home this is what it will look like just there so you've got the image of Santa Claus and on something like this, if I just take that and then turn that around, this one, it doesn't matter which way. It's just the eyes, isn't it? It's looking left or it's looking right. Just like the action men used to do. The eyes used to go from right to left. Oh, I always wanted an action man when I was a child, but never got one. Uh, so I had to borrow my brothers instead. Uh, 503 852 is your item number. You're also getting the correct glue, so the right glue, which is perfect glue to use. Not only to put the glitter on, but also to attach your acetate to glass. And you've also got those lovely Christmas-style colour glitters you can see there. And you've got your anti-static bag as well. It's going to last you for quite some time, I would say. Uh, so it's a great project kit to get delivered directly to your door. 503 852. Right, I think we're heading back to Julie now for some more demonstrations. Yeah, so another, uh, quick little tips. When you're using your peel off stickers, we've seen that you can still cut the children love it. Oh no, no, colour them in. Then you can change all your different colours. Okay. So you can stick them on where I've got my gap in my bottle there, I want to see it would be normally stuck down. Then they peel off lovely. And then you've got your different colours, you see. So you can multicolour those all on. And it's instant, isn't it? Exactly. Again, using, so you can use your alcohol markers on, right, yes. on, on, on any yeah. of them? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Peel them off, stick them on. So that will give that lovely effect I get once again with the glass showing through. I would also cut this out, you say, with your spare gaps of um, acetate, peel them off, cut them around, make your tags. Yeah. I love those peel-offs, they're so handy. And they're also handy if you're going for the stamps that we've got for you on the show. Um, these have been really busy, Julie. Uh, beautiful designs, lovely whimsical designs in here. So you've got the Snow family there, you've got the lovely Robin family, you've got the bears as well, you've got the letterbox, uh, the sprig, the baubles, the love heart. And when you stamp these out and start to make cards, you can see just how beautiful these are. Something different, something whimsical, something very cute at Christmas time. You know what? It doesn't have to be just for Christmas with the penguins. You could use those all year round, really. Same goes for the post box. That doesn't have to be just at Christmas. I know it's got a, a bit of snow on the top, but you can adapt that uh, with the different techniques that you use for crafting. Beautiful stamps. And with the acetate, you might have a bit of space left once you've cut out, if you're going for the acetate, um, to actually stamp onto. What ink would you use? Stays on, I Stays do. on. Stays on. Perfect. Busy for the stamps then. 11 75 is your item It number. was actually customer's request because I, I came up with the acetates first, but it was the stampers that said, but Julie, I love stamping. Oh, Can well, I have the stamp rage? So, yes. Yes. And did you design them? Yes. Did you? I don't know why that sounded like that's I'm so thanks, surprised. Thanks. <laughs> I'm like, oh, did Julie. you? Oh, Julie. Um, of course you designed them. Uh, and I'm not surprised because you are very, very talented. And also a grandma twice over oh, this year. Me. Oh. And congratulations once again. We can't Thank say it enough, you. can we? Uh, right, we've got four minutes left on the show. Okay. I'd like to just cover the simplicity also again because as I say, 2000 years special year. It's just got a nice figure, hasn't it, mm. actually? So that's why. So use this as labels, put it on your bottles. But because they're black, do it again, once again, just do it on the side that that's on. Now, now I think about turning over. Yeah. But I just want you to bring them out because you're just going to colour and follow your line to put oh see forgot me anti-static pad oh, shall see? i tell you what's going to happen now go if on. i carried on i'll show you go on show us disaster because not what happened now all the glitter 
is all going to stick on there. And that's why having an anti-static like, oh, bag no. so, is handy. Yes. <laughs> and that was a demo that we meant to do, really. <laughs> yeah. Um, you don't have to use these for 2020. You could chop them into two if someone's birthday and oh, they're yeah. 20. Or it's a 20th anniversary. Oh, yeah. See, yes. Or they're 202, which I doubt will happen. <laughs> if you're a tortoise, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Do they so, live to yeah. 202? I don't know. I don't they live, even they live for a long time. Did, I thought 100, but maybe you're right. Yeah, no, I don't think they do live to 202. No. <laughs> I wonder if there's any animal that lives to 202. Wow. Well, we will one day, won't we? My, my nan lived to 105. Did she? Yeah, oh, and that was when, and say Hugo was, no, Harrison, this is what's happening in the family, we're all getting our Hugos and Harrisons mixed up now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys. It's the... <laughs> He was born on my, Harrison was born on my nan's birthday and nan lived to 105. Wow. And wouldn't she be pleased when she's looking down in heaven and she saying... She would. What, should, what was your nan's name or what is your nan's Dorothy. name? Dorothy. What yeah, Dorothy. Yeah, Dorothy would be really proud of my daughter Amber Lee. Yeah, she certainly would. With Kirk having Harrison. It's Aww. all good. Well, maybe you could make a card for Harrison when he's two. Yep. You could cut out the two. He'd be and making his 20. own cards by then. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, if you see, he, he, obviously I'm babysitting, like, I'm going to babysit, he's like looking at me now. Like, are you watching? Paying attention? Because, you know. <laughs> oh, lovely. So that's what I just wanted you to appreciate when you pick it up and think it, oh, hang on, how do I apply the glitter? Some things look straightforward, but that's exactly what I've done, just gone over the yeah. top of that one. Perfect. And that would, again, look nice with the frame, with pictures for Christmas, with Hugo and Harrison, with the 2000 and... 20 on it yeah now i'm just I'm, i'm wondering if i've got a sample of the um oh hello so i'm rummaging through my rummaging what what a word rummaging <laughs> through uh, not rummaging through my drawers rummaging <laughs> through my samples i'm just wondering if i've got a 2020 sample here to show you yeah. um oh there is a bottle where's the bottle it had this snowman Did I just on look at it? right in front of oh, you this one? yeah that's it ah. i just put the snowman oh, yes. on and I just wanted to show you because if I turn that around, you can see the black's on one side, but we've gone over that. Yeah. So that's why uh, it colours over. Now we've only got a minute left on the show. Uh huh. I don't know what I don't know why they've just told me that. <laughs> <laughs> I just it just goes so quick. Well, again. I know we've only got a minute left. But I'm so it was more you. like a statement. <laughs> <laughs> was it? <laughs> So just to, if you, you know, glue the glitter one side, glue dry crystal there, turn it over, and then just the simplicity of oh. cutting it out. And then uh, we've had a question: when mm -hmm. we put these onto the bottle, would we be able to wash the bottle? Or is it waterproof? I'm going to say just a nice wipe over. I'm not yeah. going to say sort of you know dish, definitely different dishwasher, yeah. definitely yeah. heavily no, on water and scrubbing. But just a nice. Of course, you're going to need to at some time, uh, some point in time, <laughs> just to right. give it a wipe over. But definitely yes. Julie, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank we've you. only got 15 seconds now. Uh, and I like the uh, way you've already got We're being counted you. out. So <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks, Janice. Hopefully work with you again soon. And uh, we'll see you in a few moments' time because we've got more coming up for you on Ho Chanda. Right, La Blanche One Day Special is coming up next. Don't miss that. It's a fantastic show. Uh, Dewey Jumbo at five, and then Stamperia One Day Special launches at six. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda.
Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I designed the brand myself to make sure that every product that comes out to you is the best quality, has an individual design and also is versatile. I like everything to match, so if you've got a product from the very beginning of the John Next Door brand, it will match with something that you buy right up to the minute. Everything working together, which makes things more versatile and easier for everyone. I really hope you can join me on the Chanda and continue your crafting journey with me and we can see all the new ideas, tips and techniques that we can do together. So don't miss the John Next Door and Craft 2 shows on the Chanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing and our favourite being our crafters carry on. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Travel around the world in 80 days. From London to Paris. From steam train to hot air balloon. How else do you get images? of this quality, to wrap around jars, to light up bottles, to make garden decor. And as quick as a flash, you can take them off and do them all over again. £17.99 are going to get you 18 of these foils in total. Shrink foils that will shrink to any form, any size. And literally, it's a case of dipping them in hot water. That was like a magic trick then, I'm loving that. Uh, so, what, a, what an introduction. That's going to give my CV. Uh, but what you've got there, I'll pre-record that tonight. But on a serious note, 
already. Let me get the figures out of the way for you. Three quarters of the stock of your one-day special has already gone. This is our last live hour. Now, I know what you're doing already. You think, ah, yeah, yeah, let the boy talk, because they're back again tomorrow night. They're back again, and the band's got another one-day special tomorrow night, and it'll all be on there, so I'll be able to find it again. But it won't. It is a brand new one day special tomorrow. So for the time being, forget about tomorrow night's one day special because it's a time limited offer. That is what a one, well, one day special does for you. The price will go back up to £36.99. You will not get the £19 saving for those 18 foils at £17.99. It will curve to any single form. You get large and you get small, from the smallest of jars to the biggest of bottles. Every one is going to be perfect in line. Every single one. Not one of them is going to be at an angle. Not one of them will go to waste. You can use every single bit. As we said before, around jars, bottles, wine glasses. Literally, you can go to town. Plastic containers, old tin cans. Now, the best thing about it, you know the tin cans that we all know and love, that we sort of recycle and we don't, we don't know what to do with? It will form to every single groove. That is the quality that we're talking about when we talk about shrink plastics. 929-096 is your item number. But look at the detail. That is washable. It is usable. And how beautiful does it look to have a set of six that look to this quality? And let me show you how easy this is to do. And I'm not alone. We have the master, as it were, the mistress of them all, of the shrink plastic world. Oh, you can't go wrong. What she can't do, you, you can see what she could do. She's a, she's a living legend in my eyes. I look forward to do these shows time and time again. Um, please be upstanding if you can. It is like having royalty. It's like having Mary Berry of the crafting world here. It is of the Germany world. Oh, I wouldn't. Um, I don't know if you have Mary Berry in Germany. I don't know. I'll have to ask. Uh, uh, Blanche is here. How are you, my love? <laughs> Everything is good. I'm <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Thank you. Everything is okay. Yes, I show it now. It's very easy. You get 18 of the wonderful shrink sleeves. You get 80 pieces, nine in the larger size and nine in the smaller size. Three different designs for each uh, size. It means. Uh, Nine large, nine for the taller glasses. It means you can cover this size of glass, this, this taller glass, and you can cover the larger one like the bottles here, or large one like this here. Everything you normally throw away, every jar you normally throw away, you can upcycle now with these shrink sleeves. And look, it costs you less than a pound. And you only need a pot with boiling water, and I think half a minute, okay. that's all. And I will show you how it works. So I have I, a, I, I've got a question. Yes. I've got a question straight away before we go. Because it might be quite daunting to have a large pot of boiling water in front of you. Is there any other methods that we can use to make them shrink? Yes, sure. If we don't have a pot y big yes, enough? Yes, yes. You, uh, you need uh, heat. You need heat. You can do this. i show this. You can do this with a, with a heat tool. I will show you. Look here. Oh, so you can do it with a heat gun? Yes, with a heat gun, if you like. It's the same. Okay. Yes. And, uh, but I prefer hot water. And if you have only a small pot with hot water, you can do it with a small pot too. You, you dip like here, you hold this now, you dip it into the water. If you have a small pot, you dip it like this, and then you turn it directly. Thank you, dear. It's no, no problem. Makes sense. And you can dip it like this too if you like. There's no problem. Okay. Uh, because of this, uh, take, t uh, take a small pot with hot water and that's all. That's no, not a problem. Uh, okay. You hold, normally you hold the shrink sleeve and the glass with your hands and dip it into the hot water. And now you turn it and put it in the hot water, how far you can or how deep you can, and you see it shrinks around the top here. Here you see you have a, a lot of uh, leftovers from the shrink sleeve. This you cut off. Right, where is my craft knife like this? You cut off with a craft knife, and then you dip it again into the water, 
and you will see it shrinks perfectly around the edge. You see here, this is the curve, the edge of the um, glass. And when I dry these, you will see you have no wrinkle there. You have the, the perfect image here on top. And you see every detail. This is an old engraving. And when you go really close to this picture, you see every detail. It's, it's really perfect. It looks like, like painting. It does. Yeah. It looks it to look like brush strokes, and, and yeah, for the you, detail of the blue, yeah. of the hot air balloons that are there as well, it literally looks like you've stamped it out onto beautiful backing paper. And I think these these color combination is matching to every style. Right. And here you have uh, different designs. You have the designs from this is uh, like like a captain from a from from a, yeah, like a, a, from a ship yeah, yeah, like yeah from a famous like, ship so sort yes. of like the titanic and things like that yes. those big then, those big ships that we all know and okay. love from the film and we have the, the train or uh, this one i think it's it's often you have the shrink sleeve with flowers yes and this is more a present or a gift for a woman uh, you you know what I mean. This is and this kind. This is sort of, and it's, I, I don't like to say it, but it's more masculine. Yes, this is more masculine. Here you you can make a, a gift for a man. Yes. And this is not so so. Um, you can give it as a gift for your 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 boss too. Yeah, it's sort it, of it covers all boundaries. It's yes. not just family members. Yes. This could be anything from loved ones to to work colleagues, if you wanted to, to you know. to people that you just know in the office that you want to give yes. a bottle to. Now these bottles, I find it's not fascinating. so personality. Yeah. you have these. These are not without any. This is these are images you can use for a gift for everyone. Everyone, no, it's yes. true. Okay, this is a bottle. It's a sparkling wine bottle. You hold the shrink sleeve and the bottle with the hand. Keep attention that you have one centimeter more here on the back. Dip it into the water like this. You see it shrinks around the bottom. Then dip it as far as you can. You can um, turn this a little bit in in the bottle, in the um, in the, the pot water. here because yeah. the the pot is you see is not so high. If you turn this, you c it, it's it's easier to shrink the whole shrink sleeve. Okay, now you, ha you have two possibilities. If there is a expensive sparkling wine and you want to show the label of the sparkling, you can cut these off here with a cutter knife. It's no problem. I will show it later. If you want to cover the whole bottle, you turn these, dip it again, and you see it, it shrinks around the whole neck of the bottle. Okay. I need a little bit more heat for this one. It's not hard enough. I need more heat. Okay. Now, and now you have the possibility. You put some ribbon on top here. You decorate these with a flower to put a tag for whom it is. Or, and this is what I want to show you. Or you take a craft knife, and this is the label. You cut around the label and you cut it like this. I, I think I have it, okay. And you can, you see, you can open the label here, you can cut these, and you can see the label, which sparkling wine it is, and you can cover it perfectly, because there is, I will show you, there is no glue here. It's very easy to remove the, the thing sleeve. You can ah. remove this from your, your, your bottle, you can remove this from, from everything you covered first. You can take it off and yes, start all over yes. again. Yes, and it's a temporary uh, decoration. So if you want to cover uh, a wine glass, like you show first, for, for a table decoration, that's no problem. You can cover every wine glass with these, and if you want to remove these, take a cutter knife, and that's all. You have no reds, no this glue, like. nothing you sticky on this. You can go from a wine glass that is beautiful. So you imagine doing two of the... I don't know if I've got another wine glass here that's done. Uh, you could go from two wine glasses, then in the same shrink sleeve, you could then do a bottle. You imagine doing two glass... How expensive does that set look? That could be an inexpensive bottle of bubbly. You could have two glasses, but then in the same shrink sleeves, you can then do smaller pots. Adam, you're being very daring. And then you can also do pots as well.
So from the blandest of pots, maybe you've got these white pots that are already at home and you think, I don't really know what to do with them. Start covering them in your shrink sleeves. You can go from the smallest and you can do the lids as well. And then you've got your bottles and your glasses. I think that looks really, really expensive. 80% of the Stark Canal has already gone. We're very busy. 929-096 is your item number. £17.99. Shop ahead of me on the website if I was you because we'll see other things later. We've still got the circus in there. Uh, we've got the decoupage papers as well. We've got the rice papers on the show. There is so many things that we have got on the show. We are ridiculously busy. Um, right then, let's get straight back for more demonstrations. Uh, let's watch else yes. you've got to show me. Uh, and it doesn't matter which size your glass is. You see, this is the taller glass and this is not... These shrink sleeves are 25 centimeters high and this is a little bit smaller. It's taller and smaller. And now you can cut these. I cut the top of these shrink sleeves and I put the shrink sleeve over the smaller glass, the same. Pay attention that you have one centimeter on both sides. I dip it into the water as far as I could. We've had a question come in. Yes, sure. Um, from Sarah Jane saying, obviously she likes, she loves the wine glasses that you've yes. put the shrink sleeve yes. around. But she says, do they have to be round? Could they be square glasses and, and would it still work? Square glasses too, yes. It's, you can, you can um, shrink everything where the shrink sleeve fits on top. The cavity. Oh, it's so like any like, of the cavities, yeah, you, anything yeah. that it fits round, it will fit round. Ah, oh, oh. go on, we'll do it. I'll live daringly. Uh, so, if this is your square mug, for example, it will fit all the way around and you're still going to get that beautiful, the lid's even better, the lid's perfectly. For the sheer fact, if that is your square cup, you know it's going to fit round all the way round and you just literally cut the surface off like you would exactly do the same as the wine glass. It's all going to fit in there so it doesn't matter the shape, it doesn't matter it doesn't, the size. Yes. It doesn't matter the shape, it doesn't matter if it's curved or it's square or if sometimes you have a texture on top, it doesn't matter. Uh, the the shrink sleeve has to fit on top. Uh, you uh, must half pass this, right? It has to fit. It has to fit over it. So it long it, it can fit, fit over, over it. Yes. If you want to hear yes. we've got Sam in here as well. Uh, just in case, uh, not my German's not that good. Um, but, uh, so anything that's sleeve fit, long as you've got your one centimetre gap at the bottom, because they're all sleeves, okay? So long as you've got your one centimetre at the bottom, and obviously anything else excess over the top, it's obviously not going to cover, it will fit around that. Absolutely anything and everything. Give it a go, you're getting 18, and if worse comes to the worst, what have you lost? You've just lost one of your sleeves. That's all you've lost. You've still got another 17 to play with. Uh, we're coming back over. Yes. Uh, now I shrink these smaller or taller glass. You see, it's wonderful. It's perfectly shrinked around the lid. Here, you, okay. Here you see this perfectly. Okay. Yep. And now I, uh, rather thread, sorry. And now I will shrink the lid. For this, you need a tongue and try to do the the lid in the middle of the rest of the shrink sleeve. You see, it's, it's, uh, it's between two or, or three centimeters. And try to do this in the middle and hold this with a tongue. Now, dip it carefully into the hot water to fix the lid in the middle. You see, I want to fix this in the middle. I hold this now. Now I turn this on the other side and Fix, you see, it shrinks around the lid, and now you can put it directly into the water. That's I suppose all. if you do it too far up or too far it, down, it's, it shrinks away. Yes, it, uh, it's yes. going to pull away. So yes, you, want, yes. you want that wrap around is what you want. You want it to sort of wrap around and really hold tight. So if you put it in the middle of the waist, as it were, it's the wrong word using waist because you're going to use all of it. But if you pop it in the center, you've got that little inch on the top, you've got that little inch on the bottom, and that's what's going to cup around the lid itself, yeah. and that's what's going to hold it in place. The, the bezel on it's still going to work. As you can see from the coffee jar, these lids all stay on. They're not going anywhere. Um, and yes, you're going to get that little hole at the top that Blanche is going to show us now. Yes, you have a little hole on the top, and here you can cover these. You have a lot of possibilities. You can do some of these writing rolls from the paper, if you like. You can do some flowers on top. You can decorate with everything you like. If you have problems, with the lid in the hot water, it's easier to do this with a heat tool. Oh, okay. 
So if you go with your heat tool, so if you're thinking tongs, hot water, yes. my hands aren't what they used to be, go in with your heat tool. I, I can show it with the next one. I show the next one, uh, this is a larger glass, it's a larger size, but not the height. The height is like the smaller one, but it's the, the diameter of the, of the jar is larger. And here I do the same. I look that I have one centimeter on both sides and cut off the top of the shrink sleeve. And with this shrink sleeve, I later do the lid. And okay. you see, here we have a lot of space. You see a lot of space. Oh, yeah. It's it's really more large. And this is very um, difficult to hold this with the tongue, but it's easy to do this with the heat, with the heat tool. Okay, I so pop take it all the way over. over and the same. I hold this with my hand. Centimeter gap at the bottom. Now I dip this into the water and as don't worry about That's any important. lines that are on there. The lines will all disappear once it's shrunk into place. <laughs> okay. And carefully dip it. Okay. Now I have to dry this first. You see here we have the leftovers. You have to cut these because um, it fixes the shrink sleeve on top. And if you don't cut this, the shrink sleeve can't shrink around the thread. Ah, okay. okay. Now I cut it, you see here there's air inside and you don't see the thread perfectly. Yeah. And now I go into the hot water and it shrinks perfectly around the Look thread. that. Really sucks it in. Okay. Now you see I turn this a little bit, you see there's no wrinkle, it's perfectly shrinked around the whole glass. Beautiful. And I like to show that this is uh, the per perspective. The, per the, perspective. the perspective is perfectly. You see, there's a border here. And this border around the whole jar is not like, like a wave. Or, no, it's you see, straight it's, it's, it's all it's the straight way. On. It's all the it's, same line. It's perfect. You see the picture here in the backside with the big bend. It's it's perfect. It's not like 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 a wave. No, it's not. And I suppose the only way, if you have got waves in yours, is yours is at a slight angle. That's maybe because you've cut it at an angle when you've cut your excess off. When you cut your centimeter off at the top, maybe you've cut it at an angle. So really do think about that straight line. Use the lines that are already on there as well, because you want that perfect straight line. The minute you cut it, that's what it's going to shrink to. So if you want a certain image in, don't cut off the image because you can do so much from bottles to jars to... Don't let the shapes put you off either. Any shapes will work on all of these. Everything will work perfectly time and time again. So really do go into it. Right, and here we go with the lid. Yes, this is the lid. And you see we have the shrinks. It's, it's, it's much too large for this. And now I take my heat tool and I do the same. I be, I'm really careful to to shrink these, right? Now I can position it a little bit more because I have this. Yeah, I go like this. Yeah, and now you see what it what I mean. It shrinks, not yes. Now I can fix it like this. I, I hold this now. Wait. With my tongue, I need to hold this perfectly. I think I hold it with my hands. It's easier to hold this with my hands. I can hold this like this. It's easier. Okay. Yes, be careful. It's easier with my hand than with the tongue. Now I shrink perfectly and I hold this and I can go inside and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is, it's easier not to do this like this. Remember, you're getting nine of the large, out. nine of the small in total. You're getting all the imagery that you've seen from the train to the, the ship, the galleon that's in there, uh, the Eiffel Tower that you get in there as well. There are so many pictures, and it will fit and perfectly the same. every you can single decorate time. These. Take a little bit of gauze or a ribbon. We have a wonderful ribbon kit here. We offer a wonderful ribbon kit too. And then it's a finish. 
We have got, there are some, there is a beautiful finishing ribbon kit uh, that we do have on the show as well. We'll show you that shortly as well. Uh, but these are the designs that you're going to get. This is what they look like when they're all open down. So these are the designs open out. So you have got that beautiful uh, Paris Tower that's on there as well, the Eiffel Tower. Uh, then you've also got, let me tilt it forward for you. Uh, then you've got the uh, captain at the top overlooking the, uh, the dock. You've got uh, the balloon in there, sort of a very Christopher Columbus or... Um, around the world in 80 days. Then you've got Big Ben that's in there and the Houses of Parliament and, and the sort of the tower in there. The beautiful train. This is absolutely stunning. Uh, maybe you only want to use smaller areas. You really can use this as well. There is so much that you can do when you get this home. Right then, we're approaching 85% of the stock now. 85%, £17.99. 9290.96 is your item number. Uh, remember, you're buying into the name of LeBanche as well, which means you're buying into quality is what you're buying into. So, um, would it go round things like all these sorts of shapes? Now, I, we've I done this on the sly. Hey, this is, we'll probably this, get told off for this. this. Is, it's really thin. It's a vase that we found, yes. but it's an awkward shape. Yes, but it's, it's really thin. Oh, oh yes. It, I, yes. Okay, yes. It will work. It will work. Okay, oh, sorry, it's the wrong size. <laughs> <laughs> I was I took my dad. Uh, so. Okay, we try to do these. You need the one centimeter here, like this. I literally You see, it's a little jack. bit too high, but yeah. it's not a problem. We try to do only... I literally sent that floor man. I went, go and find Check. me something square and something yes, awkward. Yes, yes, it works. And then we will show... Da 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 <laughs> Look, look here. And it's really nice. <laughs> oh, it works. Okay. So remember okay. the shape of the bottle is twisted. The shape of the bottle is twisted as well. So if it can do this, it's going to be able to do... This is what the air, the air. Inside. Everything that's sorry, in there sorry, as well. Sorry. Okay, it works. And now we have some wrinkles here. I have to put it... Deeper, that was, that deep, was just deeper, me being deeper. awkward. No, it works. It works. If you turn this, okay, now we, the, the wrinkles are gone. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what I like is this one here. It looks really nice. Oh my word. Yes. Yeah. So now, look, if it can do, <laughs> right. There is some wrinkles here. You have to put it again into water, then ha you, the wrinkles are gone. But I think it's very nice. So obviously, okay. Blanche didn't know I was going to produce this. <laughs> it's one of these things that I thought, will it work, won't it work? You delve that into water again, you're going to get rid of those wrinkles that are already there. This is a quick demonstration to prove the point that it doesn't have to be a glass, it doesn't have to be a jar, it doesn't have to be a bottle. You can do it over absolutely yes. anything that you want to do it over. So if it's going to stay out in the garden, it will live out in the garden. There is so many more things that you can do this. Um, <laughs> we're busy across the board. £17.99 is what we're busy on. Uh, right, we'll do one more. We'll do one more demonstration. This is, this is a normal waste, a glass waste, and you can do this too. I will cut off the bottom and... We shortly show these on this. Uh, We're literally all looking around the studio now to see what we can shrink past. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> We're all like, how yeah. else can we shrink plastic? You find something more? Go and find something, Jack, and we'll shrink plastic it. Wait, not so much. I need. Okay. And if you do something like this, oh, now that. it's perfectly shrink around this. And here the bottom. Now there's no lid, no nothing who uh, fix the shrink sleeves. Because of this, you cut off these on this time, and you do not do again into the water. Okay. Because now you have these here perfectly. You have the perfect edge of the glass, and it's perfect round shrink. If you do it now into the water, it will shrink 
even Tea down. Even down. So it'll shrink okay. even more. So what you want, once you're happy with it, so it's just over the lip, you cut the top off, you're good to go. You will leave it. Don't do it anymore because it will shrink even further. So you are going to get that bit of gappage at the top that you don't want. But how beautiful is that drain? £17. 85% of the one day special now has already gone. There is so much more that I've got on the show. We've got the uh, MDF moulds. I've got paints. I've got textures. I've got big top circus clowns and much more. Don't believe me? Have a look at this. We're still finding things to shrink here in the studio. Anything we can find? Um, anything we call, put it in the water, let's see if it shrinks. Uh, right then, we've got other things on the show as well. This time we are looking at your moulds. This is your black, that's right, you heard me correctly, black uh, mixed media moulding borders. You're getting six one metre um, in the resin and the wood as well. These are beautiful. They'll arrive looking like this. Where you're thinking, well, that don't actually look like the ones that are on the board. But once again, you add a bit of heat to these and they will will unfurl. They will start straightening themselves. And once you start adding your texture paste, once you start adding your colours, you're going to end up with things that look a little bit like this. £19.99 for six metres. So you're getting a metre of each of them. Yours will be black, as I've said before, but you add a spot of colour. This is what you're going to get. So now you start adding them onto the front of books. And you're thinking, well, that's not the front. This is what it started life like. You add a bit of a cover how beautiful is that? You now thought, well, we've got these, we'll show you the colours for these in a minute as well. I've got all these colours on the show. I just want to show you what you can actually do with when you get them home. There is so much that you can achieve to things like this. A full-on crown. They will mould, they will work around shapes, they will go circular if you want them to. How beautiful is that for maybe the centre of a wedding table? You get two of those at Christmas with candles in the middle. They would look stunning. And to do all that for £19.99, 184913 is your item number, you can put them onto boxes. Literally, the corners of boxes that you are looking at there, um, things like the corners that we have at the top, they are malleable, they will bend around everything. And if you don't believe me, I have a terracotta pot, which is one continuous border. There is not a single, that's what it starts life like, add your colour, there is not one single crack that's in there. That is one piece all the way round. That is what you can achieve when you get these home as well. But you're going to want the colours to go with them, and I've also got those on the show. The colours are down the front, everything that you see is so. To do things that look like this. 
to do. So that's using, oh, am I right in saying, Blanche, that's using all of the colors? Uh, this one is only the white, uh, the white color from Antiquing Paint. And the boxes on, on both sides are with the cream green and the white. And on top the gold uh, metallic wax. And, and uh, you can remove, this is only the gold wax with the black. That is beautiful. Yes, it's very, it's very nice. And it's easy, it, it's, it's, it's easy and you, you need only a minute to do this. Only a minute and you can create the things, the samples that you see here, you can be achieving in your own home. £14.99, 919-898 is your item number. Uh, you are getting all the colours. You get the cream green in there, you're getting the white, you're getting the room in there, and you're also getting the gold wax paste as well. It's well worth having a little look. Um, now, one of my favourites, the circus, is what we're looking at. We're busy for the circus. You are really shopping ahead. So, we are looking at the paper kit. Now, the paper kit, you are getting 15 12 by 12 sheets of paper, 15 tags and 96 laser cut elements. Your papers look a little bit like these. Um, they are stunning, stunning papers with the detail. How many papers are we getting? We're getting 15. 15 papers, double-sided printed, and you get five different designs. From each design, three pieces. So and you get 15 tags with all the centerpieces. There are old uh, vintage posters from Circus World on the tags. And here you can cut out this tent if you like. There are more tickets uh, on this side. On the other side you have the stripes to create a tent. Oh, yes. And on this page you see, yes, all the small details on the, on the bottom of the... Uh, of like, the Pages, yes, of the, um, of the sheets. Of the chair, <laughs> 12 by 12 of the sheets. Uh, you're getting on, then you're getting all the tags that are in yes. there as well. And these remind me of the old cigarette cards that we used to get. Um, I say we used to get, I never smoked. But, um, <laughs> you know, the cigarette cards that you could get in the kits that people used to save. It reminds me of all of those. Absolutely beautiful. And then, sort of the pièce de résistance, as it were. Look at me being French. Uh, you get all the laser cuts. So it really helps. There's no fussy cutting involved no, with these. You've it's, done it all for me. 96, 96 of these laser cuts you get in this kit and this is a very strong paper a pearlescent paper and allows allows you to put some varnish on top if you like if you mark like more 3d dimension you can put 3d varnish on top you can put glitter on top i always use the glitter in this kit and uh, you see it's very very detailed if yeah, it, yeah, it is. it's very very detailed and it, they 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 stay because the the paper is very strong it is yeah, a good yeah. it is a good quality paper that you're getting in there yeah. uh, really thick quality that you've got there is so many um, elements. 96 elements in total is what you're getting. Um, and then, once you've got the paper kit, you might want to go for the decoupage kit as well. For the sheer fact, the decoupage kit, uh, you get so much of this, but it works hand in hand, the yes. decoupage kits do. Yes, here you get four different designs, 12 sheets in this kit, and uh, we, we do uh, always one, yes, one sheet with the background, and one sheet with the center pieces. Uh, and we have in red, the red uh, rectangles, and this is in blue. The blue background and the blue uh, center pieces for your boxes, for the lid of the boxes. And then, just to prove, you get the reds as well. So you get the reds and the blues that are in there. All work with the boxes. They work with the laser cut elements. They work with your papers as well. All of this will go together for you and work hand in hand. Um, as we said, with the decoupage sheets that you've got in there, dip them in water. I know you don't normally dip paper into water, but these, it, there's something special about them um, that's in them that you can dip them in water and it makes them come, become really malleable. Yes, It's yes. a bit like the shrink plastic. It, they they become malleable and you can get that beautiful smoothness yes. and the professional quality. It's a, it's a patented paper. You, you don't have to hesitate. The print stays. Even you put it into water. And it's very easy to work around edges. It's, it's easy to work around um, curves. Yeah, like too. a circle. And you, there, yes, the result is no wrinkle. And it looks really professional when you cover the boxes with these paper. No, it really does. This really sums up everything that I've got on the show for the circus kits, okay? So you've got the beautiful decoupage paper. That is a decoupage paper that you see all the way around that box. Okay, it's a normal standard box, black gessoed, in and out. Look at the 
detail. Look at the quality that you get in there. But it's the lid that I want to draw your attention to. So you've got the beautiful decoupage paper all the way around the edge. On top, you've got the beautiful wooden black moulding, the brand new moulding. On the inside, you've got the decoupage paper again. And then if I catch the light, you've got the resin in there as well. That yes. is resin. It's not glass, it's resin. It gives you that strength. You can see it there in the shine. That is resin. So now you are talking a professional looking box yes. time and time again. You imagine doing three of those in different sizes, it would cost you a fortune. Yes, and I think uh, the, the look of the resin and the look of the black borders, the black borders um, hold the resin inside. Normally the resin will, will run over the edges, but with the black border around the edges, the, the, the uh, resin stays inside and you get this professional flat surface of the resin. You really do. Then look at the quality that we've got on there as well, using everything that we've got on the show. So that in itself, a set of those would cost you a fortune in an anti... The only way you're going to find things like that, let me put them down before I drop them, um, then I would be a clown. Uh, but the only way you're going to get things like that these days are in an old antique shop but they're very far and few between to try and find the quality that you're after and the detail that you're after, or we're going to an old circus auction. Now and then they give away a few things that they used to have in the big top tents. That's the only way you're going to get this sort of, the sort of detail and the vintage elements that we've got here. Your details are on the screen. 781972 is your item number. Right then, what would you like to show me this time uh, in the big the top tents? circus tent? paper kit, oh, if you like. Lovely. Okay, we offer these shadow boxes too. There's a kit with two shadow boxes and the feet uh, <coughs> matching to the I'll bring it up on the screen. Here. Yes, and I cut I uh, uh, cut out some of the papers, and you see I cut it a little bit larger to fix them around, like like a manege here inside. Oh, manege! Okay. Yes, I, oh, that's a big word. I've never heard that word before. Yeah, manege. What's the name of manege? Manet? No. Manege. The, uh, the inside of the circus, the, the circle in the circle. Oh, the, uh, the uh, yes. Um, what's, the yes. Of, the, what's the inside of a circus <laughs> called? The seating, the ring, the, the ring. It's the ring? In, in, right, yeah, in, in, in French it's manege. Oh. Manege. I think it's the ring. The I ring, think. okay. <laughs> You see, it's round. Round. Yeah, the round <laughs> bit in the middle of the circus. I think yeah. it's the, the circus ring. Yeah, it is. It's the ring. It's I'm <laughs> doubting myself now, Black. I'm doubting myself. <laughs> you know more than me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, so it gives you the cut, the con it gives you the concave look like yes. you'll see. Oh, I get. Oh, I'm there now. Sam's Googling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, now. Yes. Oh. I'm I'm wondering if I do some some more here on top. No, I I think I leave it like this. Okay. I'm wondering if I do more uh, one more. Ah, uh, oh, I do this. Yes. I with the, with yes. I like this. It's a combination. Why not blue and red together? I think it works. I like it. Uh, yes. Ring. We've had it. We've had it uh, checked in. It. We're called the ring. The manage yes, the ring. is the ring. We've had it confirmed by our Sam. The ring. The ring. <laughs> Our little researcher, Sam, bless him. He's always busy these hours. Okay. Oh, look at yeah. that. You, you see these? You have inside the curves and, the, and here outside. And that now doesn't have to be circus, though, does it? That could be like the theatre if yes. you wanted it to yes. be. Yes, it looks a little bit like a theatre, yes. That's right. And I, for this, I use always the uh, 3D foam pads because of the 3D effect now. Yeah, it's nice. Then the big top tent as well, though, that you've just talked about, that could also be a carousel. Yes, With the horses sure. if yes, you wanted it yes. to. If you've already got the horses at home, or you like to draw, you've got some stamps, um, you could make a carousel out of this. Okay, now we have a lot to do. What can we do? We have, for example, I like these. The two clowns, we can... I like them. Yes, or you can, you can do it like these. You can... I think he, he looks like, oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, he looks a little bit like this. 
You stand on the shoulder, yeah. huh? We do this. I think yes, we do this. Okay. We start with with him on the side. So, so it's a bit like Yanis and, and, and our, and our <laughs> Janice there, isn't it, together? Both of them together, Yanis and Janice, on, t on, on the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We start with him here and we, we will set the, him Ooh. on the shoulder. Yeah. Oh, I like uh, this. Okay. We fix him with two. With two the pieces of these. Details on the screen at the moment on the side of your screen. 344143 four, is your item number. Uh, that's for your two shadow boxes. They come with feet and they also come with the little screws as well. Uh, the feet alone are worth $9.99. Yeah. Uh, so in theory, you're getting the shadow boxes for free. 344143 four, four, is your item number. £9.99. A drop of glue to fix the last. Yeah. Okay, now. I think it's nice that they look really nice. Okay, inside, what would we do inside? One more clown? Yes. Yeah? Yes. He's laughing. I think it's nice. Oh. <laughs> uh, I emboss him a little bit. Who could this be? This could be Alione. <laughs> you see, I've not put my own name into this yet. <laughs> okay. We've got Yanis, Janice, and Alione. This is Hochanda Circus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Hochanda Circus. Well, <laughs> it's been known. <laughs> you come in Monday yeah. to Friday. Well, yes, <laughs> over in that office. He's laughing. That's Leone. Okay, and. Oh, we have so many things here. What can we do more? Well, this is the hard bit, isn't it? This, the hardest bit is to find what, what to put in and what not to put in because you don't want to overfill it, but you are telling stories. You find someone who's this? Uh, that could be my producer, Ralph. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love this guy. And he stands outside, yes. He's got stockings on, I think. <laughs> All right. So once again, really, and remember, you're the storyteller okay. with these. You can really tell the story. You've got clowns in there, the ringmaster in there. Uh, there's so many things that you can use. Yes, and we have a lot of the small things. I like the small things here to to do something with these. You can have these uh, tickets. You have these kind of tickets. I, I show these now. This the smaller one like this. We have this one. You have the the sign. This one. And all these signs and tickets, they're yes. on the bottom of the yes. papers. They're, they're not, they're not cut out for you, but they are on the bottom of your 12 by 12s. And you get an awful lot of them as well, you do, running yes. around the bottom. And we have other tickets too on one bottom. I will show, yes, we have the, the old poster here. I like the old poster. And, oh, I use everything of these. We have one more. Yes, we have this one in different, this one in different colors. Yeah. Oh, I think that. I find this here. A lot. You a do lot. get you do lot get a lot of small things, yes. And they are they are just part of your twelve by twelve is what they are, those little ones. Then you get the ninety six laser cut elements as well. So once again, building a scene, making memories. You could use these in your scrapbooks and your journals as well. Yes. These would be amazing. If you're not a scene builder, so you don't like creating these little shadow boxes, pop them into your journals, pop them into your jotters, pop them in with your photos. It just adds that element, something different to look at and textures. So many elements. I like if you have so many elements to work with these. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's okay. I put some flag on top. What? Yeah, here. For this, I cut out a rectangle. Once again, and I said it, and I'll say it again the hardest thing with this set is to what actually you're going to use it for. There are so many elements in there, as we saw 15 12 by 12 papers, 15 tags that you could use for backdrops or borders, and then you get the 96 elements as well, the 96 laser cut elements. Um, so you do get more than one of each of them. You can create cards, you can create shadow boxes, you can really, really go to town with this, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. I those, bend these a little bit like like the wind goes through the flag like here and then I 
fix them on a small, this is a small wooden twig around these. Okay. Oh, look at that. And yeah. And you can create these to £20.99. If you want the shadow boxes as well, it's uh, $9.99. So what we're looking at there, £9.99, £31. No, 21, and £31. Now, £31 to get all the papers and the shadow boxes as well. That is a nice little kit for someone. Um, remember, Christmas is just around the corner. Um, start using these little stocking fillers for these sorts of prices. Remember, it's a totally different one-day special when we launch again on Sunday evening, tomorrow night. So what you see here won't be on that show, so get them while you can. We're very busy on these now. I put some glitter on top, like these here. Yes, where are oh. Yes, the trousers. I think it's enough for this. It's 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 really easy to work with these to create a scene like these. Look at that. <laughs> and you saw that come together. That was an empty shadow box when we started less than five minutes ago. And now look what you've created. Absolutely beautiful. Twenty pounds and ninety nine pence. Five two eight nine four two is your item number for those. Uh, that gets you your twelve, twelve, uh, fifteen, twelve by twelves. Your fifteen tags and your nineteen.